Oh, we should be live. Hey, yo, Stanimir, what's good? It's been a while. Holy sh- Yo, my camera's so whack. Hold on. It's on autofocus. Should be good. Yo, Amar, what's good? Hey, yo, let's go, guys. It's been so long, man. How are you guys doing? Yeah, I know. Yo, Jared, what's up? <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. I'm trying not to die. Uh, you gotta see, save the XC's dimension. I have to, bro. I have to. Nobody else can do it. Like, the Phantom Knight guy is already dead. I'm, I'm the last hope, honestly, at this point. As uh, this Christmas, yo, it's low-key gonna be Christmas in five days. Uh, I'm saying this, but I can't say anything more. I hope you guys are following me on Instagram because I posted something kind of nasty. And I... It's funny because I've said something in the caption. I was like, if you guys can notice what's... What's odd about this picture, you guys are nice, but nobody was able to catch it. It's kind of interesting. By the way, let me know if the audio quality is good. You bought everything for Raid Raptor? I didn't buy anything. Hold on a sec. I, ca I can barely see the comments. I mean, I can, but like not the last one. Oh, I can actually react comments? What? No, that's broken. But yeah, no, it's... um. Jeez, oh, yo, we already have uh, 41 viewers from what I'm seeing. That's insane. All right, uh... Well, list, you'll see. Yes, uh, going there right now. Uh, badass, badass, my man. Yo, guys, Raid Raptor is so nice. Okay, the audio is good. Let's go. Yo, Mo Gamer, what's good? Yo, by the way, Mo, I know uh, <laughs> it took a while, but I finally started um, watching One Piece. And uh, yeah, I think this is a profile picture of Luffy that you've got. I actually really like the anime. So far, so good. I'm like at episode 100. So yeah, guys, don't spoil me. What's good, uh, Mr. Springtrap? I like steak and pasta. I prefer pizza. Thoughts on Pot of Desires instead of Allure? I don't know. Uh, it could... I, I think Desires is like better in mid-range decks. I wouldn't play Desires in a combo deck because if you banish your crucial one-ofs, your deck just doesn't do anymore, anything anymore. Like, imagine if you banish that uh, Wreck of Magic. You're just screwed. One Piece OP? That's kind of facts. Yo, first stream I'm able to make it to. It's been so long. Yo, Charles, what's up? Yo, it's actually so nice to see, you know, the same guys that, uh, you know, I, I used to... Because I remember all of you guys. It, it's been so long since my last stream that it's... It, it, yeah, it just, I don't know. It feels really nice to be able to talk to you guys again. Finally, a live stream. I know, man, Lily. <laughs> Exchange Y for the spicy... It's, it's an actual side card. Plays, plays around like pretty much every hand shop, eh, except Shifter, obviously. That's a bullshit hand shop. Uh, oh, ma'am, I, I don't know if I re really remember you, though. I don't know. Did, did you already have... Did you always have that name? Maybe. Oh, another vision. Okay, so you changed your name. Let's go. True Draco, best deck. I really disagree with that, but uh, Master P is best card. Uh, that's facts, though. <laughs> Circular, what's good? It's been a... Yes, a key fact. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Let's go. Yo, by the way, I wanted to bring some changes to this Raid Raptor deck, but I really wanted to make sure that it was on stream so that you guys could, like, you know, witness everything that I'm about to change about this deck because I don't think moving forward I'll be playing a deck list that, that is exactly like that. Obviously, I'm going to keep bringing more changes uh, because e e even my extra deck used to be kind of different. But I realized that the second Brave Strix, you, you can't really summon it, actually. Unless I'm missing some- I mean, you can with the Raider's Knight, but like, realistically, the second Raider's Knight is always going into this card, Arc Rebellion. Yo, Clint, how are you doing? What's up? Uh, I might go for some live matches. I'm not 100% sure yet. What's with Time Thief? Uh, Time Thief or Doer is not- No, Joel does not hurt! I'm gonna show combos, but Joel does not hurt. Bro, I've had so many comments on my YouTube videos of things that were just- N like, factually incorrect. Like, people saying that this deck loses to Valor and Imperm, that is, like, that is somewhat true, actually, because it does lose to Valor and Imperm. Uh, but it doesn't lose to Ash, actually. I'm gonna show why. It doesn't lose to Ash, and it does not lose to Droll. And it doesn't lose to Nibiru. Uh, going second is rough. Um, you need a hand shops or utility cards to go second. So that's why I'm playing nine hand shops, and the Lure of Darkness is probably gonna be swapped for, like, Book of Moon or something. Yeah, tier zero, we'll see. What well, my definition of tier zero is also different from like the uh, average human. <laughs> so for me, tier zero is like, uh, you know, the best deck. It's not necessarily the deck that everybody plays. It's, uh, so yeah, like, see, like Unchained was giving 
<laughs> don't kill me. Uh, Unchain for me was giving like um wait, hold on a second. I just realized you can't even see the the chat on chat box. Oh no, it's the chat box from Twitch. Oh no no, hold, hold on a second. Uh, actually, th I think it works now. Yeah, we should be good. Um I was saying something, I forgot. Droplet. Ah, that card's kind of neggy. Enemy controller, yeah, I consider it. Bro, I don't function like that. I don't I don't say tier 1, tier 2, tier 0, except if I just want to say, oh, it's the best deck or something. I actually think this deck is really good, like, combo deck-wise. Uh, I consider it Saravis, but it's gimmicky. It's only really good against things that target, and it's just meh. Yeah, I know, anime decks are finally getting good. Yeah, this deck loses to D-Shifter big time. Big time. You you really need your graveyard. Um, let's see. I think you might still be able to do things through sh D Shifter, but it's it's not good things that I can guarantee. Yeah, not really, because under Shifter you can't use this card to go into the uh, rank thirteen on your opponent's turn, and the Arsenal Falcon will not float. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has to be sent to the graveyard, huh? It's not leaves the field. Yeah, that's so bad. Yeah, Shifter is game. Yeah, there, there's no real out to Shifter outside of Gozen match. It's like, you get Shifter, you just pray to God that you draw Gozen, and it's not Exor Sister. Because Exor Sister doesn't lose to Gozen, but loses to Rivalry. But then Flunderies loses to Gozen, but it doesn't lose to Rivalry. So it's like, eh, you know, pick your poison. Yeah, you can't, you can't beat them all. Uh, yeah, good time thief support probably. Do you think D Shifter will get a hit in the next ban list? Uh, if anything, it might get semi limited. Anyways, uh, now let's uh, let's start. we finally have like almost a hundred viewers, so finally gonna start uh, changing some some things about this deck list. So, do you consider Small World with more handshops as bridges? My issue is that uh, DD Crew is a wing beast, so it doesn't actually bridge with anything because it's dark and wing beast, so it doesn't work. That would force me to play Ghost Reaper, which. Sucks. And also, Ghost Reaper doesn't bridge with Ash. Yeah, it's like... Th the thing is, these cards are level 4, and Dark, and Wing Beast. So, it's like... You, you really want a small world into Tribute Lanius if you want a 1-card starter, but, like, you don't want a small... You don't ever want a small world into an Extender. Because that's like a Neg 1 for a card that isn't a plus 1. Whereas going Neg 1 for, like, a plus 9, like, Tribute Lanius, is worth it. <laughs> Cyber Falcon, don't kill me. But if you play Baguska for when you get hit with Shifter, uh, not gonna happen. This card locks you under Dark, this card locks you under Raid Raptor, and this card locks you under... nothing. No, actually, it locks you under Dark. And then this can only be used as an Xyz material for a Wing Beast. Baguska is not a thing. Ghost Bell. <clears throat> That's a level 3 Earth. Doesn't bridge with Ash. Because same stats. Yeah, Ghost Bell makes no sense. Can't play Ghost Bell. Okay, uh, instead of a Call by the Grave, I'm gonna play Raid Raptor Call. So the reason why I want to consider Raid Raptor Call is because the restriction doesn't hurt me. Well, unless I cut the second Brave Strikes for Zeus, which I'll probably do. And what is nice about Raid Raptor Call is that since it's a Raid Raptor Spell or Trap, you can actually search it with the Roost. So after searching your Barrage and after setting the Raptor's Force with the Y Strikes. You have a search target on your opponent's turn with a Roost. And this is a decent card overall. I mean, it's not great. The only way Call is complete garbage is if you're... Yeah, Evil Storm Nightmare, I considered it. But it, it's not good against Shifter decks. It, it's only good against Exorcist Sister. Um, yeah, th th so sorry. Raid Raptor Call is only bad if you have, like, Simorg. And, like, no Raid Raptor monster. Or like these shitty monsters, like Pain and Heal, Heal Eagle, because they're one ofs. They're like really bad. These cards suck. Swallow's Nest is not an extender. It, the, the card's garbage. Like if you have a one card starter in Swallow's Nest, like you're not doing any any more. <laughs> it's really bad. What about the rank four Wing Bees that negates everything? Uh. Okay, let me check rank four Dark Monsters. Uh, maybe. Yeah, this sucks. This is garbage. 
Redure is only good with Shade Brick and Dean, which I'm not playing because I'm not playing Rusty. Yak, Yak Sign, what do you think about the counter trap for Raid Raptor? Dog shit. Uh, Luna Light is... I don't think Luna Light is good. There's like... The deck is missing so many good cards. Simorg Field Spell, I considered it, but then if you do that, you have to play three Simorg because the Field Spell is a brick. Doesn't do anything on its own. Crazy Box is ass. It's, it's really bad. Jesus, everything, every option is piss. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> yeah, if you get shifted, uh, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Sheesh. Uh, zero fine is water. I don't think zero fine is... Yeah, it, does, it doesn't interrupt your opponent anyways. Dark Rebellion, nah, don't play that card. Because then you have to play the shitty rank of magic. It's not good. I mean, Evil Storm Nightmare is like the best option, but like, it's it's not good. Yeah, there is nothing else. Yeah, Evil Storm Nightmare is the only one. <laughs> Wait, look, look at this, huh? When your opponent special summons a monster, you can detach one material from this card, change that monster to the special summon monster to face down defense. Normal summon Rabina. Okay, yeah, let's go to the next game. Yak sign. Isn't Nibiru going second really good in this deck? As the second nip token will have a lot of attacks, so. Um. So the thing with Nib, well, first of all, I disagree with DD Crew and the lure being there. I'm probably gonna cut them for like. I'm, I'm either doing Valor in the main or Jewel in the main. And instead of Allure, it'll probably be Book of Moon. That way, I have, like, multiple ways of dealing with, um, uh, with negates. So, I, this, this deck list is actually quite good going second. I have nine generic hand shafts. Like, these cards are never dead, whereas Nibiru, on the other hand, can be dead. That's my issue. I don't play cross out. If you want cross out to be good, you have to play, uh, to be fair, to be fair, cross out is not that bad. Because the, the main hand shops you lose to are Valor and Ash. I can explain that in detail, but like these cards are rough against this deck. Like really rough. And then, yeah, I mean, like, you know, Book of Moon is just like good going second overall. And it's decent if you go first. So, like, if you if you get shiftered, the way you survive through shifter is with these 12 cards. This is the game plan. But naturally, I can cut the Brave Strix and choose to either play SP Little Knight, Zeus, or Evil Storm Nightmare. It's up to you guys. Those are the only uh, options for one flex spot. That's all I can afford. I can't really afford to play anything else. The, the triple tactics are bad. The reason why they're not good is because I mainly lose to Imperm. And when you play utility cards in your deck, you want your ut utility cards to fix the flaws of your deck. But... If I lose to Imperm, and I draw Triple Tactic Talents, the things go from bad to worse, because this deck already loses to Imperm. You can only afford to play Triple Tactic Talents in a deck that wasn't really losing to Imperm in the first place. Same thing with Shifter. The two cards I mainly lose to are two cards that uh, I can't fix any anything with- Yeah, Little Knight. Everyone's saying- Oh, Typhon, sorry. Yeah, Typhon was the other one, because this one's a dark, so I can pretty much always summon it. I can be locked under dark and I can still go into a Typhon. And th this card really fixes the problems with going second. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about it yesterday. Like, <laughs> I had trouble sleeping yesterday and the day before. Because I, I just kept, like, thinking of ways to make this deck better. Yo, Cameron! What's good, my man? I'm, I don't know how this deck works. I only listened to the vid uh, yesterday. Well, that already makes you, like, a bigger MVP than you already were. Does SP help you play around Imperm Valor here? My issue with SP is that if you summon it, you're not comboing. You're doing nothing. You can't keep pushing. Because the Raid Raptor cards, the way they're uh, worded is... You cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate either of this card's effect except Raid Raptor monsters. It's not like for the rest of the turn. So you can't go SP and then combo off from there. So that, that's the issue with SP. The thing about Typhon is that... Typhon I think is great here. Because you're not doing anything after you summon Typhon, or after you summon SP, or after you Zeus. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's really not too bad. I, I, th I think Typhon is just fantastic. Like, you don't care about the dark restriction. 
You can summon it with one single card. It's one of the best cards at making a comeback when things are not going well. Yeah. This deck's actually gonna be good. Absolutely, my man. I'm, I'm not clickbaiting with the hopes of, you know, like, making people believe that a garbage deck has potential. Like, if I'm saying that this deck is gonna be good, it's because I genuinely believe that it's gonna be good. I have better things to do in my life than just <laughs> lie for myself, you know? I actually, like... Just to give you guys an idea, I'm ex so excited for this deck to finally be a thing that the first YCS where this is legal, if I see that it actually has a good matchup in the in the meta, I'm 100% playing this deck. I don't care. Like, at a YCS, by the way. Because at regionals, you... <laughs> bro, I would play a deck that is worse than this at a regionals. I, I don't give a shit. Like, I don't need, like... I, I don't need anything. Uh, Call by the Grave, I cut it. Call by the Grave doesn't really fix my, uh, my issues outside of Shifter, I guess. Do you even pl uh, play Ultimate Falcon anymore? I have two Ultimate Falcons, my man. Joplet is good with Bloom Vulture. Uh, oh, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's a double monster born, and then... Hmm. Yeah. I removed the, the Allures because I didn't want to play DD Crow because I think DD Crow is dog shit. And... Yeah, if I'm playing Veiler, Ash, and Imperm... Allure of Darkness forces me to always banish a Dark from my hand. Which looks like it's fine, but most of the cards in my deck are extenders anyways. Like, look at this, okay? These six monsters are the normal summons. And then these two monsters are the normal summons slash semi-bricks. They're, they're only bricks if I draw a bunch of normal summons. If I only draw Mimicry with an extender, it's full combo, no problem. And if anything, it's fantastic. And then these are all the extenders. So you got two Simorg, three Strangle, three Fuzzy, and three Bloom Vulture. So that's that's 11 extenders. And then you got two Vanishing Lanius, which is like fine. I think I'm just going to put it here, actually. Um, yeah, so you got a bunch of extenders, and then you got... Uh, and the, yeah, the, these these are weird extenders. They're just so... It's hard to explain, but like Pain Lanius is not a... Not a card that allows Noir to be a one-card combo. I can I can show that in detail, but like... So, I'll change this. Raid Raptor Call. What the shit? It ri randomly has a hyphen, I think. Yeah, that's so weird. And then we were on Veilers. And Book of Moon. Uh, let's see. Have you ever tried Counter Trap that negates monster effects? No, it's dog shit. <laughs> How are you doing, my man? Everything's good. Uh, let's get a whole Montreal crew storming an event with Raid Raptor. Yo, Cameron, you don't even have to convince me for that. I I'm already trying to convince my uh my, my brothers to convert to the proper religion, which is Raid Raptor best deck. Let's go. <laughs> Smash the like button if you like Raid Raptor. If you don't, there's something wrong with you. Oh, and by the way, uh, I want to show you guys something, okay? Just so that you you guys are fully aware of what this deck does when it gets hand trapped, we will be playing against every single one of these hand traps today. Uh, Jewel and Logbird, Bestials, probably Druid Worm is the best example. Magnemoth is too sacky. Uh, Imperm and Veiler. Imperm being the most annoying hand trap that can beat you. Okay, it's in my main deck, but whatever. You get the point. Uh, let's see what else. There's Ash. Ash is fine, actually. Ah, oh, shit. It's also in my main deck. Look, we're gonna do that. And then... Nibiru. We're not gonna play around Shifter, because if you get Shifter, it is what it is. Uh, Phantom Knight. <laughs> we were not playing Phantom Knight. Prosperity, I considered it. The clash, the conflicting with the draw one with the ruse doesn't bother me. What bothers me is banishing, a, like, my whole extra deck. Because then I have no recovery. Number one busking. Why would I want to play this card? It's uh, it's a rank eight. Can't really summon this card. I don't really have any level eights. When does Arc Rebellion come in? It's your follow-up play. Let's just say that hypothetically speaking, your opponent sphere modes you and then breaks your whole board, which is not gonna happen because I showcased in my combo in my in my video yesterday. You can get sphere moded even lead and you still have a follow-up. Uh. You can go Raider's Knight, summon the Arc Rebellion, and it's like a one-punch man. It gains like 10,000 attack. It's like, th this card kills your opponent. I play through Droll with the deck. Yeah, dude, Droll does nothing! Let me nothing! <laughs> I'm gonna show basic combos that play through Droll. Like, look at this, okay? 
Jewel and Logbird. This is gonna be like a basic three card combo. Alright. Need more rank up? Nah, I think I'm playing the correct amount. Like, you only need two rank ups. Uh, otherwise, you start breaking. Yo, Indrid, comment ça se passe? Oh, mon dieu, ça fait depuis longtemps. Comment ça va, mon frère? It's, it's been forever. It's literally been like since last uh, stream. Um, I will sadly not be a YCS Bologna. It is uh, unfortunate, but can't really afford the, um, the luxury of always traveling abroad. And like, it, it's, it's, it's really expensive for me. And yeah, I already went to like so many YCSs recently. And also Dortmund was like really expensive. The God Hand. <laughs> it's, it's funny because my hand kind of just, I don't know, it's... It's, it's actually dog shit. It's just like double Simorg. Like, it doesn't get any worse than that. Side deck Cyber Dragon with Fortress of, uh, to funny... Yeah, it's it's actually funny how the Cyber Dragon cards are, like, not even that bad against Rescue Ace. In the end, on, like, SP in the main monster... Uh, extra monster zone, you can Mega Fleet, and then you can Fortress the Rescue Ace monsters. It's low-key not that bad. Yo, what's up with my voice? Jesus, I'm gonna die. <coughs> Anyways, okay, so we got drilled here. What about Swallow's Nest? I already said no. That card's ass. Like, it, it count. Okay, sure, it counters Imperm and Veil. <sighs> it's not good, though. It's not the correct way to play around these hand traps, I feel like. Anyways, we're under Joel, okay, guys? We're under Joel. Look at how garbage Joel is. Quel beau français, mais bien sûr. Oh, what the shit? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, um. Alright guys, uh, Double Simorg is not gonna make it. <laughs> double Simorg is like the worst one card, uh, two card combo in this deck. Because with Double Simorg, if you're under Droll, you don't have a Raid Raptor monster to revive back with Stranglelanius. So let's just say you have, uh, this. Whatever. How does it fare against Kurikara? Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the towers, they don't actually activate their effects, so... Kurikara is dead. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. Dr uh, Drill loses to Neospatian Flare, Flare Scarab. Uh, thinking. <laughs> yeah, Zephyros is bad. We were never playing Zephyros, honestly. We're trying to win. We're not trying to lose. Yo, Seti, you're the king. Yo, what's good, my man? Yo, by the way, guys, when you have Fuzzy, uh, make sure you don't detach the Fuzzy right away. Because if you get drilled, you lose here. So what you do is you you try to go for the search with the Brave Strix first. Because you want to get drilled after you search the rank of magic. And then if you get drilled here and you don't get the search of fuzzy, it's fine. Uh, it doesn't bother me. Okay, now I know for a fact that this this hand does play through drool. Because I, I, I tested it. So I know it does. Okay, so detach. It's crazy how the monster summon with uh, Arsenal uh, does not have its effect negated. It's actually kind of cracked. But yeah, revive back this. And then you go into a Y Strix using these two. And then you go Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2. That also Chain Blocks. So it it's actually crazy because this actually plays through Ash uh, as well. Which is kind of correct. Yeah, you summon that. And then you special summon the Bloom, which is in a... I mean, it's a follow-up play, I guess. Or you, you could actually go for Mimic Cry. Because if you detach it on your opponent's turn, then it's a search right away. And then, yeah, you go for the Y Strix. And yeah, you see, this hand already plays uh, through uh, Droll. And oh, uh, look at that. I burned for a thousand. Time has been called. Ha ha ha, Bernard. Okay, uh, so yeah, look at that. Normal summon, and then my opponent goes special summon. This is just to give you an idea. But yeah, this was a two card combo, by the way. By the way. Jesus. Let me. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Bernard. Okay, so, uh, this, this, and this. So, yeah, look, if this deck is cracked, yes, I'm not clickbaiting, man! A lot of people were like, oh, we're gonna see if this is a clickbait, haha, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, you're capping, yes, and stop the cab, uh, no! <laughs> Two-card combo summons double towers through Joel. Hey, th th this is not fair. <laughs> this is cracked. And my follow-up is a guaranteed OTK. Guaranteed. Well, first of all, End phase, you take a thousand. So I didn't even conduct a battle phase, and my opponent has 24. And then I go activate Zexal. You can't activate cards or effects for the rest of the turn. And then I go activate this, target 
Okay, yeah, this this should be like forbidden by the Catholic Church. Look at that. I'll target the four strikes, and then it, it'll gain like 10,000 attack. And then I go fuzzy search. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. I get... That's actually jokes. Yeah, it, it, Gatling. It, that's the um, uh, Performa Pal Fusion, no? It, is it? Ga Gatling. That's interesting. How do you summon this? Yeah. <laughs> Yak sign. What's good? Oh, we're absolutely making it out of the nest. Dude, Kaijus do nothing against this deck. You're ending your turn on like 11 freaking XCs. You want a Kaiju me? That's fine. <laughs> purely who? I know this is the superior XCs deck. Look, if you were playing purely before and you were losing to D Barrier, you might as well migrate to this deck. It also loses to D Barrier. I'm not going to cap and say that this deck plays through D Barrier because it's not true. But it's, it's cooler. And also, look... The real reason why I said that this deck was going to be tier 0 isn't because I believe that the, the power level or consistency is like infinitely better than everyone else. The real reason why this deck is, in my opinion, going to be tier 0 is because of this. This is going to be 95% of your opponents. Like, let, let's not pretend like everyone who plays this game is smart. Okay? Everybody is always going to be wasting their hand shops on dog shit cards. If you disagree with me, you are in a world of delusion. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I swear on my life. Everybody is going to be wasting their negate on some garbage. And if people don't know what deck you're playing, you have a massive advantage. Like, gigantic advantage. Like, if if my opponent has to use an infinite impermanence on a card that, on an Armageddon, you better believe that my full combo will be, like, just Exodia. Because it changes nothing. I just, like, need one more extender and then I do everything that I was trying to do anyways. And, like, look at this end board, okay? It's so stupid, man. I know it by heart because I practiced it, like, 25 times. Gotta do it on Dueling Book? Uh, yeah, no, it's, uh... Oh, on, on the link. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, yeah, on, yeah, no, it's on the link and on the, the rank 5s. Yeah, sorry, I, I didn't read that. Again, on the on Streamlabs, for some reason, I can't even, uh... I can't even read the, the last comment really well. Anyways, time to catch up with the comments because, uh, I've been... Playing solitaire a little too long. Hey, Kaiser, I don't know why people think Kaijus are uh, good versus this deck. The main interruptions on back row. Facts. Thank you. Thank you. Someone is paying attention to what I'm saying. What about Goblin Rider? Aren't they a bad matchup? Yes, they're a very bad matchup. They're, they're like an anti XCs deck, so it is what it is. Is it an expensive deck to build IRL? If you get the cards right now, it's going to be dirt cheap. And if you wait until a win, uh, until I win a YCS, and then the deck becomes like $10,000, then you're misplaying. Because I, I guarantee you, I will be playing this deck at, like, big events. I, I, I'm i telling you this right now. Again, I'm not clickbaiting or lying out of my teeth. Like, I actually think this deck is insane. Uh, a lot of these cards are really cheap, too, and reprint via Wing Raiders. Yep, indeed. What about going second? Can we see it going second? Nah, it's... if There's too much variance. Going second, it's like... It, it fully depends on the knowledge of my opponent. And the engine, again, the Raid Raptor engine does not really break boards. So going second is not good. Like, it, you need you need hand shops or... So... To win going second, you need one of three things to happen. Either you're... Well, either your opponent breaks and then you just win because this deck is consistent. Your opponents can break, but you, you're never going to break with Raid Raptors. Or your opponent uses interruptions incorrectly against you. For example, Imperm on Tributelanius... Or whatever, imprim on some, on some garbage. Uh, or your hand shops and your board breakers can allow you to, uh, you know, win. Uh, because realistically, again, if you have like a handful of Raid Raptors, you can maybe play through two interruptions. But you're not playing through Scale Drain. You're not playing through Set 5 back row. This is not like Tier Elements, where you don't play hand shops, but you just plow through boards. Like, this is not going to happen here. How about Mirror Match? Uh, mirror match is actually hilarious <laughs> because you 
Your opponent summons towers, but you also summon your own towers. So, it's like, I don't even know how you jump over things, but like, you can summon Arc Rebellion in the mirror match. And then this gains like billions of attack, and then you can just jump over the, the weaker monster, and it's just OTK. Yo, look, uh, everything is weak to Exodia. He went 6 3 with Raid Raptor in tier 4 mat, Dortmund 2022. Shit, no way! Oh, yo, dude, yo, Cedric, yo, this, this deck is gonna be nasty with a new support. Nasty. Make me a mod so I can ban everyone suggesting 2 ofs for non engine. You know what? I, I actually, I don't know if I can. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I can't do it on the on Streamlabs, huh? I don't know if uh, I can even mod people on YouTube. I know you can do it on Twitch, but anyways. Ghost Ogre is game over. How? Oh, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, Ghost Ogre on the rank 5. Yeah, forget it. It's it's game. Uh, Yo, Yasin! I, dude, I love your name! Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Hold on a second. Your name is Yasin Smith? What, a, what kind of combination is that? Show me some Raider Raptor combos. Absolutely, my man. What do you want? I Look, I can play through any of these hand shops. You just tell me what hand shop you want me to play through, and I'll play through it. So, Droll, Bestials, Ash, Imperm, Nibiru, any of them. And by Imperm, I mean Imperm slash Valor. What do you think about Snake Eyes, the Abel Star? Uh, I haven't tested Snake Eyes, honestly, so I, I don't know. Pure Raid Raptor is the way... Yes, sir. I can agree with you on that. That's the that's the build that I'm playing. What's with the hand traps ratio? Or are you still deck building? Nah, I, uh, I'm I'm gonna show you the the actual build. So that's the build. I know, man. Go to name, huh? Look, anyone who's uh, who's called Yasin is like destined for a uh, for greatness. Smith, the English translation of the Turkish name. Hold on, it. Uh, that's very interesting. Like, is your last name actually Smith, or is it like the Turk, like the Turkish word? But like, oh, from Algeria, Masha Allah, Salamu Alaikum, Kif Al Hal, Sofian. What a legend! No, I can't play through Shifter, bro. Stop asking. St oh my God, this deck is like a graveyard-based deck. This is not playing through Shifter. It's playing through everything, though. Uh, you want me to play through uh Bestials? I can't play through two Bestials. I mean, I. I might be able to, but let's see. Not Magnamud though, and not Baldrick and Druid Worm. That's stupid. We'll do Saronia and Druid Worm. I, I I don't know if this is gonna full combo though. Like a one card combo that plays through two Bestials kind of looks a little unrealistic. Maybe, maybe. Uh, can the deck play through Jewel and Logbird? Oh, okay, so you just tuned in. Uh, I just showed a two-card combo that just plays through Joel like it was nothing. Joel and Nib combined, though. Uh, you, you you can't play through... Uh, I mean, you, you can play through a combination of two hand shops if the, if, the hand if the first hand shop is used incorrectly. Like, for example, you can play through... You can play through Nib Imperm, but you can't play through Imperm Nib. If that makes sense. If the Imperm is used on Tribulaneous, you're, it's fine. If the Imperm is used on the rank 5, it's, you're screwed. If you have two hand shops that are different, you should usually win against this deck, except if, I mean... You, like, again, you can have three hand shops, and it wouldn't be enough against this deck if you're using them incorrectly. But yeah, like, you have to, you have to use your hand shops correctly, for sure. Uh, makes me feel... <laughs> yeah, nah, I know, I, I feel you. Normally, the bird deck are dying against the one bird. Yeah. Yeah. That's true, actually. Shifter is a pain. Yeah, it is what it is. You you really just can't play through Shifter. I've, I, I've tried theorizing. I've tried I've tried doing everything. You just you, you just can't. Shifter is game. But like, to be fair, is there a single combo deck that can play through Shifter? Nah. There's none. Ah, oh, yo, Seti, you're the best, man. My man. Will you tech in Chaos Angel? Uh, nah. Like, it, it doesn't do anything. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so look at that. If you want to play uh, around Shifter, you got to go... Noir target. You don't go Strangle Lanius here. Obviously, you're not trying to be stupid. And then you search for the Heal Eagle. And then you go Effect. 
And then you go Y Strix. And then Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2. And then you get hit by Bistool number 1 here on the Arsenal Falcon. And then the Y Strix. <laughs> this is even better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh my god, this is so funny. This is way too jokes. It's like, even if your opponent bestials the Arsenal Falcon, which is correct, because otherwise you summon an ultimate Falcon that can Zexo lock your opponent, you still summon. Because this this card is... Special summon one Raid Raptor Xyz monster from your extra deck, and if you do attach this card from your graveyard to it as a material. It's like, yeah, you, you hit you hit the bestial like you, you you hit you hit him with a bestial here, it doesn't change anything. Yeah, it's that that's wild. And then I'll go Effect here. Yeah, that's that's actually Oh shit, the camera's oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you got you gotta let me know when it uh when it loses focus because the the microphone is literally like in front, so that that can kind of screw me over. Yeah, it is insane. It's it's actually kind of kind of correct. Oh shit! It doesn't have a material, so the uh, strangle lanius is not like a full. Uh... I will go under the assumption that you kind of want to hit me with a bestial here. Whoops. We're not in battle phase, because the mimic cry just happens. Nah, we're in main phase one. Yeah, so th this doesn't summon anything. I mean, we, we, we can still do, like, a lot, right? Oh, no, never mind. He can't summon. He can't summon. I'm stupid. Oh, what the? Okay, so a one-card combo is full combo. Okay, th that's hilarious. Oh, and by the way, I burn you for 5k. Yeah, don't don't summon the Strangle Lanius, basically. We're just gonna... We're just gonna pretend like this is not a thing. Is it possible to play through Raiders Knight getting infinite impermanence? Um I was playtesting yesterday and I was able to do it once. I'll I'll show you how uh in a in a moment, but you can. Uh so yeah, this search is a follow-up for next turn, right? No, another extender, what the yeah, no, no, we're searching, um, tribute, and then this, this goes detail- Oh, no! Yeah, the Arsenal Falcons banished, never mind. Oh, hold on, we already banished the, uh, Hill Eagle. Okay, so you can't search the trap. Okay. Ah, that's fine. We're getting live matches, I I'm down, but I just really want to show, like, how to play through, uh, interruptions right now. Because- there's no reason to play live matches against people who already know how to beat my deck, already know how my deck is built, when I'm not even that good with the deck yet. Like, this is purely theoretical right now. But yeah, Bistools are not good against this deck. So, yep. They're useless. Uh, They didn't confirm it, so that's the reason why I'm... Look, at the moment, this card is weird. It's, it reads, if you can show no face of monsters other than wing beast monsters... But on YGO Organization, for some reason... No, it can't play through Unchained Board. For some reason, on YGO Org, it reads... If all monsters you control are Winged Beast monsters. Which is not the same thing. And they changed it yesterday, by the way. They didn't change it, like, two days ago, or, like, today. Yes, and the real question is simple. Can you FTK with the new Ultimate Falcon if your opponent uses four Bistuals on you? Bruv. That's actually hilarious. I mean, realistically, four bestials means that there's a Baldrick somewhere, and that card's an interruption, so... Yeah, you're, you're not gonna be able to. But yeah, imagine burning for 10k. <laughs> uh, that's jokes. Actually, you can get hit by triple bestials. And then... You go burn for 75, and then end phase, ultimate falcon, burn for 1000. And then, and then the game just ends. <laughs> oh, that's jokes. Yo, Alex, thank you, my man. Uh... Yeah, it's insane. So Raid Raptor Nest isn't a good uh, card option anymore. Nah, unfortunately. I already, I also tested it. It's not the ideal. Oh yeah, okay, so... Yeah, Band Shifter, I know. Someone asked me, can you play through your Raider's Knight getting Impermed? I'm gonna show the combo that I was able to... to do if my thingy gets Impermed. 
Uh, let's see. It's it's a weird combo for sure. Need that. And I think it's this. So it's a, it's a three card combo. Hey, Brandon, what's good? Alright, so this, this combo, even if my Raider's Knight gets impermed, I should be fine. So you go special, special. Yo, it's always arm day, man. Always. We're always hitting biceps. We're always doing, you know, all kinds of things. I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, so now we go Raider's Knight, Detached Denoir, Lanius. We get impermed here. And uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you just full combo anyways. You go normal summon. And then you send the fuzzy. And then you go fuzzy search. You can play around it with two card combo. Uh, are you sure? I don't think so because this is a warrior. You can't link it off. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, my bad. Okay, I, I, uh, sorry. Look, this never happened, okay? Uh, shoulder day was, hold on, we're, we're Thursday? Nah, shoulder day was Monday for me. Yesterday was back. Bro, I'm so obese, it actually makes no sense. Raider's wing. What? Eh? Hold on, I said I don't I don't think I'm 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 following you. Uh whoops. What is what is Raider's Wing? No! That card sucks! We were never playing this card. This card you can detach your material for No, no 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 no. Forget it. Forget it. Uh oh, yo, don't even worry about it, Kaiser. I am 100 percent doing that. 100 percent Make Knight untargetable. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, yeah. That's actually not too bad, honestly. But, like, they can Imperm on, like, the summon. Oh, yeah, but it's to be fair. I actually think this is not too bad. Yeah, you know what? You, you might actually be right. But it, it only... It only, ma it only makes the Xyz monster that you summon with it untargetable. So then they just hold the uh, Imperm for the Brave Strikes. So it changes nothing. Hold on, I, I just want to double check. Never mind. An Xyz monster whose original attribute is dark and has this card as a material gains this effect. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Oh my god. You know what? I stand corrected. This card is better than I thought. Wow. That's actually kind of nasty. No, but like it doesn't work. Th eh. No, it does work. It does work. It does work. Shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you know, you're definitely right. But hold on a second. You said two card combo? I, I don't think so. Are you sure? I don't think it's a two card combo. Is then they just imperm on the effect of Raider's Wing in the Grave? It's not a two-card combo. That's my issue. Yo, Cameron, I also ch tried to check in my bulk yesterday. Sadly, I don't have any of them. I used to have, like, a bunch of Raider cards, and now nothing. Uh, it's not supposed to be Noir, so I'm gonna have to reset. It's definitely not a one-card combo. I'm trying to think about it. Why wouldn't it work? You need a You need a third body. Well, I mean, a fourth one. Okay, so look, you go special, special. Okay, and then you, you don't get imprimed here unless you're playing against a bozo. And then you send Raider's Wing, right? Following me here. And then you go special summon. You don't use the effect. Yeah, it doesn't work, Marco. It's not a one it's not a two-card combo. And then you go effect detach the bloom. And then they go... Oh, what the fuck? Uh, that's actually even... Oh, hold on a second. Oh. If this card is... You can do your special summon. No, okay. So, no, never mind. N never mind. It's a two-card combo if you physically hard draw the Raider's Wing and the Bloom Vulture. Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. Okay, yeah. Four strikes first. I'm trying to... I'm trying to think about what you're... Hold on a sec. Because if this is a two-card combo that solos Imperm, yeah, this deck is way better than I thought. 
Okay, so now you can't be targeted by card effects. Yeah, you, okay, so the Imperm could not be used, which is insane. And then you go effect here. You still cannot be... Oh my god, okay, so, so far we are unimpermable. That's actually kind of disgusting. And then we go effect. It is unreliable, unfortunately, I do agree. Well, to be fair, to be fair, it might not be as bad as we think it is. You need Raider's Wing and any extender. It doesn't have to be Bloom Vulture. And then you go Arsenal Falcon. You are still... You are still unaffected by Imperm here, right? And then you go for... And you go for Noir. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably Noir. I think I'd like to use Noir first, actually. And then Tribulinius is like the last one. I just feel like you win here. Hold on a second. Just play three cards. Yeah. Nah, I'm not trying to play cross out. I want to be able to like naturally play through imp uh, interruptions. That's crazy. So far, nothing could be impermed. But I mean, you can imperm here, but then, then it's full combo anyways. Because then you just go link off, summon four tricks, surge the extender, and then you just full combo. Okay, our opponent is... He just has to Imperm here. I think the correct thing is you go Chainlink 1, uh, Arsenal Falcon, Chainlink 2, Weistrix. So yeah, this is gonna happen. Ah, shit, we can't set the rank of magic. Because this is a mandatory effect to set. So yeah, this... The Imperm is like a 1 for 2 trade here. Yo, Maxim! No way! How are you doing? <laughs> Yo, how are you? Let's, yo, Solemn Yu-Gi-Oh is the biggest Chad, the biggest goat, the biggest legend in the entire universe. Everybody go subscribe to him right now, please. Thank you very much. Play Swallow's Nest so you get dumpstered by Ash. Exactly. Then then you can go like neg two just to play through one hand shop. Uh, actually, to play through zero hand shops because then you just die. Okay, so you got Impermed here. Man, this is so complicated. How can a two-card combo play through? This is so ass. Oh, my God. It's crazy because we still have the Raider's Wing Graveyard effect. <laughs> Rank 4 can also do more. What do you mean? Imperm the Noir is stupid, by the way. If you Imperm the Noir, the, uh, the Y Strix resolves, which is a special summon for deck, which is literally better. Yeah, Imperm on the Link is a big choke point. I agree. If you have Imperm, you always hold for either the Rank 4, the Raider's... Uh, Knight, or on the rank 5, or on this. Nothing else is ever worth imperming. Biggest Belgium Chad next to Lithium. This is the most factual statement I've ever read in my life. Okay, so this four tricks can search now. My issue is I don't really know what to search. It's like, we did a normal summon, but like, let's just pretend like we normal summon the Raider's Wing. We had like, Raider's Wing and like, Simorg or some garbage. Uh, so, uh, Maxim, I'm actually not Kali Yu gang people. I, uh, I am uh, ending on, on some weird boards. I'm just making, like, a bunch of towers, and then I'm summoning even more towers on my opponent's turn, and I'm making, like, an Omni Negate and stuff. It's actually really disgusting. It's pretty nice, not gonna lie. Yeah, without the rank of magic, this is kind of rough. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You need the other extender. Yeah, fudge. Yeah, this is not gonna make it. Like, the Y Strix being negated here is rough. If you search for Fuzzy, what do you do, though? You do nothing. Like, you're making another uh, Four Strix into nothing. Like, if there was a way to, to dump... Because you need to be able to... If you want to be able to play, you need to, like, summon... No, I, I know how to play, but, like, it's... You need to summon the Tribulanius so that you can dump the... No, the, to make a second link, why? The, the, the first link got negated. The second link may, may, d does nothing. No, we have to pretend like we uh, normal summoned. Otherwise, this combo is way too good. Search Fuzzy, it doesn't do anything. Link Force into Y Strix, why? It's a mandatory effect! <laughs> 
Like, I, if I, even if I link off into a second white strix, it's not gonna work. No, it's mandatory. If the, if this card was not mandatory, it would be broken. Like the white strix is not gonna set now. That's that's the issue. Yeah, see, it's a mandatory effect. Can't believe it, man. This 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 two card combo would have been able to consistently play through Imperm if this piece of shit was not mandatory. Yeah, it doesn't work. I don't think anyone's understanding that this is a mandatory effect to set. Yeah, it's a hard ones per turn and it's mandatory. Like things couldn't be any worse. Uh, you can make under targetable evil storm nightmare. That's dog shit. Does it have an out to crooked crook? Uh, I don't think you can do piercing, but you can burn. <laughs> so I guess that, that's your out. Kind of pathetic though. How does this deck going second against full board? It doesn't win against full board. You have hand shops and board breakers for a reason. Your engine plays through like one or maybe, maybe two hand shops, depending on how they're used. Singing Lineus should be in the deck. No, it shouldn't. That, that card sucks ass. It's a really bad extender. PK Link 3, no. PK Link 3 doesn't make sense. Too low, thank you. PK Link 3 doesn't make sense because it's a non-Raid Raptor monster, so it clashes with uh, Fuzzy Lanius, and Fuzzy is broken. Yeah, you know, we're gonna have to stop the cap, stop, uh, stop playing some dog shit engines in this deck that are not gonna work. Uh, with the PK engine, you can play through Imperm. Yeah, you also have so many Briggs that even if your opponent draws zero hand traps, you're going to be losing 50% of your games. Um, I mean, this, this combo technically would have had it, because then you just go like normal summon the tribute, and then you send... Uh, if you don't have to use your normal summon, you're fine. You go that, send the Raid Raptor Roost, and then you go recycle back... Yeah, exactly. People are like, oh yeah, restrictions are not a thing. They're a part of your imagination. And then you go for a third one. And then you surge the rank of magic. Yeah, so like the two card combo plays through Imperm if you don't have to use your normal summon, basically. Oops, should have detached the other one. Uh, you can go for a third four strikes. Why not? Oh shit! No, that's actually stupid. No, never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Our our equip card to search it. Huh? What does that mean? On a second, this and uh, what else do I want to recycle back? Probably the brave strikes. I thought Raider's Wing was bad. It is. But in this situation, it's actually not too bad because it prevents your opponent from imperming you too early. But like, it doesn't matter if you have like no extenders. <laughs> BK Link send, sends Raider's Wing and gets a rank up. Yeah, it gets a very bad rank up. It gets a Phantom Knight rank up. AKA the bad ones that you don't play. So that, that's why I said stop the cap. <laughs> equip isn't searchable, pretty sure. I have no idea what equip means. I guess it's a Raid Raptor card, probably a dog shit one. Let's see how dog shit these cards are. Continuous, equip, you can add one or a This is the worst card I've ever read in my life. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna have to do better than that, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna show you the deck list. So yeah, basically you can play through to uh through Imperm on the Raiders Knight, or like I mean whatever I mean on your Y Strix basically if you have uh this this is a two card combo. Like you can't use your normal summon. That's my issue. Why'd you cut Nest? I was never playing it in the first place. That card's ass. Nest is only good when you're already winning the game. 
So I can look at how garbage this card is, okay? <clears throat> if you control two or more Raid Rapture monsters, that's I don't even need to read the rest of the effect. You can add one Raid Rapture monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So not only is this not even that good, but as a met like to make it even worse, it's a hard ones per turn. So even if you have like Zephyros, you can't even abuse it. It's absolute crap. Keck W correct. I'm literally rolling on the floor laughing right now. Nest is the best, Keck. It's, uh, yeah, it's the best garbage. It's the best card to make you lose, I agree. Hey, Dragon Rider was good. Yep. Uh, play Fiend Eagle. It's probably really bad. I've been getting a lot of really garbage uh, suggestions by you guys, but... You know what? I, I do not disagree. Well, hold on. What, what is Fiend Eagle? <laughs> it's a rank 3? <laughs> oh my god. It basically is a vanilla. <clears throat> Swallow's Nest better. Yeah, and Swallow's Nest is really bad. As to how you think Pure is better than the Kali Yuga builds. Kali Yuga plays 11 bricks. There you go. That's That's my answer for you. And also, it doesn't play a lot of extenders. Kali Yuga can't play uh, Fuzzy Lanius. It also can't play Raid Raptor Call. And the, the, the ceiling level is not even that impressive. It's really not that good. People overestimate Kali Yuga so much. Like, same thing with Black Wings. Like, Kali Yuga is not good in Black Wings, but people are just... They're on Copium. Blaze Falcon? Nope. Like, th this card's just like... I, I wish I could say that this card was good, but it's, it's not good. Really trying to think. I don't think there's anything that I overlooked. 14 one card combos. You have no idea how not impressed I am. Because those 14 one card combos involve like 26 bricks. If we're giving cope suggestions. <laughs> Three Fenrir, one Rise Hard, easy. On <laughs> there you go. You know what? Uh, let's see. And we actually played... No, I'm just kidding. It would have been so nice, though. You're, if you're locked on your XCs, you can't even go into Wise Tricks. That's, uh... Ah, oh, that's something, huh? You're gonna have to normal summon your, uh... Oh, yo, man! What's good, my man? Let's go! Yo, this is the best Infernoble player on Earth. Yo, guys, every, everybody go check out uh, Glare. Absolute MVP. Should we test? I'm down. Uh, I can actually do some games, actually, with this deck. Uh, I don't want to do that. Am I just joining other people? I think I have a complete deck list. <clears throat> yes, I won the dice roll. This is ingredient number one towards winning. Dude, I hard you the spell. This is broken. I'll keep the Tribute Lania so I can uh, keep pushing in case I get hand trapped. But if I get Imperimed on the Skip Force, eh, it's kind of rough. I mean, I can still combo through like a hand trap. If I get double hand trap though, I'm definitely dead. I'm gonna get Veilard here. And then I go Normal Summon Tribute Lanius. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Please let this resolve, and then Veiler the rank 5 because I hard you the rank of magic anyways. <laughs> please, Ash me here, Ash me. Ash me, Ash me, Ash me, please, Ash me, please, Ash me. Ash me, please, I'm begging you. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I drew it anyways! Must be nice! <laughs> Let's -a go! Oh, I feel so good at this game. I'm so disgusting. Oh, yes. I didn't even use my normal summon. Uh, call is good. I think Call might be decent. Because I'm only playing Raid Raptors anyway, so the restriction doesn't really bother me. Man, I'm so skillful at this game. Valor and Imperm are my Kryptonites. Because they can negate the Raider's Knight. But when you're skillful and you physically hard draw the rank of magic, and then the the freaking negate the rank five, oh, must be nice, bruv. 
must be nice. Bird decks are simply facts. This is a factual statement. Okay, so I'm supposed to summon the Mimic right here. And then this sets the rank of magic. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so talented at this game, Bernard. Oh yes. And then this detail. He doesn't have any uh, hand traps anymore. Oh my god. It's basically FTK, yeah. Surge of the Strangle Ladius. Nah, it, we, no, look, we, we don't know if it's the right or wrong text, though. Because YGO Org and Wikipedia are saying two different things. So like, we literally can't, we, we can't tell for sure. Alright, effect. And then effect to revive back the fuzzy, which I don't have. And then effect of this. I didn't even need any of these cards. That's insane. And then Roost Surge the Trap card. Oh my god, this is filthy! And then effect of this. I don't even know. Oh yeah, that's true. I already have the Tribulanius. I have way too much money. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. I'm probably going for a fuzzy. I'm gonna go for a third, uh... Oh, hold on a second. Oh, that's true. I have uh, the Heal Eagle in my grave. Uh, so yeah, these... Man, this is disgusting. Look at this! Uh, this recycle back. Bro, you wanna imper me? When it matters, you can do that if you want to. But it's not gonna beat me, bruv. Arsenal Falcon. And then... Effect. Special Summon. I don't have a lot of time because the, the clock is ticking. But I have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. I'm gonna summon like a freaking third... I could summon four four strikes actually in this turn. Yo, I, I literally went through all of my four strixes. Evenly is only bad if they sack and draw like two. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And even then you have follow-up. Exactly. Yes. You have follow-up anyway, so it literally never matters. Yo, look at the amount of cards that I have in my hand. Through a Veiler. Like that, like that. Yo, and I'm about to draw one card in like a second. Look at this. Shuffle back this, this, and... Ah, eh, this. Draw Ash. Okay, though. We couldn't be that good. Enjoy having fun, bruv. <laughs> How do I lose? I'm gonna have to put in the effort. I actually... I, I might be able to just straight up kill him. He's gonna go... Oh my god, dude! Please summon three Horus monster. Oh my dude, dude. Yo... This is gonna be the biggest satisfaction moment ever! Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> Yo, look at this! Oh my- do you- I waited my whole life for- Oh my god! A another one! Please summon three! Please summon three! So it can actually burn for game. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's so short! Oh man. Hey, Yang! What's good? I purely wish they could make this board. Ah, uh, not in a million years. Underworld Goddess! Nice, Bernard! Okay, yes, yeah, so uh, that's a great... Uh... Hold on, does this negate until the end of the turn? Oh, no, it doesn't negate until the end of the turn. Oh, that's not too bad. Yo, Leon, what's good? An SP Little Knight. Okay, that doesn't achieve anything. I mean, he had to go, like, neck 27 to achieve basically nothing. Yeah, all of that just to get rid of two monsters. Alright, cool, yeah, nice deck. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, let's go, planet. Uh, normal summon Ken. I mean, that, that's fine. I discard one card. I discard Fuzzy to search Fuzzy. Sure. It's a nice deck. 
<laughs> His neck is actually so cool though. Not even. Oh, he's going for unicorn now. Uh, if he negates my, if he shovels back my trap, I have to negate the fountain. Sure, I'm just gonna search the roost again. What's the point of shoveling this back? It's so. That's it. All that for nothing. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, sure. Yeah, if you insist. Um, yeah. All right, barrage negate the fountain. I win. <laughs> it was. All that literally for nothing. Uh, the underworld goddess to get rid of one card? Here I can special summon one for the rest of you. Can... Oh, he's playing Canopic Protector. Oh, wow, that's cute. Okay, the runic tip is useless. I'm negating the fountain, so now he can't use runic spells on my own turn anymore. Oh, I have a plan. I have a plan and a half. I'm gonna use a lot of effects, and then I'm gonna go into the Rebellion guy and gain like 20,000 attack. <laughs> Let's -a go. Oh. Hey, this is gonna be juicy. Uh, oh, and by the way, by the way, the Skip Force can revive back one of the towers by the... Sorry, I forgot to mention this slight little detail. Do I still have a Mimicry in my... Uh... Let's see. I'm gonna go Normal Summon this. And then, hey, let's go, Davy. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, we're 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 chilling. We're Gucci. We're Gucci. All right, effect of that. I don't care about your stupid canopic thingy. Oh, the the king sarcophagus might actually be an inconvenience. It's like if my monster battles, it sends it to the grave. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. How can I get rid of that? I don't think my deck has any uh, removal, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. I'd have to, like, summon another Ultimate Falcon, basically. Which is uh, too much to ask. Okay, so yeah, do that. And then Mimic Cry, potentially. Uh, hold on a sec, if you're horrors, you can send- Yeah, no, it's, uh, optional, and it's, uh, only, a uh, once per turn. Yeah, it's the first battle. Yeah, but, like, he's just gonna save it for, like, the big boy. It changes nothing. I if I could actually go for, like, another ultimate falcon, that would be so nice, but, like, I can't. Yeah, it's really just the- the freaking sarcophagus. Kind of an in inconvenience when I think about it. Does Dark Rebellion negate all of the cards on the field or just monsters? Oh, that's a good question. I think it's just monsters, though. Yeah, only monsters. Fudge! Ah, that's annoying. Let's see. This only shuffles back monsters. Uh... Yeah. That's bad. I mean... I could technically... Hey, he's never gonna win, though. That's the thing. Monstrous Toxic? Facts. Uh, this and... Doesn't matter, honestly. Are we gonna draw something good? No, not really. And it, it literally doesn't matter because, like... Yeah, I don't have enough time to think about something. My other monsters also can't attack if I go for the Rebellion thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I can only attack with one guy. <clears throat> but he's never gonna have a battle phase. I don't think he wins this game. I'm just gonna check his extra deck because I want to see what he has. The Zeus brother can spin it. Uh, it Really? It, targets any, it bounces back any card? No, it only bounces back a monster. Yeah, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, that would have been insane. Let's see, I need I need to figure out a way to have spot removal in this deck. I had a negate, but like, the extra deck is not resourceful, that's my issue. But I want to check the replay just to make sure that he wouldn't have had an out to the other, the other towers. I don't think so. Hmm. He can make a Chaos Angel. Using Hogan and a Horus. And then it's undestructible by battle. If anything, that's the real problem that he sh that He should have done that instead of the other garbage plays that he did. 
Your rank 13 can clear his back row. Uh, no, I, I need to XC summon it though. That's the issue. It's not on special summon. It's on XC summon. Uh... I would have I would have had to like send another heal to recycle back the rise rank up raid raptor and then I use it again but then I it's actually funny how the third rising rebellion comes up hmm nah no, no Kali Yuga maybe satellite cannon falcon to harpy without possibility to respond it's not bad actually it comes up, like, every now and then, but, like, I'd rather have the Typhon, honestly. Yeah, Typhon has a higher likelihood of coming up. Yeah. Um... What was I thinking? Yeah, that, that was such a freaking insane game. Oh, my God! <laughs> uh, Saborg spell that can bounce back... Yeah, but, by, by the way, it would have it would have been, like, an FTK, literally, if I just negated the spell, but I forgot that it had a protection... Uh, like for for the horse monsters, the Samoric spell that bounces back row. Uh, I need ex yeah. I mean, I could the Kali Yuga would just. Oh my god, Kali Yuga would have made me lose the game because I would have drawn the bricks. It's ass. Maybe play the satellite raptor. Ah, uh, no, nah, I'd rather play like a third rising rebellion at this point. Yeah, ah, uh, to be fair. I need to pray that this Imperm just makes him pass turn. Because if it is, then... Yeah, he's screwed. Hopefully he just... Okay, yeah, shit. Okay, yeah, so he's absolutely not passing turn. This is the same guy, by the way. <clears throat> you play one more rank up than you already do. Yeah, and then you play a lot of extra Garnets as, a, as, a la as an added bonus. And you... And you... Stop playing a bunch of good extenders. You can't play uh, a thingy. Nah, Marco, don't think like that. <clears throat> the issue with uh, Kali Yuga is that you can't play, um... You, you can't play a uh, thingy, uh, Fuzzy Lanius anymore. So uh, your deck is infinitely worse. Like, you have to play bad extenders instead. It's dog shit. That's not my opponent. That's a spectator. A bunch of level 8 monsters. That is very interesting. Or maybe Final Fortress to attack three times with an unaffected body of 38. Uh, It's on three monsters. Not really ideal. <clears throat> Shit, he's drawing runic cards. That's bad. Renan Engine going second. Okay, so that's useless. <clears throat> Shit. Um, I have 12 spots for Renan Engine. Oh, okay, so these are the two worst draws possible. And then he has Runic Destruction, which is an M MST. It doesn't do anything. Mm, can he revive it back? Okay, Runic. If he summons Chaos Angel, do I just have no out? That's my issue. I don't think I have an out to Chaos Angel. Yeah, I have Imperm, but like, eh. Yeah, I can't destroy his mom. This is exactly why I didn't like uh, Raid Raptor Call. Because it's not an extender when you draw like this. Uh, I mean, it's still full combo, but, like, in a in a bad way. Like, if I get interrupted here, it's just, like, it's literally just game. And he does have an interruption. Oh, my God. This is, this is dreadful. Yes, Valor. Oh, my God. Yes, Valor or Imperm here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, set two and just hope it gets me there. Because the, pl the plan would have been to, like, summon something and then go, like, Raider Raptor Call, Target, and then Specials from, from Deck. And it's basically full combo, but... Uh, do you do streams for decklist improvements for viewers? I used to. I don't know if I should keep doing it. I don't know. Maybe. Ah, uh, this should buy me a turn, actually. He's playing Salaman. Great. Yeah, there shouldn't be an out to this. Enemy controller is the one... The way he keeps playing. Uh, these are not extenders. I should be fine. Nah, we should be gooch. 
Book of Moon for purely, well, for, for just a bunch of things. Alright, so he has at least one useless card in hand. Hopefully, he R drew the field spell. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, that's that's the way he keeps playing. Alright, that's bad. If he if he drew the will, then I'm screwed. Hopefully, he didn't. Because stopping the normal summon against Salamangrate is usually just game. Alright, yeah. Okay, so hopefully, I draw... I hate this game so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh... I hate Raider after Skull! Ugh. I'm never playing this garbage ever again. It's so bad. Do you stream regularly? Uh, last time I streamed was like a year ago. Uh, ever tried board breakers instead of hand shops? Uh, you need to play hand shops, unfortunately. Yo, Raider after called no more. Sorry. Yeah, this is, you're just always locked under a uh, thingy. I mean, my decklist is literally here. Uh, are we playing a third Vanishing Lanius? Are we really joining the dark side? Because it's a soft ones per turn, not a hard ones per turn. Oh my god, so that so dog shit. Uh, we're gonna do that. Huh? What the? Uh... Oh, that is so ugly. Okay, yeah, there's literally no way to make this look better. Anyways, three Simorgs sounds better. Uh, Simorgs kind of shit though. I mean, yeah. Nah, yeah, you're probably right, honestly. Hey, again, you let's go. Nice hey, yo, Alexis, thank you so much. And I actually think Runic Ice Bear is gonna be the way to go. First time making to a stream, what's up? Yo, how are you doing, Shadow Takami? Takimi. I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, probably three Simorg might be better. Oh my god, Raid Raptor Call was so bad. It's garbage. <laughs> I had to draw the two cards that don't work with Raid Raptor Call. Would have been like the perfect extender. I actually would have been able to play. So all the bad luck in the world. I've seen people use one Simorg field spell. Um, yeah, it, I, I, I don't really like it too much. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, then I get to play the, the kind of bricks. They're not that bad. I can, I can test it out. Actually, there's nothing. I, I don't lose anything by just testing things out. I agree. I wouldn't play the, um, the giant shunade, but I would play the field spell in the main deck. Sure. Let's test it out, actually. So now I, I can actually generate advantage with uh, Samorg when I summon it. It's not too bad. Uh, field spell is in out... Hold on a second, what? I can't read again. Oh my god, the freaking... Oh, field spell is okay if you run crow. Okay, well, I don't, but yeah. Oh, really? Oh, let's go! Yo, I didn't know you were a YouTuber, Shadow. Ah, that's insane. Ruler inside instead of Droplet? Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's format dependent, it depends. You don't need to OTK your opponent, so... I like Dark Ruler, but Forbidden Droplet, I think... It's not too bad, actually. It's really not that bad. Hey, oh, Ryan! Hold on a second. Ah, hey, how are you doing? Solve the Book of Moon for enemy controller and add SP. It's, it's, fuzzy Lanius uh, locks you, though. So you, you, you won't be able to do that. Like, I, I'm gonna add an SP that I can't even summon. Like, I can summon it, but then I can't banish a card. It's, it's, it, does, it doesn't help me with going second. Like, this locks me under freaking Raid Raptor only. Let's see. Enemy controller I really just don't think is that good. I really need the bodies on board. Raider's Unbreakable Mind. Yes. You can play a Lure of Darkness, it could be good. I tested it. It's fine, but I need just more going second cards. No, Book of Moon, Book of Moon is good, though. Not, re re not regarding that. It's just my extenders have to be, like, insane. Okay, yeah, this uh, this game hates me. Straight up, first, first hand with the Field Spell, I draw double Simorg and the Field Spell. 
This is like disrespectful, actually. This hand is so ass. This is like the worst case scenario. I, I, I don't even know how that's even possible. Okay, I, I can't play through a single Valor here. But I can play through a Nash, just not Valor. How does the Arc Rebellion really come up? Uh, it's uh, your follow play when you want to kill your opponent. I don't even know what's the likelihood of drawing this bad, but like... Jesus, my man, holy sheesh. This is like absolutely catastrophic. The PK lines you can do are way better. They're not. No. They're dog shit. You need removal. I mean, I have Book of Moon, I guess. Enemy controller is just really bad. Like, you get rid of a body on, on the board so that you have one less extender to play with. It's it's just not good. You might... Ari said... I, I, I was playing Allure before, but then I have less going second cards, so that's the issue. And if he doesn't have an extender, uh, sorry, if he doesn't have a hat shop, he doesn't have a hat shop, and I just win. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so summon the Mimicry. Okay, so I guess he has Nibiru, and he's gonna nib me here. I didn't use my normal summon yet, so it's really not that bad. I can play through nib. No problemo. Actually, there might be a decent timing to nib me. Uh, but it wouldn't be here. Yeah, he for sure has Nibiru. He's not. He's gonna Nibiru me here. And then I just go normal, special. And yeah, I just keep playing. Uh, you could have Chainlink 1. Why is Chainlink 2 Simorg? Uh, I chain block with the Arsenal Falcon anyways. And he would have Ash... He doesn't have Ash because if he had Ash, he would have um, he would have Ash the rank five anyways. Uh, I'm searching this. The PK cards, Brick City. It's absolute garbage. You have to add two extra bricks in your deck, and you have to play less good cards in your deck. It's like the the worst of both worlds. All right, uh, he's gonna need me room me here. Can't nib after him. Oh wow, so he doesn't have a hand shop. He's just like on always, uh, always check. <laughs> it's more fuel for rank up magic, and you can grab an extender in shade and interrupt in fog blade. Eo, disgusting. You're literally just, you're you're just mentioning even more bad cards, like one after the other. You know. <laughs> I do that. What PK cards are bricks instead of playing new rank? You literally- Oh, what the- Okay, my bad. I should have searched. There's no way you guys can be serious. Like, Raider's Wing is a brick. The Rank of Magic is a brick. Uh, and not being able to play Fuzzy Lanius is bad. Why am I searching now? I guess for Tribute? Yes? I don't even know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, th th that ass, I swear to God. <laughs> oh my God, it's it's not an extender! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! What? Raider's Wing is not an extender! It's an extender once you already get the ball going and when you're already in good position. Which is, you know, it's 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 a it's a fallacy. Hmm. Yeah, I should have done the other way around, huh? I mean, it's fine. Yeah, all the Samor cards were uh, completely useless because he had no hand traps, anyways. Same with Bloom? No, not same with Blooms. Blue. We don't even know what the effect of Bloom is right now, bro. Stop. Stop. Just. Just stop. Raider, Raider's Wing protect you from Imperm and Valor. We didn't figure this out yet. 
Apparently, you still lose the Villa Imperium if you uh, if they hit it uh, if they hit your um, freaking thingy. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, so I just summon the tribute. If they hit the, if they hit the link too, it doesn't matter that you play around it by pre preventing your opponent from targeting your thing. It literally changes nothing. Like literally nothing. Fuzzy is good for one card combos, but I choose to use PK variant. Yeah, enjoy bricking, I guess. And you can play the you can play the BK variant that goes for Kali Yuga. I just don't really like it. Uh, you're, uh, but how good is the deck at breaking boards? Uh, it's not ideal. Oh my god, we don't even know what the effect of Bloom is right now. I, I, I assume that it's the original effect. But if it's not, then yeah, it's not ideal. Uh, this is probably the best card to search. All right, draw, shuffle back this. Uh, probably, probably the four tricks. Ah, uh, doesn't even matter. Who cares? I draw Ash. Nah, right, close enough. Okay, six cards in hand. Jesus. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> quick launch package, ew. Yo, this is a mirror match, no way, that's insane. <laughs> Ayo, player is a goat. Oh yeah, that is fine. What about PK Fogblade? It's another brick. <laughs> it's bad going second, and going first, it's a win more. I just don't like these kind of cards. It's it's literally fiendish chain. Like you're not playing fiendish chain in your in your deck. You're playing imperm because it's good going going first and second, but fiendish chain is only good going first. So nah. Uh, send mimicry. Oh, he hard drew the fuzzy. Hmm, like that, like that. The Heal Eagle has a similar wording, but states that you can need at least one on field, so we can hope. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Uh, so it states that you need... That's true, yeah, that's true, Holtra, exactly, yeah. It's it's not the same thing, yeah, you're right, yeah. The deck with Cal, you can, I'm gonna kill you the setup for either 50 or did you... Yeah, you can do that, Luca. And look, I'm, I'm not telling you to, to play or to not play Kali Yuga, it doesn't matter, but... Personally, uh, look, I'm not trying to play these cards. And you know, when people say stupid things like, Oh, Blue Vulture is blah, Shut up, okay? We, again, we don't know the, the guaranteed effect of this card yet. So, yeah, gotta wait. Gotta wait until we get, like, the uh, TCG version of it. Because Japanese is that kind of language where, you know, like, you can't... You, you, can't, you can't use Google Translate to, like, understand, like, PSCT for it. This search is a Raid Raptor card. I mean, that doesn't threaten me in the slightest. How's the new Anti-Zeus? Eh, it's actually a really good card. I mean, I've never really resolved it for anything. I just know that in theory, it's a good card. I haven't playtested Yu-Gi-Oh! in like... Forever, really. <laughs> I played more uh, YCSs than I played Logos. Which is actually wild. But to be fair though, uh, there is something that I will say, Marco. You did convince me to change my mind... Uh... With Raider's Wing. That, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I will say, it's probably infinitely better than... Uh, it's definitely better than I uh, initially thought. So, you, you got me thinking. I'm not gonna lie. I really want to test more combos with it. Because there might be a world in which some realistic combos could play through well-timed Imperms. Yeah, facts. Le le legit, I played more YCSs than Locals. It's actually insane. Uh, the issue with uh, hard drawing the rank of magic here is that he summons like a bad card. He summons like the rank 6. I think it's like a regeki, but like I'm not scared of that, so I'm just gonna let it resolve. Oh crap, no! 
Maybe I shouldn't have because this is. Hold on a second. The discard gonna uh, the start of the discard battles. Uh, monsters attack. Uh, discard is real. You can destroy if you just push. That's not that bad. It can attack all monsters my opponent controls. Each the attack and defense becomes zero. I mean, I kind of have to do something about it, but it doesn't float. This card's not really good, honestly. Um, I'll let that resolve. I don't need, like, yeah. Nah, we're good. We're good. And Triple Tactic Talons doesn't beat this deck because I end on three towers, so. Oh, he wanted me to chain, huh? I want to see what was in his uh in his hand because the mirror match is kind of kind of sketch actually. Hmm, what's his deck list? That's definitely a viewer of the stream. He was playing Swallow's Nest. Everybody kept telling me to play this card, Raider's Wing. Last tricks. I actually consider playing. The How is ending on two towers better than ending on two towers in Cali? Okay, you know what? You want me to build, like, the Kali Yuga uh, build? Because the Kali Yuga build... It's not that the end board is... The, the end board is infinitely better. I'm not saying the opposite, but I'm saying you're playing less good cards in your deck. That's the issue. So it feels less like a real deck. Okay, so the Kali Yuga version can't play fuzzy. Uh... I'm not a fan of Kali Yuga. Grow in standby on opponent rank five, rank up is dead, you can you end on one negate. Yes. You play one more rank up, that's literally it. You play you don't play fuzzy though. Fu fuzzy is so broken because it makes tribute like a, a a real one card combo. I mean, to be fair, not nah, tribute. Yeah, tribute is still a one card combo. But, but then you have to waste some good like hold on a second. Nah, yeah, that, that doesn't really change anything, but still. Yeah, so you have to add that, that, and then you gotta play Raider's Wing, I think. You might not even have to. And then you gotta play the Phantom Knight. I don't think you need Soul Shape Force. Uh, no, this deck doesn't lose to Bestials at all. It, it doesn't lose to Bestials and it doesn't lose to Diddy Crow. <laughs> Fenrir, right? <laughs> It's the second time I've uh, seen this comment. Tribute Mimicry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fenrir is a one card combo. Yeah. W yes. I mean, yeah. If you, if you normal summon the Rizard like a dumbass, yes. I agree. Armageddon Knight is another tribute. Uh, What are you sending with Armageddon? Because it, 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 it probably is. All extra deck dudes at one? See, that that's my issue, Marco. If you play all extra deck cards at one, it doesn't feel like a real deck. It just looks like a go big or go home, turn one kind of deck. And then you have no versatility, no recovery. It just doesn't feel real. I don't want to play like 65 billion different cards in my extra deck. That was my first build and then I just changed to like the pure build without Kali Yuga. Yeah, I know, you said Mimicry, yeah. And then you search triangle. No, the the, the combo's fine. I, I know it obviously, but Yeah, so this this is the Kali Yuga build, uh, uh combo rather, I'm gonna show right now. Uh Shade and Raider's Wing. Uh do you really need to play Shade? Oh sorry, I forgot uh, Rusty in my extra deck. Nah, you still a lot. What? You summon Bloom with Wise. Oh, I'm just showing you guys. I'm, 
I, I'd rather die than play this deck. <laughs> I mean, play this build. You can play some 1 4 strikes and you need a 2. Well, I'm playing 3 4 strikes. I don't care. It is true that you can recycle back, though. That, that's that's nice. Like, you can get away with, uh, like, 2 4 strikes, but, like, you. Yeah, like, you're not trying to play one of everything. Yeah, I haven't been playing the PK traps at all. I, I you don't need them for the Kali Yuga combo. You need the rank up magic card, Phantom Knight launch card. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I know. Otherwise, you literally cannot summon Kali Yuga. Shade isn't being played right now, but I don't know. If you play Shade, you can't play Imperm. Just keep that in mind. Target that. Quick Launch is also a one-card combo and gives you access to a... Bruv, with Quick Launch, you're playing Rockets, and every single Rocket is a brick. We, we are not going there. We are absolutely not going there. Alright, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, 3, 4 Strix is correct. I agree, Houston. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm, just, I'm really just showing for other people because I, I want people to, like... Look at the end board and be like, okay, yeah, this is us. <laughs> Basically. Man, this just doesn't feel good. Uh, let's see. We can actually do it a little bit more uh, minimalist. Ah, no, you can't, actually. Tracer plus Extender is combo. Okay, Tracer is the worst card ever to play in a deck that isn't Dragon Link. Like, it's it's big copium. Hold on a second. Am I trying to go... I'm trying to make this end board a little better than uh, what I showcased before. Am I The only way to beat this deck is Cherries, for Strix, and Jill. Yes, Houston, but uh, another uh, big weakness that this deck has is... Uh, it's sad to say, but it's actually Retaliating C. This deck hard folds to Retaliating C. Which is the kind of hand trap that everyone can uh, can play. Uh, I think I just go for like anything, yeah. And you're able to play Fuzzy and Sign, which are both amazing cards for Raid Raptor. Exactly, that's the reason why Pure is way better. Facts, facts. People in chat really has... The Cloudian is crack mentality. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> Too bad that Raid Raptor uh, Gust isn't a Raid Raptor card officially. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yo, Retaliating C is insane, actually. Uh, this copies Arsenal. And then I go effect, summon, fuck. Uh, I, I, yeah, no, it's not fine, actually. Nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It doesn't change anything. Uh, Summon anything, really. Maybe add Bardish to extra gives you more... Nah. If only the card was like always treated as a Raid Rapture, that would have been so insane. But it's not. House Thrust in the deck, not really good. Like you're searching Zo uh, Barrage with the thingy, but it's, it's kind of meh. Hold on a second, wait. Yo! No way! <laughs> Yo, Marcos, how are you doing? Let's go. Can you play Dragoonity package in this deck? Romulus and two Wing Beast, then Ravine. Ah, uh, you can summon it with two Wing Beast, yeah. But it's it's not really worth it. Like, the Ravine wouldn't be doing anything. 
Uh, excuse Dragon on a plea Taylor and I. Yeah, Thrust is alright. It helps if you uh, play Kashira. The Kashira engine is cute, but I wouldn't say it's really good. Okay, I fucked up somewhere, but whatever. I mean, you get the point. This deck's ass. Okay, we'll, we'll just keep playing more games. Have you tested with the Xyz Armor Trap? Not the Raid Rapture deck, though. And I can host my own games. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> this is such a waste of time. Ah, uh, yep. Ah, uh, without the time bullshit. Time is just annoying. Draco Future and it's... No, you're locked under Dark. Would the Hand Trap Raid Rapture Booster Tricks be okay to add? Uh, you mean last tricks? Eh, not really. Oh, yes, I won the dice roll again. Oh, and I have a one card combo like that, like that. Sheesh. Yo, I'm feeling nice. <laughs> ah, yes. As long as I don't get Valor on the rank four, it's basically what matters. Yeah, getting Valor on the rank four is really just what kills you here. Nah, 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 I'm playing pure now. Not playing, uh, the garbage build. My bad. Requiem is huge in this deck. It's not needed, though. Owen creates content? Let's freaking go, my man. Said one Raid Raptor spell or trap from your deck. I don't even need to search... I'm going to be setting this. That way the Mimicry can search something else. Uh, Boostrix isn't even great as a battle interruption. Ah, oh, Boostrix is garbage at everything it does. Alright, so this searches the trap. It's basically the only card that I can search, really. All right, this summons Noir. This is where it gets really cool. I go special summon the Heal Eagle. And then I get nibbed. I target that and then search like an actual level 4. That's broken. I'll go for Strangle. I'm, I'm about to get like 25 searches. It's insane. Oh, I love this deck. Is she sure Soul Shape Force even a one? I'm actually playing zero Soul Shape Force. You don't need it. What, what if you improve the Arsenal Falcon? Uh, it stops nothing. It's still full combo. Arsenal Falcon is not a is not is not a choke point because. You just summon whatever extender and then you link off it to Y Strix and then the Arsenal Falcon summons four Strix. So it's it's just it doesn't stop anything. Uh enemy controller makes you lose a body. So you have less board presence, and the monster that you steal, you're not doing much with it. You're not making SP level knight or Typhon. So you're just basically giving it back to your opponent, unless it's a mirror match. But if it's a mirror match, then enemy controller is not the card that makes you win. Hmm. I think so. Uh, if we take shifter, we can't play. Basically, you make a rank four, you search a follow up, and then you you set Imper and Book of Moon and Ash if you have it, <laughs> and that that's that's it. Yeah, that that's basically it. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like you win some, you lose some. Okay, I do have the heal in the grave. Okay, that's that's fantastic. Exactly, Cedric. Yeah, you really need your bodies. Like enemy controller is not free in this deck. It's it is what it is, but uh, yeah, it's not what I can call a real estate. 
free real estate sorry all right so this uses its effect Surge that. I'm gonna end on like eleven cards. You're you're turning in circles right now, Mo. Uh... That that's basically it, Marco. Yeah, basically, that's the best way to sum it up, at least. Your one card combo gets you started. If your opponent doesn't have an interruption, then you're in everything. And if you're getting stopped, then you need to add extenders, and then you just keep going. That's it, that's all. Now, like, I could get nibbed right now, and I just don't give a shit. Doesn't scare me in the slightest. I'm adding so many cards to my hand, I'm gonna have, like, the biggest follow-up ever. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh All right, detach, summon bloom. Does the deck have uh any other starters? It only has uh Tribulinius as a one card starter. And then everything else is just a bunch of two card starters. So this is the like the um the the end board that you're always trying to end on. It's probably as good as it gets, I want to say. Trying to get like another extender. Simorg is probably uh, one of the best ones. And then you also draw a card, so we're not done yet. Always draw at the very end so that you decrease the likelihood of drawing the cards you don't want. Shuffle back the fuzzy. It's pretty useless. Neighbor Joel, what's better right now? You mean in this deck or against this deck? Oh my god. I have a little too much money. Yo! Hey! We have... Five back row? Five in hand? Five monsters. We went uh, plus 14. Oh, I can't count. This is 15, so yeah, we went uh, plus 9. <laughs> plus 10, plus 10. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, pass turn. Arma's one card, quick launch, Kashtira stuff, super heavy stuff, yeah, you can play the super heavy samurai package actually, it's not too bad. Honestly, it's uh, it's what I might uh, like unironically consider. A Raid Rapture versus Blackwing, that's insane, the bird mirror, haha, <laughs> you see how it is. Hey Isaac, my man, thank you very much, I appreciate you. So this is gonna search something? The, the sad thing is, his deck just loses to uh... The Book of Moon, really. Like, he searches the freaking guy that special summons itself if you control a black wing, and then you just go a Book of Moon. <laughs> Enjoy having fun. Hey, Max, my man, how are you doing? Yo, Frostic, you are the king. Let's go. Very funny is nibbing the opponent and then popping the token with a. Uh... Air Raid? What, what is Air Raid? No, yo, uh, Luca, uh, Pain Lanius is not. Um... It, it's not, it, it doesn't allow you to combo off. When a monster of your opponent, you can send one face up. If you control Blackwing Synchro or Black... Oh, that doesn't do anything. Oh, nice deck. I think everything is an inherent summon, so I'm just going to Book of Moon here. Said, nice deck you got there, Bernard. I, I really didn't need the Book of Moon, though. That's just like flex. <laughs> I did, definitely didn't need it. I <laughs> uh, lost connection. Okay, I see how it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, hold on, yeah. Oh, uh, Shun actually did play against Crew in the anime. I forgot. Yeah, Crew Hogan for some reason was also in. Ah, this is the best name ever. You see, look at that. This this guy this this guy. I'm gonna scoop to him just because I I can't lose to like I oh my, I keep winning the dice roll. I'm so good. Um, I can afford to lose to like someone with the, with the same name as me, and it's completely fine. I don't know what's the most optimal way of playing through hand shops here, but no, yeah, I will. Uh, we'll see. Actually, we'll see. This is probably correct because then I get my trap, so I get two interruptions. Even if, even if I get like hand shopped when it matters, 
The Raptor's Force is irrelevant. Bane is only full combo with Mimicry. Um, okay, so I, I, I got drooled. So th I, I think I think it's... Uh, is it fine? Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Let's see. I searched the spell, it doesn't do jack shit. And I also cut the call, because call would have been able to help me full combo here. Yeah, so I actually play into a, into a thingy by doing that, but it's, it's not the end of the world. I would have been, yeah, I, I just shouldn't have searched with the roost, basically. No, uh, Omega, he's uh, he's talking about um, something else. Oh, hold on, is that uh, the uh, Century on deck? Snake Eye Populus, you can serve this card as normal, you can add one Snake Eye spell shot from your deck to your hand if this card isn't. What the hell? Sheesh. Yeah, this is actually kind of nasty. I have to let it resolve. Yeah, he was talking about the Kali Yuga deck. Like, Tribute Lanius in that deck can't send uh, Fuzzy, so yeah, it has to send Mimicry to Surge the Strangle. Man, this card's really disgusting. Place it in an old... Yeah, sheesh, okay. It's actually pure Snake Eyes. Holy. So he's gonna go for the one-for-one one card? He didn't even use his normal summon yet. Yeah, that's actually kind of filthy. Yeah, I'm actually kind of screwed. Uh, but you still end on two towers. Nah, I mean, Super Poly is good at disrupting the board, but it's not good at, uh, preventing the- Oh my god, if I stop that, he still goes Masquerade. SP Little Knight. And I can negate anything, but like, oh man, that is not good. Yeah, uh, so maybe I should have ashed the bonfire. That would have stopped that at least. Yeah, against mid-range decks, you shouldn't hold your ash for too long. You basically just ash the first thing, usually. It's not the same thing as combo decks. Okay, so this card's basically useless, but I can't... Sheesh, I can't freaking barrage the... The SP Little Knight. Yeah, that's the thing. Because then he just chains. This has 16, this has 16. Ugh. At least I have that for... What? Why is he... Why is he banishing this? This is so random, though. So as long as I don't chain, he can't double Farfa. Because I assume that he's gonna pass now. Okay, yeah, never mind. Okay, yeah, now I just lose. Yeah, okay, yeah, this hand had way too much gas. Uh, but it, to be fair, it's my fault, it's my fault. Was my hand again? I do remember it. Because I, I know I played into drills, so that was really foolish of me. Raid Raptor combo. I had that, that. The Continuous Spell. Bloom, Vulture, and Ash. And I got hit by Droll. Oops. Uh, yo, Lilies, the, the playtesting is going uh, pretty well. Yeah, but to be fair, I also misplayed like a dumbass. Like, I really played into the drill like a... For no reason at all. So the correct move here is to not use the roost. Yeah. 
Yeah. Card advantage in pure is insane. But yeah, I should have done that. And then I go detach this. Search. And then I go fuzzy lineus effect. And then I get drilled. And then I just go, okay, I don't care. And this is basically full combo anyways. Almost. It's not full combo, but it's it's close to full combo. Uh, I summon Tribute Lanius, and then I send... There's no way to get the Heal Eagle in the grave. That's fine. Did he break? <laughs> you didn't OTK through the board, though. There is no shot. Uh, I could go for Strangle as well. Tribute just doesn't really get me anywhere, yeah. Yeah, dro Droll really should not, should never be a problem for me, honestly. Special summoning. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much nothing. It, do it doesn't change anything, but... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the roost is just like an uh, irrelevant uh, variable. I can activate it, and then I get like a search on my opponent's turn. That works. Is that my opponent plays, and I, I just board wipe everything? Yeah, I still play the game. Like, through the drill, you should still... Like, see, my, my hand still would have been able to do, like, quite a lot, you know? Through the drill. It's just my fault for playing into it. Nah, yeah, the Ash is irrelevant. Oh, hold on, my build still has Cull. Oh, no, that's, that's the old... Uh... Yeah, that's true. I'm playing more Simorgs, and I'm only playing one Vanishing. And I am playing the Field Spell. Ah, you didn't miss much. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep playing more games. I'm actually learning more and more, actually, with this deck. Uh, yes. Facts. I mean, this, this is a good hand going first and second, so it's pretty good. It's actually really insane. Alright, Drytron Nova, that's that's not a good start for me. Veiler and Book of Moon, not the best cards against Drytron. Definitely not ideal. I have seen better. Hopefully it doesn't have uh, Zeta. Oh, that's a Benta, and I see. So yeah, he searches another Benten and Diviner. The Diviner gets Veilered. And then, I don't know what he does. Hey, Levy, let's go! What's good, man? How Master Duel is doing like a year last time I logged in? Uh, I haven't played in Master Duel in like... Since, since, my, since my last stream, really. Yeah, so Fafnir searches an irrelevant card. Uh, he messed up though. He should have searched uh, Zeta with the, uh, summoned the Nova, uh, Zeta with the Nova instead of Alpha. This doesn't do anything. So now he has the Ritual Monster, and oh, hold on, no, this searches the Medianus anyways. I have okay, yeah, it doesn't change jack shit then. Ah, oh, that's fair. That's fair. Yo, he's not even making SP. Oh, uh, we take that. You're just setting one. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is way too free for me. SP is just so problematic. Say word, my hand randomly just loses to SP for no reason. 
Like, it, this has 1600 attack, and my strongest monster has 16. And I can't Book of Moon it. This is really bad. Oh, this is so bad. The monsters have sh so low attack. Yes, Book of Moon. Yeah, thank you. Th th thank you for letting him know that, uh... About... <laughs> Yeah, Book of Moon doesn't change anything in this uh, context. Uh, th I don't think there's anything I can do, really. Yeah, like, remo the, the removal from SP is just so annoying. So maybe Book of Moon might not be the way to go, but enemy controller is definitely not the way to go. Regeki is not the way to go. I wish I could play six Imperms. <laughs> If I go normal summon the Noir Lanius and then special summon the Fuzzy, he just goes chain banish the Noir and then I lose. Yeah, I just I just lose actually. <laughs> I really just lose. Eh, I'm screwed. Yeah, this this doesn't play. This really doesn't play. Yeah, I'm I'm really trying to think, but like there's really just no way to play this one out. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some. I can't crash this. If if this was Tribulanius, I I I literally just win. Oh, see where this actually reduces the attack by one. That's insane. It, well, the 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 level rather. Oh, I can make Typhon. Hey, I forgot about that. Sheesh. But then I can't you. But you know what? I actually fucked up. I should have. Yeah, I, I, I forgot that I had Typhon, so I should have normal summoned the Mimicry and then make Typhon jump over this. Yeah. What's SP's effect? He doesn't know. Yeah, but I summoned the wrong monster, so I'm literally just a bozo. <laughs> hey, yo, Typhon's nice. Kind of forgot, huh? But yeah, this card's uh, fourteen fifteen. Nice. So it literally never mattered, anyways. Hmm. I can Book of Moon myself, so that my monster stays alive. But then it's face down, so it doesn't even like. Doesn't even interrupt my opponent. Forbidden Droplet is so convenient here. Yeah, I am locked under special summoning. That I am very well aware of that. Oh! Hey! What the? Oh, okay, he messed up. Oh, he did an uh, attack declaration. Okay, alright. <laughs> yeah. This should not be a thing, but whatever. Another Benton. Sheesh, okay, that's that's kind of filthy. Oh, now I know for a fact I'm dead. He gets double searches. Not much I can really do here. You can show your one discard the... Yeah, fuck. 2800 attack, how convenient. <laughs> Damn! Sheesh! And Natasha to steal my Typhon. I think this game's over. Yeah, Typhon's insane. Damn. And this deck doesn't lose to Typhon, so that's actually kind of nice. I go this, and then flip. He can still Ritual Summon, probably. And Rafael is until the attack equal to the... Yeah, he can't, he can't tribute, like, face-down monsters, huh? I don't think he can. Oh, uh, yeah, but he has the big machine in hand anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, number of monsters changed, but, like, he should have done done it on damage step. Th then it would have been, like, you know. So, yeah, he tribute a monster, and then I can't use monster effects for the rest of the turn. This literally changes nothing. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, not gonna happen. You can target one spell in your grave, add it to your hand. Cool. Nice story, bro. 
He's tributing himself. I don't even have any monster effects, bruv. Big think. Uh, now Meteon is Drytron. Target, get it back. What's the attack of Natasha again? Completely forgot. But uh, this, this spell is bad news for me, actually. This also summons back from the grave. Oh my, this is so broken. So yeah, he can, um, yeah, he's going to summon the Natasha from hand. You know, I'm just going to make him run, run out of gas, whatever. Eventually it's, it's going to happen. Yeah, this is way too convenient. Uh, so now he's going to link off so that he can use the graveyard effect. That's my issue. I'm going to book of moon here so that if he chains SP, like, at least he's banishing, he's getting rid of the Natasha some, somehow. And then it's not going to hit the grave, which is good for me. Like, you, you can SP banish my Typhon, that's fine. Uh, yo, Marco, send me a message on Discord. And, and let me know it's you. The Book of Moon is actually in a very interesting here. So he's going SP, banish these two. That's fine, that's fine. That's completely fine. I don't think he's playing now. Yo, are we making a comeback? Bruv. But this does this does hurt me, actually. Neither player can activate the effects of monsters with 3,000 attack or more. So the issue with Typhon is that it affects the player. It doesn't affect the card, necessarily. And so... I can't believe we're, we might actually make a comeback with one single car. That's ridiculous. With a Drytron Fafnir, you have to control a Drytron, right? Well, you control a Drytron monster. Ooh, we're playing, bro. Let's -a go. Ah, oh, like.
Typhon affects the player. It reads neither player can activate the effects of monsters. Not the monsters can't. I can't link it off. <laughs> yeah. I can't do Jack. That's insane. I'll search a follow up. Yeah, but we're, we're, we're fine, realistically. I'm seriously feeling pretty comfortable. Wait, couldn't you attack multiple times with Arsenal at 3200 attack plus Typhon for game? Now, nah, I had to go battle phase first. I had to go battle phase first to get rid of the SP. So all of that was in main phase 2. I, I really wonder how he plans on beating me though. Okay, Ben 10. Why see some in Raiders Knight? You could use Mimic Effect on field. That is an extremely good point. Thank you so much. Yep, yeah, yeah I, I could have done that and I should have done that. Yep, I agree. Medion is Drytron. Yeah, sure, that, that's fine. Thoughts on Supreme. Oh, shit, okay. Oh, he drew the nuts. Like that, like that. Haha! <laughs> yeah, yeah, alright, okay, okay, yeah, sure, shit. Now we're fine, though, we're fine, I really don't care. I'll hold my Valor for, uh, the, uh, the, the, the sorry, the, the Mu Beta Fafnir. There's no reason to Valor the, okay, yeah, he's not even searching the Viner. Searching Lancia, that doesn't do jack. Natasha, tar targeting what? Typhon! That is... Fine. Please link it off. I'm gonna win anyways. Uh... I just need him to, like, link off this card. So he gains a little bit of life points. I couldn't care less. I don't like Wings of uh, Requital. Maybe you should play Dark. It's a pretty generic and it's a good way to link off some monsters like Typhon. Sure, I mean, Dark is decent, but, like... I don't know. It it doesn't really do much for me. I mean, to be fair, I can crash it and then unbrick. I can search Tribute, huh? Yeah, Tribute has 400 defense. Can I play one game against? I don't know if that's probably what that what, what you said. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll uh, I'll host with like a password afterwards or something. Uh, this card is special. You can target one card on the field. Learn to shuffle both into the deck during your opponent's turn. You can tribute one. Uh, this. Oh, okay. So this doesn't do anything basically. And I have Valor. So it's a nice deck you got there. Uh, you can banish one other so the target one monster upon special and discard if you do take control of that monster. It's actually kind of a crack card, Jesus. Yo! It's broken! I have to veil her this card for sure! 100%! Oh, you know what? No, never mind. Uh, look, uh, hold on. Who told me that? Uh, Bartholomew. It's actually a good thing that I went into Raider's Knight instead of going straight into the rank 5. Because now I've got a rank 4 and a rank 5 to target in my grave so I can make the rank 13. So it's actually a good thing. It's a good thing. I didn't mess up. Yeah, he's gonna take a lot of damage here. Like a, a stupid amount. This is gonna be nasty. I'm playing into Iron Dragon Tiamata. No. Boom! Yo, look at this. 7200! <laughs> Yo, and this is going second, by the way. Hey, okay, so this is this is definitely sub this is bullshit. Now I understand. Now I definitely understand why he didn't search Diviner. Man, this is so unrealistic, though. Yo, Natasha is so unfair. Ah, uh, this is his last time using Natasha. This is still main phase one! Yo, hey, give me a break, bruv. Ah, oh, man, he keeps gaining life points. Yeah, you should have done that before. I know, I know. Alright, yeah, if you say so. 
I want to kill it. Oh, I might actually be able to kill him with his own lava. Ah, to be fair, he's going to link it off. Probably, really, uh, Drytron only plays one Diviner? Oh, that's that's insane. Okay, so... I really have to worry about uh, the Lancia. Lancia is really problematic. I have Bloom Vulture in the grave. Yes! Ah, uh, we're fine, boys! The, the Zergate one either added special summon it. Oh my god. I still think we win. Like, this card's... Ah, uh, yeah, I can't use monster effects. Yeah, he's just gonna... Make me basically skip turn. This is such a stupid combo. Yeah, I can't use any monster effects. <laughs> it's a stream sniper. He plays Drytron going first and he main decks uh, Lava Golem. 100% stream sniper. What does Barrage do? It's a... It's an Omni Negate if I control a Raid Raptor Xyz, and if I only control a Raid Raptor Monster, it's not not really an, an Omni Negate. Do I know any of the cards in his hand? I forgot. Uh... Yo, either way, this game's super fun. Does he have a Medianus that I know of? Okay, what the shit? Yo, he drew Gamma, bro! That's insane! Oh, he ran out of he, he ran out of search targets. That's insane. He went through every single one of his XCs. That is nuts. Yo, can we actually make the comeback of uh, the century? He's literally out of Bentens. He went through three Bentens, bruv. May I fight you after the next guy? Yo, you want to fight me? Hey, yo, I benched three plates, bruv. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, s someone else also... Uh, oh, he misplayed. He should have used the ritual spell first. Oh, it's in his hand. Kick W. Uh, that explains it. He's not even using the foolish effect, the WTF. Uh, I am 100% negating the shit out of this. Haha! -ha! Now you have to. Now he has to ritual summon like a garbage card. He has to summon like the Natasha or something. Yeah, he can't use the materials underneath. Yo, it was the best top deck ever, and it's still not enough because Raid Raptor best deck, bro. It's a hot red if you control an XC as an Imperm if you control... Basically, yeah, exactly. Yeah, this guy just keeps getting life points. But it's not gonna be enough. I swear to god, I hate this card. Oh my god, we, we won, boys. Yo, look at the amount of graveyard effects. I don't even know where to begin. I have too much money. Banish the fuzzy because it's useless. At this point, I'm really just summoning monsters because they have high attack, I guess. You have the quick play spell in my grave. I do. So the correct move is to summon a rank 4. And then I make the... Oh my god, my deck is so nice! This is ridiculous! No, no, not the defense! Oh, you freaking moron. Normal su Look, it's it's fine, we win anyways. Normal summon effect? Because it's only the turn he was summoned. Uh, oh, uh, no, uh, I haven't checked it, but I, I know someone sent me a message. I'll check it eventually. Alright, banish heal eagle, get back the raid raptor's force. And then, you know, I'm saying, like, this is where the game ends. If you, if you feel me. Rapturous Force? Yo, I'm nice like that. What can I say? Yo, that's true. Yo, Dogwood is kind of, kind of cracked against this deck. I really wanted to burn this guy to death. Fortunately, not gonna happen. Yo, this was a sick-ass game. Playing around Goers, there we go. Broken! We did it! Okay, Typhon is like, pretty nice going second, actually. Okay, uh, so... Uh, what's my Discord? Uh, I'll send my Discord on the, in the chat so people can send me a message if they want to. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. 
Ok. It should be this actually on uh, Discord. Because uh, it recently allowed you to like use like a handle for Discord instead of like the number and things like that. So yeah, you should be able to look me up just by writing yes in 656. Should be easy. Yeah, I know. Who would have guessed that? Wow, what a, wow, crazy. Oh, my God. Your Discord name is Yasin656. That's crazy. Oh, my. No way. All right. Time for some more games. Why not? Oh, hold on a second. Who wanted to play against me again? It's uh, Stanimir. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Marco. Yo, Stanimir. Um, get ready, okay? Because I'm, uh, I'm hosting just for you. And the password is your name. I, I don't even know how to. It's a uh, Europe competitive, by the way. Your password is your name. Yeah, no, D Daniel, you're after. Don't worry. <laughs> you're going to be my next victim. Oh my god. Winning the dice roll in Raid Raptor feels so good because, like, you know you've won the game. <laughs> it's the best feeling ever. Uh, is that you? No. Sheesh, this guy randomly had my pass. That's insane. Let me know when it's you inside. Yo, Marcus. I agree, man. The deck is absolutely cracked. By the way, are you German? Yeah, we, we have a we have a couple of Germans in the in the chat. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, Stan, is is this the real you, by the way? Why do you choose custom deck size? That's a very good question. It's just because when I play test for like figuring out combos, sometimes I play with like five cards in my deck. I, I just want to like test some random games. Okay, yeah, it's you. All right. Oh, I won the dice roll. Let's go. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Like, literally, this is insane. Oh, Vex. Yo, Vex. What's good? And Abdel... Uh, Abdel... Abdel Hamid. Oh, broken. How are you doing, Habibi? You're from Germany as well? Yo, which city from Germany are you guys from, actually? Let me know. Oh my god, Stanimir, you don't have a hand trap! Come on. Ah, oh, shit, okay, yeah. Oh! Droll and Cockbird. Uh, not even. Literally nothing. Just, just absolutely nothing. German tier 0 facts, honestly. It actually is. Germany's really degenerate. In a good way, in a good way. Ooh, from Dresden. Okay, nice. Yo, let's go. Yo, hold on. Who yo, who in the chat? Belgrad. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, my geography is garbage, but is that like from like close to Russia? I think. Nuremberg. Okay, yeah, that's um in the, the Bavarian Alps, I think. Uh, or just rather in Bavaria. Paso, okay, okay. Yo, that's insane. Yo, let's freaking go. Hey, yo, this this chat is insane. Milan, best city. Okay, so you're Italian. Ah, I see how it is. You're going to uh, YCS Bologna, I suppose, huh? Ah, it's from Serbia. Okay, 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 yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, fair enough. Italy, Sir. Okay, shit. Yo, a lot of Europeans! That's nuts! Okay, mostly Europeans. Are there any Canadians here in the chat? Outside of Cameron, obviously. From Belgium, let's go. Attends, tu, tu viens du Québec? <laughs> ben, je veux dire, de Québec? Oh, broken. Uh, Turkey, let's go. From the US. Oh my god. Absolutely broken. Hold on, how are we doing this chain link? Chain link one... Chainlink 2. Yeah, basically. Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2, Chainlink 3. That's insane. Free real estate. French Canadian here. Insane. I mean, I'm technically... I'm from Bul Bulgaria. Oh, okay. I've only met like 
two or three Bulgarians in my life. Nah, I'm Mr. Worldwide, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, this summons Fuzzy Lanius. And then I get the quick play. Uh, I am going to YCS Richmond, absolutely. I'm doing the, the road trip, actually, because it's a, it's a 13 hour drive. For us North Americans, driving 13 hours is fine. It's nothing. <laughs> Moi, je viens du Québec. À Québec, ah, ben, ah, c'est broken. Attends, tu connais-tu Charles Etienne Ruel et tout ça? Toute la gang, basically. Mexican, yo! Ah, oh, man, Sao Paulo. I don't think I've ever seen you, though, because I went to Rio, then go to YCS Sao Paulo. Man, that's crazy. I love Brazil so much. Honestly, like, probably one of the most fun YCSs I've ever attended in my entire life. I loved it so much. It's, it, it was nuts. I really want to go to Brazil again uh, sometime soon, hopefully. Is any quick play on any phase or just main phase? It's main phase and battle. i just main and battle. What rarity do you think the new cards will be? Uh, I don't think they're going to be too high rarity. Uh, there might be one Xyz though. Uh, so, sorry, one secret. I think the rank 13 is going to be a secret. Or an ultra. And then something else is probably going to be like super high rarity. I think. I'll get the Simorg just so I can deck thin a little bit. Okay, at this point, I go Ultimate Falcon. I should have... Taiwan? No way! Hold on, so you're an OCG player. Ah, okay, let's go. Yes, okay, uh, parce que... Vos locos doivent être stacked, là, j'imagine. <laughs> what do you mean, I'm relatable? Ah, but that, that's sick, though. That, that's nice to know. Ah, I hella messed up. Oh, no! I actually just went neg. Sheesh! Oh, I, I was there at YCS Dortmund, but I'm trying to go again. But, like, I'm not gonna go to Bologna, like I said. It's it's getting expensive and stuff. Unfortunately. Ah, it might happen, actually. Rank 13 for, uh, for the deck. It would be nice, nice. Man, the card advantage in the Raid Raptor is so stupid. Like, it's literally idiotic. Like, look at this. Mais attends, tu pars-tu au uh, Regionals de Montréal des fois? Je sais pas si je t'ai déjà vu. Okay, what do I have in my grave? I'm like casually changing between, uh, you know, like French and uh, English here. So sometimes I get like confused in what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, so summon the Mimicry. Ah, oh, don't worry, uh, Abdel Hamid. You're going to be my next victim. Worry not. I didn't forget about you. It's fine. Do you have a sponsor like the other pro players? Yeah, I'm sponsored by Card Brawlers. The Raid Raptor Trap. Uh, if you control a Raid Raptor monster, target one face-up monster upon controls. Or if you control a Raid Raptor Xyz monster, you can target one face-up card or upon controls instead negate its effect until the end of the turn. Basically, it's an Omni Negate. Like Hot Red. And in the grave, I can banish it to recycle back a Raid Raptor... From grave or banish to hand. I don't know how to type. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Richmond. How about you? Uh, let me know in the chat if you guys are going to Richmond. So we can meet up and... Uh, and link up, actually. That would be nice. Am I searching? What am I searching, actually? I guess I might as well search for another Simorg. Bro, I have seven cards in my hand. I'm about to get even more cards. Okay, look at this, okay? Please tell me how this is supposed to be fair. Yo, let's count the amount of cards I have in my hand. Draw Ash. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine cards in my hand. Nine cards in my hand. I have Valor, Imper, and Book of Moon. <laughs> that, that ass, I'm literally drawing into Exodia. Ooh, said Yo, hold on. Have I actually ever seen you in uh, in real life, Sedi? I don't I don't know. I don't maybe I have, but like sometimes I just forget because there's just too many people, but Jeez! You booked a hotel! I think we're taking an Airbnb, like five guys. I don't know, since I see you support uh, Rogue, what are your thoughts on Galaxy's Photon Deck? Yo, of course I'm supporting Rogue. Love uh, love Rogue decks. Uh what are my thoughts on Galaxy's Photon Deck? 
I actually think this deck is going to have a, a lot of potential in the near future. I actually thought this was going to be Dinosaur and it's a Runic Sprite for Hire. What's the best budget deck for current format? Oh shit! He's going to try to destroy... Oh no, spe Special Summon rather. Um... The best budget deck for the current format... Ah... Oh. I think Unchained might be budget, but like you have to pay a lot of money for the staples. That's it. <laughs> Dark Ruler is like low key useless against me. <laughs> uh, am I letting this resolve? Nah. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of anything this guy, uh, this guy can have. My deck is like tier zero, bro. I'm scared of nothing. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of YouTubers on the roasters, but I'm trying to link off with Yak Sign. Like, Cyber yes, my man. Of course, I'm trying to link off with you. Like that, like that. Hey, this guy just special summoned red. So he has uh, the whatever, the dinosaur guy, and then he has some things. Let's see. I might be able to do some things. So he normal summon special. Summon that's that's interesting. Uh, but I, th I think I'm fine. Even if he, like, goes normal summon the, the dinosaur guy. Yeah, that's fine. I, I let that resolve. I don't even care. Having unaffected monsters is better than having negates. I actually agree. I literally agree. People are panicking against me. They don't know what to do. It's insane. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Flunderies is cheap. But, like, if you play Flunderies, um, we're not friends anymore. So, like, don't even think about it. Do not think about playing that deck. No, no, no. I, I think I just win if I Book of Moon here. <laughs> it it's, uh, it's kind of a little easy. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's free real estate. Like, there's infinite ways I can win, but... Uh, I don't know. Book of Moon is kind of nice. Can't do anything here. This is way too... This is way too free. Like, I don't even need these cards to win. Like, my engine just takes care of everything. So again, one card combo. Branded Chimera is pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Look, as long as you have the money for the, uh, for the staples, like the hand traps and everything, I, I feel like a lot of decks are cheap, honestly. Runic Fountain, that, uh, that goes through. That is fine. Ah, he's gonna make his, uh, Hugin, uh, thingy. Alright, yeah, yeah, that's that's okay. That that is a okay. I could very well stop this. I could negate it, but I'm not even gonna bother. That is fine. Uh runic tip. That is also very much fine. I couldn't care less. Oh, actually, mm, there is a problem though. Yeah, Runic Destruction... Runic Flashing Fire target on... Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's not going to change anything. He's trying to go for the deck out. Yo! Sure! I accept the challenge. Deck me out. <laughs> hey, yo, if you deck me out, you're nice. That's all I can say. If you manage to do it, what can I say? Is he actually going to make it? Is he just gonna pass turn here doing nothing? Because uh, you might as well just scoop it all up. Your chat is here, let's go! <laughs> What's good? It is tough! Ah, yeah, you need like 11 billion cards. Bro, I have, I have all of the negates in the world that I'm not using them because nobody can out the Raid Raptor deck with like their engine. It's hand trap or bust. Board breakers will not save you. Hand traps will not save. Well, I mean, the hand traps can save you, to be honest. Oh, Greece as well. Oh, that's insane, man. We've got Europe, we've got Asia, we've got North America, we've got Brazil. Rarity collection will help with the staples. Pot of prosperity, forbidden droplet, lightning storm, talents. Yep, yep, yeah, indeed. Uh, this is where I go summon my big boy. And uh, proceed to profit. 
This does target, huh? Yeah, it's the only issue. So, like, DD Crew and Bestials could be good here. Uh, Freezing Curse is not is not the card that beats me here. Yeah, it's like Flashing Fire, but then I just negate anyways. It literally changes nothing to my life. Even then, I, I, f I still feel like I'm in the driver's seat, so it, it still doesn't change anything. But yeah, like, if this guy can deck me out, he's nice. That's all I can say. Yo, three towers, destroy everything. That is insane. This board is gorgeous. <laughs> can we still search? We still have targets. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. And I have an infinite loop. He can't even deck me out because I just keep shuffling back the resources over and over and over. So yeah, uh, my bad. But like your one win condition, you're gonna have to try harder. You can't deck me out. Oh my god. And skip force? <laughs> I love this deck. I, I know it's eye candy, man. I love this deck so much. Even the Force Tricks, which initially has 100 attack, has 26 now. Bro, this deck is nice. Big GG, man. Oh. <laughs> Let's -a go. Again, for everyone who just tuned in, this is my deck list. If there's any feedback, uh, I'm willing to, to hear about it. So, like, people people suggested me very interesting things, to be honest. So, like, I changed my mind about, like, Raider's Wing being bad. I actually think it might be better than I thought. Uh, you can play around Valor and Infinite Impermanence, kind of, in a way, if you have it alongside, like, another extender. But you might actually need, like, another extender. Oh, dude. Oh, I swear. I told you guys. When this deck comes out in the TCG, I'm playing it at a YCS, and I'm asking for a feature match. Why play exchange? Uh, it it solves your issues against the hand traps that beat you, because this deck doesn't really lose to board breakers, but it does lose to hand traps. And with exchange, I get to play through like everything, and it doesn't matter if I give like garbage cards to my opponent. So like exchange and goes in the match are pretty nice. But in, in, instead of exchange, it could also be a magical midbreaker field. That that's another good one. Going first is great. It's go going second that requires some work. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean people keep asking me how good is this deck going second. There, there's a good reason why I'm playing 9 hand shops and 3 Imperm. But, like, if you guys have a good idea of what better cards I could play, let me know. I think some these are some of the best cards I could be playing. Worst case, I replace Valor with Joel and Logbird. That, that, might, be, that might work, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so far, dude, so far I'm doing well. I've been, I've been winning practically all my games, actually. I think I only lost, like, one or two games. Going second, too. It's like going first, I've been winning, like, left and right. Uh, there, there was one game where I did play into Droll, so it's my fault. Do you lose to Nib? Nope, you do not lose to Nib. Um, I mean, if you guys want to sh me to show the anti-Nibiru combo, I can do it. But it also depends on where you get Nibbed. But you, you don't, the deck doesn't inherently lose to Nib because the Arsenal Falcon floats... Uh, if your opponent holds the nib for too long, you summon the ultimate falcon and then use the effect. Your opponent can't use any cards or effect for the rest of the turn. And then you just play through the nib. And if your opponent nibs you early, instead of summoning ultimate falcon with arsenal, you summon four strikes and then you just keep going. Sword Soul is such a difficult deck uh, opponent against the deck. S such a difficult opponent against the... Sword Soul is a bad matchup for this? Ah. Uh... And if you go first, you win. And if you go second, you got Book of Moon for the Chi Zhao. Also takes care of Blackout if they don't have something else. And then Moye, you take care of that with Imperm and Valor. So it's fine-ish. Three cross out once. Yeah, no, I I'm not trying to do that, honestly. Definitely not trying to do that. Yeah, we can play more games for sure. Uh, No password, no notes. So this is going to be accessible to everyone. Yeah, <laughs> you'd OTK me with Liver Lusk? I don't know about that. Yeah, Blackout is insane, so that's why I really need the Book of Moon. That way you don't have, like, a worm on the field, so I can keep playing. 
Because, yeah, this deck loses to, like, people just getting rid of, like, your board presence. It's, it has very similar... Okay, look. This deck should remind you of Salamangrate because it's a very similar vibe. You lose when people get rid of your normal summon, but when they don't, you usually just play through almost everything. And you also have the ability to play a lot of uh, non-engine cards. And hand shafts, for the most part, are just not really good against this deck. Outside of, again, Valor and Imperm. These are the two popular hand shafts that beat me. But Droll, Nib, Bestials, they're not good enough. Yeah, I know. People keep talking about this card. I hate it. If all monsters you control are Wing Beast monsters and you control at least two monsters with different original names, pay 600, draw two cards. This is utter garbage. Yeah, uh, N uh, Kenny, uh, the Sword Soul used to be good. Now it's like, it's it's fine, but it's not as good as uh, before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, McMister. Uh, Sprite is another deck that just loses if the interruption gets stopped. So this is like very similar to Sprite, Salamangrate in terms of going second. But in terms of going first, this deck is far superior than Sprite and Salamangrate. Far better. So yeah. If you want to... What you can do is just, instead of playing hand shops, you just play infinite billion board breakers. Like main deck, triple dark ruler, triple droplet, triple lightning, well, lightning storm duster, evenly. And that way, going second, you don't really feel like you ever lose, but going first, if you get like a hand shop to death, it's gonna be rough, honestly. Because then you don't really have the hand shops to make you survive. So that's my issue. Exactly, Marco. Yeah, like, Wing Requital was played for, like, a little bit, and then people are like, nah, hell no. This card sucks. I don't like it. You think this deck will be meta? 100% in the right hands. It's not... The, the, the problem with the word meta is that when people use it, they usually mean, like, oh, you think everybody's gonna play it? I don't think everybody's gonna play this deck, honestly. I think this deck is gonna be very niche, but if you know what you're doing with this deck, you're gonna be doing extremely well. So that's the reason why I said that this deck's insane. Honestly. Yeah, discarding Fuzzy is free real estate. Tri triple Droplet could make sense. Yo, Marco, you think Droplet is better than uh, Dark Ruler? If they play it on your turn, it's not too bad. Mm. Yes. Yeah, Kaiser, I will be uh, probably doing a stream too on Infernoid, actually. Where we can just break the deck together. One Baguska, an extra deck for backup? Nah, because your extenders lock you under Dark or Raid Raptor only. So that's my issue. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Ooh, this is a match. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll test Droplet because this is a match anyway, so I might as well. My god, I keep waiting the dice roll. I'm nice. And this is full combo. You see how consistent this deck is? Literally everything is full combo. If this guy Valor's me here, it's full combo even more, actually. Please Valor me here. It's like the ultimate Valor bait. Valor, 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 fuck! Yeah, yeah. Now, now if I get valor when it matters, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed. This guy definitely has a hand shot, that's the thing. Hopefully it's Nibiru and he's just like... He's just like holding his other hand shot so that he can nib me. Yes, yeah. Like, Book of Moon doesn't even allow me to dodge the Imperm here. Like, Imperm just hurts so much. It's the ultimate hand shot to kill you. So now I just have Book of Moon and Ash to like, make me survive. Oh my god, no way. What the hell? This sense for cost. Fuck. Oh my god, this is actually game. This is like the worst thing that could have happened. No freaking way. This is literally game, just immediately, what? That's so dumb, like a one-card combo that plays through 
Ash and Imper- I, I can't do anything. Yeah, no. It doesn't matter when I book, it, it ends up being the same. Whether I book the first one, the second one, he's just attacking for, with another one. 4,000. Yeah, I book- yeah, it doesn't matter. Ah, that's true, yeah, I should have uh, booked the the one attacking the M EMZ, actually. Yeah, that's true. This is so bad. He can't make Appaloosa, but he can go into SP because I messed up. But he's gonna go for Sanya anyways. So yeah, next next turn I, I just die actually. He burns for 3k. Ah oh, no, this is not a the one card combo. It is what it is. Um uh, yeah. I'll make him go first, I think. Ah uh, uh, yeah, I think I just make him go first. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, it's safer to make him go first. Ooh, Lightning Storm is in my hand! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, if you book the first gate in main phase, you live on 4k. I lived in 4k anyways, yeah. But it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, app or Mega Clops pass. But I, I mean, it, it didn't matter because I drew, I drew dog shit. Really has to go small world to get something now. That's that's actually hilarious. I think sided out noir and pain going second is pretty nice. Um You're probably right. Yep. But like e either way, like Valor against this deck is useless, so. I have the Imperm for the Appaloosa and the Lightning Storm for the back row. So if he has back row and Appaloosa, I, I just win anyways. I don't see how I lose this game. Mm. Game 3, if he makes me go first, I just pass on an empty board. I, I don't do anything. It's not worth it. I'll make him go neg because if I if I make a board, I might just lose. Please set back row. Set back row. Mm. I will... <clears throat> I, I can Lightning Storm for the one Nurmal Network and then Imperm here. Or I can just Lightning Storm for the one Appaloosa and keep the Imperm for after, but the Imperm is not going to do anything. I have to imagine a world in which, but to be fair, I think I'm beating this guy anyways. I have like the the I have the play to like play through uh, Valor on the Raiders Knight. <laughs> Just Kali Yuga him, yeah. Um, I'm gonna Lightning Storm for back row and then Imprim. I didn't even need these two cards. Like one, one would have been enough. Uh, I have to play correctly here because if I mess up, I actually just lose. I have to just pray that he doesn't have Droll if I play into it. He definitely has hand shops. That's the thing. What? He's wasting an Ash here? Okay, sure. If, if you say so. I'll special summon... I'll search the Heal Eagle, actually. I, I think I know what I'm doing. I'm feeling very comfort, uh, confident, honestly. If, even if he Valors me here, I think we're fine. Yeah, that's true. We're the only decks with um, but yeah, he he hella wasted like an ash for for garbage. He's gonna veiler me here. Okay, wow, ogre so, ogre's rough. But it it ends up being really good for me because the Appaloosa stays at zero. He can't even if he tops deck Nirmal Network, it does nothing. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, th things things are going well. <laughs> so I, I'm actually like happy that I that I played in this order. But like, th this was the biggest waste of an Ash on Earth. Because Ash is supposed to be, you know, a, a good hand shot. But like the ogre on the on the rank four just hurts so much. But like, he can't do anything. Apple who says zero attack, no negates, can't use Nirmal network. It's it's game over. It's game over. I win. Are we playing around Droll? Hmm. So, are we sending Mimicry with a Tribute Lanius? Let's see. Okay, I'll go Normal Summon. I don't think I'm using Simorg, or am I? No, I want to Chain Block with this card. Okay, wow, he scooped anyways. I want to check his hand. Anyways, now he's going to make me go first. Um... He's going to side in like a bunch of like board breakers and stuff. I'm going to just not change anything about my strategy. If he makes me go first, I just pass. I just do nothing. Or I can just go like normal summon a starter. Get a certain... No, actually, that, that's stupid. Then 100% of Simorg, I think. Yeah, exactly. We, yeah, yeah. We can agree on that. My hand is so broken, it's really tempting to just play. Because if he goes for an Appaloosa... It's going to be really, really hard to break. So, yo, guys, do we play the game or do we pass doing nothing? Because I don't think I can break an Appaloosa here. Like, Ash is not good here. So, do we play the game? Do we actually pop off? I think we do. You guys let me know. Do, do, we, do we full combo? Do it? Yeah, screw it. Yeah, we're gonna do it for the content. <laughs> uh, Alright, so special summon the fuzzy because it's an extender anyways. Let's go! <laughs> Pass? Okay, yeah, alright, alright. Yeah, because Appaloosa, I don't think I'm clearing it with this hand. That's the issue. Is this guy randomly gonna no material me? <laughs> I can play through one hand shop. I can play through a well-timed Veiler. But uh, that's all I can play around. That's it. So if this guy has two hand shops, it is what it is. Do not double hand shop me. That's all I'm asking for. If he ogres me here, we're passing, bruv. bruv. It's, 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 it's literally just that simple. Okay, so he, yeah, so he veilered me, uh, he veilered here. If he doesn't have another hand shop, we're fine. No way, he has an ash? What? This guy has everything, bro, what? Oh my god. <laughs> I am not able to play through it because this is a warrior. So I can go normal summon the tribute. And then, oh, I can actually get a negate. Oh, ah, oh, we're fine. I forgot about that. Yeah, things could have been worse. Yeah, so we can send... Look at this, boys. We can send the Mimicry, and then we search for the trap, and then we have a negate for the Numeron Network. Oh, we're fine. As long as we don't get Lava Golemd into the Numeron Network, that would be so bad. Let's see. Because we can't combo, that's that's the issue. There's no extender that allows us to full combo here. This only gives gives us one search. And we need like three bodies to play. If this was a winged beast, we would have had full combo through double hand shops. Yeah, like two hand shops, man, bruv. Come on. But we still have an Omni Negate and an Ash. So the Ash, I'm gonna use it on a pot. I think he's gonna... He might use the, like, pot of extravagant. No, I'm probably not pot of... Uh, prosperity at the end, maybe? I don't know. Son of a... Uh, that, that's bullshit, though. What? Yo, you better not have Numeron Network. You better... You can't... Okay, yeah, and, and the Lava Golem, obviously. Yeah, and obviously. Don't have Numeron Network. You can't be a scam like that. Oh, he has everything except Nirmount Network, I think. 
don't have numeral network. You can't have the six card combo. Lava Golem, Pancratops, Lightning Storm, Ash, Ash Veiler. That, that's ridiculous. I think we're fine. Yo, guys, stop talking about Swallow's Nest. That card's ass, okay? It's it's not good. Stop the cap. Ironically, the Spankratops is, like, really annoying to play around. No, I'm just kidding. I have Bloom Vulture in the grave. <laughs> We're fine! <laughs> Yo! You think I'm scared of your pathetic Pankratops? You think I'm scared, bro? Yo! We're in business! <laughs> We're in everything! Hold on a second. Am I getting the Fuzzy or the Tribute? I think I'm going for the Tribute, honestly. Because this card applies so much pressure on the field. This deck is too good! Yo, you never run out of gas. I have a Soul Charge in my graveyard. This is insane. Effect. I can even recycle back the trap to have another negate for next turn. Just like that, bro. Just like that. Watch if I'm... He has to use the uh, Pankratops first. Oh my god, this is intense. I'm gonna go for the Mimicry. And then I'm gonna search the continuous spell. This this way I have just so much gas. He's gonna have to do something. Yo, this deck can play through Dweller, by the way. Just a FYI. I think we're uh, I think we're Gooch. We should be Gooch. Activate. All right. Yeah, exactly. No, we're fine. I'm not scared of Nib. And then we summon that. And then we go effect to search. And then he changed the scoop button. Let's go. <laughs> Man, what I say, Raid Raptor best deck? I mean, Raid Raptor best deck. <laughs> oh, he drew evenly matched. It's a nice deck you got there. It's definitely a nice deck you got there. What would he top decked? He would have drawn the Neuron Calling. That's the that's the wrong card. But even if he drew the network, we were we yo, we were chilling. We're in everything. Look at this, boys. Look at this. Double hand traps. We can still get the trap card. And then the ash is useless because for some reason he doesn't search. Lightning storm, you're skillful at the game, must be nice. Lava Golem, Pancratops attack. You think I care? My turn? A soul charge? Revive back? What is this? This card is stupid. This is one of the best cards I've ever read in my life. I swear to God. When your things get stopped, this card is the ultimate recovery. I love this card so much. So freaking good. Man. <laughs> Hold on a second. We're out of music. I'm gonna, gonna play something else. Alright. But yeah, man, geez, I love this card. Can you recycle the trap from grave? Absolutely. Thanks to a heal eagle, you recycle back any Raid Raptor spell or trap from your grave. Yo, you have an infinite loop of resources because you recycle back the trip with the he um, the trap with the heal eagle, and then with the rooster, you recycle back the heal eagle from the banished to the deck, and then you send it again with a tribute lanius, and it's it's an infinite loop. Every single turn, you have a negate, an omni negate, and then you have like your all of your you just all of your combo is just. Popping off and stuff. Uh, can you play? Bla can I play Black Wings? Okay, yeah, sure. You can play Black Wings against me. All right. So this is gonna be just for you. The password is Vex, and uh, yeah, this is just for you. I know, man. Hopefully, the text is uh, the right one for the Bloom Vulture, because otherwise, the card is way worse. How fun is this deck? This is one of the most fun deck I've played in a while. It's absolutely disgusting. The ceiling level is very high too. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, it, it goes from being like insane to be just being like meh. Raiders Knight seems to be a big choke point. It is, unfortunately. That's why Marco suggested me to play Raiders Wing so that... Uh, the, the, the Raider's Knight and the rank 5 are untargetable, but then they can still imperm the Link 2, so like, it doesn't really fix everything. Yo, Jean! Salam! Hold on a second. Attends. Who are you, Jean? Do I know you? Ah, I might actually. Ah, what's good? I said, I think, uh, you too. 
I lost the dice roll, and we've got no hand shops, but we got Book of Moon. It's it's not it, it's not ideal. It's definitely not ideal. This deck is so consistent, bro. Ever since I started this live stream over three hours ago, I didn't break one single time. You guys realize realize how consistent this deck is? Does Book of Moon stop Raiders Knight of being negated? It's not gonna resolve because then you just don't uh, summon the excuse. I mean, I can I can try. Uh, hold on a second. No, by using this face-up card, you can show his material. Yeah, it's not gonna work. If it's face down, it's not gonna be a... Uh... What the shit? Double black whirlwind? I am so dead. I am so dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. Well, I didn't say you won't get imprimed. I said Knight won't get imprimed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. But then, the issue is we figured out, like, the, the, the two-card combo, like, the Link 2 will still get imprimed, and then you still don't do anything. Ton français impeccable, beau gosse. Uh, c'est toi le beau gosse, mon gars. En plus, j'adore ton nom, Yassin. Yo, il y a comme... On est genre trois Yassin dans le, dans, dans le texte et dans, dans le chat. Il y en avait un autre juste avant. What do you think is better from the new set, Goblin Raider uh, or Raid Raptor? Uh, Goblin Raider is the superior mid-range deck, and then Raid Raptor is the superior combo deck. Uh, Goblin Raider is really good, though. I'm not gonna lie. Play Crossout or Seravis or Prohibitions or Sales Ban. Nah, these cards are... Nah. No, I'm I'm dead, Marco. It's forget it. It's not 95%. It's 100%. <laughs> Even with Ash, we would have ah, uh, I would have Ash the Black uh, the Lost the uh, Small World. Yeah, Labyrinth Unchained is one of the decks I actually consider playing for YCS Richmond. Uh, the reason for that is because Unchained Soul of Rage into SP Little Knight is one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my entire life. This should not be a thing. It should be illegal. Que Dieu vous bénisse. <rire> en passant, t'es marocain, algérien. Yassine avec deux S, ça donne pas beaucoup d'informations. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It is an anime duel, yep. Yeah. Blackwing versus Raid Raptor. My birds are a little better? Yikes! I don't know about that. Nah, Raid Raptor. I have no idea how I'm winning this game. I'm locked under dark. I will let you play. I mean, I'm gonna burn myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna win this game. And I can only attack the Cyber Squantum. Things are not going well. Let's see. Hmm... Best moment for Arc Rebellion. Oh my god. Oh, imagine if I could. It doesn't work though, but like... Yeah, he can negate the effect. <laughs> Would you like to attack? <laughs> it's not gonna work, I know. Can we actually randomly just win, though? If I can... It's funny because I feel like I might just have a chance if... This gets rid of, like, the whole board. That's that's the issue. Bait with book. Nah. I, I need to, like, successfully resolve the book here. My issue is this card right here. That that's the annoying part. Fudge. Hey yo, don't use a uh, big black wing guy. <laughs> yeah, cuz otherwise I obviously I lose. I'm so screwed. I can also go for Kali Yuga, yeah, I mean, yeah, not right now because he has too many monsters, but yeah. Oh, he's very much trolling. Because now he can, I mean, n now he can actually, like, get rid of my whole board. Okay, so this doesn't do anything. 
have to just find a way to get rid of the freaking Borlord Savage Negate. So I can Book of Moon that, and then I can just attack... And win... Because book I can only Book of Moon the Cyrus Quantum as long as he contro controls the Rusty, that's the annoying thing. Yeah, he didn't activate a single card. Yeah, I'm just struggling like crazy. Book the Savage. I can't. I can only target the Cyrus Quantum. This is so bad. I can't, I can't, I can't Book of Moon the Savage because I can only target this card. Fudge. If I go Arc Rebellion effect, he goes Savage Negate and I just lose. Yeah, so there's really just nothing I can do. Now, if I go Book of Moon target this, what happens is that he lets it resolve and then I go Arc Rebellion effect and then he goes Savage Negate. He's not gonna use Savage on this! <laughs> I know I can only use like three effects now. I take 700 damage every time I use an effect. That's the issue. Book target quantum. No. I also can't do anything with the sky credit. Yeah, fudge. That's not gonna break the board. Why why Strix doesn't do anything? That's my issue. Book Quantum, summon Typhon GG. Not really. Because it stops my own monster from attacking. Oh actually, no, it doesn't. No, but it, it stops it from using its effect. That's the issue. It has 3,000. Do Y Strix. I don't know why it would do Y Strix. It achieves nothing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh my god. Bait the negate with Book. Book does not bait the negate, though. That's my issue. Like, you guys gotta read the freaking Cyrus Quantum. Seize to make the rank 13 and kill him. I can only use three effects. This card is a masquerade. I have three monster effects before I die. You should play the rank 4 that negates his field. I'm only locked under dark. I mean, yeah, I am playing the, the rank 5. Edo Pro Ignis. You have to summon the biggest... On the biggest you control anyways. Edo, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know that we have infinite time. Don't worry about it. My house might get struck by lightning or something and I lose... Alameo. Oh my god, why is this so bad? If I go Sky Crisis now, I can. Oh! I can Sky. I can Book of Moon myself! Oh, but that doesn't work though, right? Hold on a second! Yeah, I can. I might be able to do that! Ah, fuck, I. I have to use the monster with the highest attack. This is so ass. Yeah, I was gonna go like Sky Crisis on like a low attack monster. I can't do that, that's true. Use Rebellion, he will negate it. Yeah, if he negates it, I, 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 I no longer have any win conditions. Because then I have to use like 75 monster effects and I die. <laughs> Either way, I lose because of Black Feather Whirlwind. Like this is going to destroy every everything on the board except his cards. There's no way I can win anyways because of the Black Winged Assault. I had to do everything in like three effects. Literally the only way I would have won. Man! This is so bad! I have no plays! This is when I use a monster effect on the field or just a monster effect? Oh my god, any monster effect! Ah, oh. <laughs> Horrendous! He has three mon- yeah. Four streaks gains attack, yeah, but not enough. 
If I had a second Book of Moon, I low-key would have won, actually. Nah, I can't Typhon. I have to Typhon on the highest attack monster. Can you jump over the Cybers? I mean, nah, it's not gonna work. This, this bounces back the monster that it battles with. Man, this is so close! I'm so close to having it! This card doesn't do anything for me, huh? Yeah, like, if if I wasn't under the restriction of only using a couple of monster effects, I think I would have actually been able to naturally break this board. Because, like, the towers doesn't scare me. Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, this is so rough. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I can only Book of Moon his Cyber Quantum. It's so bad. And then he lets it resolve... And then I have absolutely zero ways of dealing with a savage. No, it's a set Shade Brigandine. Yeah, you see? Yeah, I lose. <laughs> Fudge! Yeah, no, you got it. Yeah, there's there's really just nothing I can do. GG, yeah. No, no, no. Battle phase is not enough, yeah. I really try thinking, like, is there a way I might maybe get, get out of this? But I want to spectate other people. I want to talk shit on people not playing Raid Raptor and misplaying and playing garbage decks. It, it, no, it was a great duel. Uh, nicely played, Vex. Your deck is nice. Yo, that was such an interactive game. Oh my god. I was gonna... <laughs> let's see, let's see. Yo, hey! Is Edo Pro crashing? Yo, better not crash on my ass. Yeah, it actually just crashed. You invented that combo? Well, that's insane. Can you play against me? No, it's sure. Actually, I want to spectate some people while I, while I drink my- Ah, my god, freaking Eero Pro looking ass. Okay. Let's open this. Come on. Alright, okay, so, well, first of all, that's the wrong deck. That's the deck list, by the way, for everybody uh, who was uh, noticing, wanna go against uh, some other- Nah, I'm, I'm, my, my Goblin Rider matchup's probably gonna be dog shit. I don't even wanna play a game. I, I just wanna spectate some guys. Show started rooms. No. I just wanna spectate. Whoa! Haha, <laughs> Jesus! I had Raid Raptor, uh, sorry, not even Raid Raptor. That's the only thing I can think of. Rescue Ace, the inferior R deck. Against whatever this is. Main deck, evenly would go kind of hard too. Ah, nah. I don't think I'm trying to main deck evenly in Raid Raptor. I don't think it would break the Raid Raptor deck either. You gotta, like, resolve double evenly or something. I mean, resolve one, but, like, you need two evenlies to beat me. I'd love to fight you, Keg W. Why, why am I citing exchange? Uh, it beats every hand shop. Yeah, it looks, uh, yeah, it's looking to be uh, pretty annoying. I don't know, maybe. maybe. Nah, I don't even think it's it changes that much because there's only like one or two hand shops that like detach on either player's turn by de like from from the hand. Obviously, if you go second, then you're probably screwed. But it's not even that bad. Yo, this is boring as hell. <laughs> nothing, nothing was happening. Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna play another game. No, not freaking TCG, bro. I'm so stupid. I'm gonna spectate these guys. Uh, in a mirror match, you know what? Sure, Neon. Absolutely. As soon as I spectate this game just a little bit. I suck with Salad Man Great, so it's not even like I can say, oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him to play uh, that way instead, but... Yeah, I don't think this is uh, a winning move. He hard drew the Sanctuary because he only has... Four cards in hand. So he has Sanctuary and three cards. No other cards in Grave. If he goes Splash Mage Pass, I don't even know what to say. There, there is no way he passes turn here. 
<laughs> what was his hand? Do you know how to do the Raid Raptor FTK? Ah, it looks complicated. I kind of know what it does, but like it's it doesn't look good. I mean, th this was really fun to look at. Like, you know, normal sub and spinny, a uh, link into V-Link, no effect. And then revive back spinny, link off it to splash mage. Oh shit, I have no targets in my grave pass. I mean scoop. Kek, what do you think about Cattle Call to dodge Valor and Imperm? That's like, um... I mean, that's, that's basically like Swallow's, Swallow's Nest. It's like the same issues. Like, you summon an Xyz monster that does, doesn't even have an effect. You don't really do anything. Yeah, not my cup of tea, honestly. I don't think it's too good. Swallow's Nest tributes, like... Any... Yeah, no, it's, it's ass. Like, yeah. Like, the issue is, like... If they go Valor on your rank 4 and you chain Swallow's Nest or Cattle Call... Like, your monster isn't resolving. Because it, it still has to be, like, face up on the field. So that's that's the thing that people are not getting. Exactly, yeah. The FTK uh, is, is probably dog shit. Yo, normal summon spinny again. Did you... Yo, he hard drew the sang... He, draw san he drew Sanctuary twice in a row. No way. Yo, what is this guy's luck? He didn't even go Veiling effect. And he has three cards in hand. <laughs> Last game was the same thing. Normal spinny, four cards in hand after Veilings. Thinking. He's gonna activate Sanctuary from the hand. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 ass, it's ass. Swallow's Nest and Cattle Call are garbage. Just play better extenders. Not Raid Raptor Call. I I learned that the hard way. I was like, hopefully I just don't draw like Raid Raptor Call plus like Samorg and either Pain or Heal Eagle. You already know it. <laughs> My hand was like Simorg, Raid Raptor Call, a Pain, and like two hand traps. I was like, yeah, I think I've lost. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's move to next. All right, Weasel. It's a decent deck. Now was on. Build Gen X. My my nah. My brain is not uh, developed enough to understand how to play that deck correctly. It's too much effort. What does Weasel do? Gives a monster to your opponent. It's basically just Exodia against Kashtira. Well, I mean, that deck no longer is a thing, but... You also draw one card, which is honestly not that bad. Recycle back the Gazelle. Still, so Gazelle. Sanctuary. Two unknowns. Still somehow... Yo! Let's go, you just beat my Mana Dome. That's insane. Alright, cool, so he's linking off into another wolf without uh, without relinking. That's pretty, it's pretty broken. Okay, give the weasel to the opponent. Play around the uh, Imperm. What a smart guy. Oh, this guy uh, has an IQ of 10 billion, oh my god. Alright, shuffle back the useless Salman Grid of Fire. That's, that's, that's nice. I would have shuffled back the Sunlight Wolf. Can you actually do that? If you do special summon, yeah, you should probably do that. What the hell? I'm so confused. Oh no, he has to revive back the Salmon Grid. I'm so stupid. Okay, never mind. Okay, now he goes Sunlight Wolf for cycle back the trap. Okay, and if he has an extender, he goes for the Link Four and then relinks the Link Four and then surge the Roar from deck. Ah, Shadow. Okay, yo, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, you're the best, and. Uh, Yo, hopefully uh, I see you guys, uh, I mean, see, I see you very soon. I'm not going to end the stream yet, but yes. Mr. X, what's good? Let's go. Yo, this is so slow-paced. He Leo on turn one. That's very interesting. I just hope he has like one extender because, uh, yeah, that's not going to... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That plays into Imperm, but okay. Nah, to be fair, there's no way to really play around that. Ah, yeah. You just need one more extender. Ah, no, no, no. Yeah, no, that, that's that's us. That's us. OTK line with Chimera. Hmm. That's interesting. There's an OTK with Chimera. 
Oh, the fusion. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I was like, which Chimera? There's like 11... There's literally like infinite monsters that have Chimera in their name now in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can still do it under... Yeah. So you fusion summon and then you copy with a, with a weird Link monster or something. I think it plays with like Proxy F Magician. I, I forgot. Okay, yo, I, this is this is actually getting so boring. So he has a non-relinked Heat Leo with the trap card that only pops three if it's relinked. So this Heat Leo is completely useless. I'm so confused. Uh, it is, yeah, it's 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 literally game. All right, so um, I'm gonna actually play some games now. Oh, sheesh! Okay, yeah, thank god that I actually checked. Badass. Yeah, I yeah, know, salad, yeah. Nah, I'm drinking tea, uh, drinking dirty water, this freaking guy. Cag W. Yo, this hand can actually play a, uh, around the correctly time uh, Valor. Yo, we're Gooch. I'm feeling very confident. Kurosaki! Yes! <laughs> Alright, search! Yo! Oh my god, time to win without putting in any effort! Oh, this is what I like to do. Not even drooling me, not even doing anything. Uh, yeah, the, the Samoric Field spell. It's actually kind of kind of crap, honestly. I can kind of read Arabic, yeah. It's it's kind of complicated, though. It's a lot of effort. A, a little too much. Okay, so, um... Searching heal. I could have searched to level 4, actually, if I uh, targeted... If I use the effect of this, and then it becomes level 5 or 3... And, uh, yeah. No per no point in doing that. You can Kali under Shifter and no shot. I mean, yeah, you probably can, actually. But it's probably like a, a like a 26 card combo. You gotta use Cup of Ace successfully like six times in a row. You know, this combo is, um... You know, it's, uh, it's really fun, actually. I just love generating so much advantage. Alright. Effect. I don't even know what to search because I have just... Um, I have too many cards, really. What am I searching here? Probably fuzzy. Then this gets the continuous spell. And then I activate that. Do you have a Raid Raptor in my grave? Yeah, we're fine. Raider's Knight, I make sure I use Wing to make it... Yeah. Yeah. I know, like... Yeah, but like... How do you get Raider's Wing consistently? That's my issue. It does, it does look uh, a little difficult to achieve. Fuzzy is good and in pure. Facts! It's so good and pure. It's insane. Alright, search the trap. Yep. If it didn't lock you, it would be a little too good, actually. It has to have a drawback somewhere, you know? Okay. Alright, and then we go Simorg effect. Just because I'm trying to deck thin. This is broken. 
And then I get I, I just get rid of this card so I don't draw it with the with the roost. And then recycle back the spell. And then I go fuzzy effect. It's crazy how this deck plays around sphere mode because I, I end on five, uh, four, four XCs. So it's, it's just too good. Select a card to add to hand. Just, I have too many options. It's, it's too much to ask. I'm not even going to use the effect of Rising Rebellion. I mean, I could to search a card, but like, I don't even have to. I'd rather not at this point, actually. Um, probably on the fuzzy. Oh, what the shit? No, I have to. No, never mind. Oh, shit. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm dumb. I have to do it to, just to get these monsters in the grave. Yeah, I'll just get another search, really. I don't, I don't need the Arsenal Falcon to special summon something. I, as a matter of fact, that would be really bad. I don't even know what to search. I have too many, too many cards in the hand. <laughs> Yo, this is wild. Yo, Joe, what's good? It's been years. Yeah, it is a yeah. The field spell is kind of like I mean, it's attack at Tumborg, not a Garnet, but like, yeah, close enough, really. I'll reuse that effect. I've got six cards in my hand. How can we lose? <laughs> It's ridiculous. Um, quick question: Do you fear summon limit or skill drain with this deck? If I go second, yes. It's it's Lurie game. <laughs> like you you're you're you you die to the first floodgate that hurts. Uh, because it copies four strikes effect to gain five hundred attack for each winged beast monster you control, and I controlled uh, five. No, uh, to, to for for each other, yeah, for so four, yeah, four multiplied by five hundred, five hundred two k. It's irrelevant though. Uh, did you sneak in three pot of greed with that hand size turn one? I kind of did actually. <laughs> I uh, I stopped cheated. Uh, don't let Konami know that. You know when a combo deck is serious business, when you have choice paralysis, bro. I have so much money, I don't even know what to do. Oh, he's so cute. He's gonna. Oh, he's playing rescue ace. Oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> I don't even have to interrupt anything. <laughs> I'm gonna let everything resolve. It's fine. Like literally everything could resolve, and he still doesn't win. I could negate that if I want to. I don't want to. His deck doesn't beat me. You wanna? You wanna underworld goddess me? Yeah, it's it's fine. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind. It's legal cheating, not gonna lie. Fire engine, nice deck, doesn't do anything. Now I've got Book of Moon, I've got freaking a card that allows me to destroy every card my opponent controls, I've got an Omni Negate, six cards in my hand, a guaranteed follow up in the grave. I can summon like five towers next turn if I want to. You can maybe out one towers with Underworld Goddess, but what will you do about the second one? <laughs> oh man. I love the disrespect. I'm just trying to bird for 8k plus using the Raid Raptors Force. That would be so sick. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Relinquished Anima to try to absorb my ultimate Falcon, Rising Rebellion. Yes. <laughs> I discovered Void Imagination and Inferno. It can be ashed. Yes, it can. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, the amount of advantage in this deck is is idiotic. It's stupid. I just plus so much, it's crazy. SP Little Knight is the one way this game just becomes very boring because then you start start Okay, I mean yeah. <laughs> Targeting Ultimate Falcon, of course. <laughs> nah, he's basically yeah. Hey yo, what a chad. 
Ah, he's gonna go a uh, triple lance effect. <laughs> uh, yo, Yak Sign, what's up? Just imagine Pain Ladies being able to be used. Oh my god! Oh, that would have been so good, Ayo. Yo, Enzo, what's good? Oh, he's so cute. He didn't know that they were unaffected. Relinquish Tanima, Target, Rising Rebellion, SP Little Knight, Banish Ultimate Falcon. Yo, go ahead, set four. I don't care. You think I'm scared of your deck? Nobody has a chance to beat Raid Raptor going second. Nobody. If I win the dice roll, it is G to the G. It's been a while. Uh, I haven't been getting... Okay. Okay. I've been getting a, a part-time job. Yo, let's go. Yo, uh, what, what's your... Uh, wh what are you uh, working at, actually? That's insane. <laughs> uh, yeah, reading is the end, boss. It's too much to ask. <laughs> He's gonna underworld goddess one of them away. All of that just... Uh, just for me to summon seven more ultimate falcons and rising rebellions. So cute. <laughs> I'm not using... I haven't used a single card effect. This is just to show you the amount of pressure people are under when they're going second against Raid Raptor. I'm doing nothing, and they're losing. Need double evenly match to beat it. Yep, and even then, it's not enough. Have you yo, have you guys watched my combo video? Double evenly, triple tactic thrust, whatever you want. I still have six cards in my hand. I still have a stag grave. I still have a bunch of options in my extra deck. Nice deck, Bernard. Alert. Yeah. I'm not gonna waste my negates on that. That's fine. What if you get Lava Golem or Sphere Mode? I showcase that in my combo video. It doesn't matter. I got Sphere Moded. It, it's just not enough. I end on four Xyz. If you Sphere Mode me, I still have an Xyz monster. I can still use my Omni Negate. And if I if I keep a four Strix, I can still Xyz summon the other boy. Yeah, yeah, Joe. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. Uh, you're a real one, by the way. Thank you so much. God bless you, my friend. Fox, purely who? <laughs> purely eat. <laughs> no, it can't. If I go first, I beat the entire meta. Oh, look at how cute he is. Oh, my God. Yo, this is so adorable. Yo, four back row, field spell. He's panicking like crazy. He's gonna Underworld Goddess me now. I haven't used a single card. He's using Rescue to revive back a monster. I don't care. Oh, look at how adorable he is. Look at this, guys. Hey, yo, look at this. Look at this. Yo, you know what? We're actually gonna go for it. <laughs> Hold on a second. Turbo Lance. Airlifter. This is... Yeah, this doesn't do jack. All right, all right. Okay, so we're gonna go for this, and then if he tries to uh, tag out with the SP, it's not gonna change anything because this is where we go negate. Nah, not gonna work. No, I'm I'm sorry, but it's not gonna work. This has three K. How about no? How about I go negate? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, I've waited. Dude, I've waited for so long for this moment. Look at this, boys. Yo, everything is gonna go get blown up. He's gonna die immediately. Wait, what? You didn't take damage? How come he didn't take damage? Is there something that makes it so I... Yo, Simo, come on, Saspas. Sabi, alhamdulillah, let's go. Hey, Julie, for what's good? Yo, j'ai jamais eu autant de fun depuis un bon bout. Hold on a second. He didn't take damage. I don't... I, I, I don't understand why. Is there, like, some rescue ace cards that randomly makes it so... There has to be something I'm missing. Game bug? It has to be. I don't think there's a single rescue ace card... You didn't have different names. Ah, Sheesh, okay... Really? Yeah, so that that must be it, huh? Damn. Oh yeah, I mean the replay is so long that I can't play it again. 
Damn, yo, that sucks. Ah, oh, I need my YouTube material. <laughs> Don't worry about it, playmaker. It's what I do for a. Uh... So what what I do on a daily basis, actually. Yeah, materials. Man, that sucks. Oh yeah, that's true, Neon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me, uh, yeah, Neon. Okay, so the um, the password is your name, basically, Neon. Alright. You can't start the replay uh No way, I, I had no idea. Bruv, yo, you you're teaching me things. That's insane. So Force Brave and Raider need to be the materials. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, the the two different rank fours as well as uh the uh rank five. I really thought I did it correctly though. That, that's what that's what's getting me confused. I don't know, man. Obviously I still ought to win. <laughs> no shit, but like Oh, you, okay, so you you work at Target. Really? Yo, is, is that really you, Neon? Hazama? Uh, that, that's you? You can play me on Europe Competitive and Edo Pro. Is there a deck that has a good matchup against Raid Raptors? Honestly, anything that can play 65 billion negates. Uh, like hand traps. Oh, you're trying to apply for Target. Okay, okay. Yeah, hopefully you get it. Let's go. Yo, Neon, is that you? Because I'm not going to accept until you say yes. Okay, sure. Yeah, I, I can't guess. Your name's different, so. I know, man. Yo, we can't... This stream can't... No, no, you can't stream snipe and make sure you win the dice roll. You can't do me like that. You can't do me like that. No, 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 no. Yeah, now you're obviously gonna win the dice roll because you know what I what I did. Yeah, this, this is the worst... This is the annoying thing about stream snipes. Yo, come on. I, I would have destroyed you! <laughs> Yo, Annette Zergoth, thank you so much, my man. Yo, this deck is broken going going first because I never break, but going second, yo, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I'm feeling confident. Like, honestly, it's really not that bad. I let everything resolve, it's fine. The Vanishing Lanius is just like a bait for Valor, but realistically, you're holding your Valor for the Raiders Knight, so we're fine. He's gonna target himself, that's fine. That searches the Healy Golem, and then he goes for Raider's Knight. Oh, Pain Lanius, I see how it is. Ah, clever boy. Okay, I think I know what he's trying to do. He's gonna summon the Pain Lanius and then go for a Wise Tricks to mitigate the... Okay, never mind. Okay, yeah, okay. I have no idea what he's trying to do, okay. I've never been this confused in my entire life. Summon four Tricks Pass. Yo, Neon, you're actually trolling. <laughs> uh, t'avais dit quoi, Brian? Uh, qui est actuellement bon? J'ai joué Crystal Beast et Maudit que je n'aimais pas tout le temps. Maintenant que tu nous présentes ce deck comme tu le fais, tu as remis le feu. Ah, yes! Oh, je suis tellement. Ah, mon dieu, t'as fait ma journée. Non, ok, je t'en remercie. Ah, yo, au contraire, c'est moi qui te remercie. Ah, t'es tellement une légende. Yo, le plaisir est pour moi en passant. Ah, merci à toi, merci à toi. Ah, c'est un des decks les plus fun que j'ai joué de ma vie. Strongest end board, yo, facts. <laughs> Man, what is this? Come on, yo, Neon, you're trolling. I swear, not even using the effect of four tricks. Sure, 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 sure. You're not gonna stream snipe, my man. Ah, you misclicked. Ah, okay, that's that's understandable. Hey, yo, if you don't have a hand shop here, uh, I think it is what it is, but, like, you're kind of dead. <laughs> So I, I hope, for your sake, that you have a hand shot for this guy. Because otherwise, uh, all hope is lost, my friend. Do you have a hand shot? Oh my god, sorry for your loss. <laughs> like that, like that. Oh, you are about to die. You are in nothing. Oh, you don't even... Oh my god, poor guy. He doesn't even have a hand shot for this. Must not be nice. Must absolutely not be nice. Because now you can Nibiru me here, it doesn't matter. Doesn't change anything. Alright, look at this, boys. Look at this. Activate Arsenal Falcon Efecto. I don't even know what to summon, I have too many options. Uh, let's see. I could go for trip now, that's stupid. Ah, uh, it's not stupid. I can go for tribute, send the uh, set. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it, it doesn't do anything. Hey, Storos, let's go, my man. 
Yeah, it's yeah, you're basically saying GG because you already acknowledge that I uh, <laughs> that I'm about to win this game. If Pain Linus could go into Raider's Knight, the consistency would be unreal. Oh, th this deck would be like tier negative infinite billion because it's already consistent as it is, but like it would be even better. And to be fair, this deck is already very consistent. So it's like, you know, why not? Uh, not much that I can really foolish here. I guess I might as well just send the Mimic Cry just for safety measures. Did I normal summon? I think I did, yeah. Okay, get the Roost. I really want to combo on your ass. I really want to do the same board going second. Alright, special summon that. Do you strangle much? Yeah, I mean, mid combo, not early combo. But yeah, I definitely do. Okay, so now I go this. Oh my god, Shilling 1, Shilling 2. There are so many pluses that you can get in this deck. It's stupid. I could even I could I could have won Shilling Force and Morgan actually. Uh, glad you're enjoying this deck, man. I've been playing it for a long time. I am having the time of my life, my friend. I'm having too much fun, too much. You can say that again. Yeah, yeah. I, I it's funny because at first I was like, ah, eh, the support doesn't look too good, but like now it's like, no, I changed my my mind. I actually think the support is broken. Oh yeah, we definitely we definitely like like this card. It's such a broken card. I'm gonna summon the four strikes and attack because this boy is gonna have like 20 billion attack like very soon, very very soon. Uh, Raider's Knight. Uh, you can no, you can send the fuzzy. But if you're talking about the Kali Yuga version, yeah, you're right, uh, Mikey. Yeah, so now I go for the strangle. And now strangle effect. Hey, Daniel, thank you so much, my man. Let's see, so I special summon the fuzzy because when it falls off, it's just free real estate, so why not? I mean, I might as... Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Now I go for ultimate falcon. Okay, yeah, now we're, now we're in everything. Oh, they even lose attack. That's that's so convenient. All right, some morgue. This is nuts. This feels like the best deck ever, man. Super consistent, super powerful. Can play flex spots. Has inherent ways of playing through hand shops. Like this deck rewards you so well for just being good at the game, which I'm not. I suck at the game. But if you're good, eh, it must be nice. Am I searching Bloom Vulture for next turn? <laughs> next turn. I'll go for Tribute. Is planning on a reboot that very needed as the MCU is here? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Let's see. Overlay these three. That's gonna be going for the Rising Rebellion. Destroy that and inflict 100 damage. Ah! Dee -dee 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 -ding. So you take 100... Hey, thank you, Chul. And then recycle bag the spell. Guys, how is this fair? <laughs> Man, this is crazy. Is full proof you'll always be able to end on full board for level 30? Yeah. That's true, yeah. Re yeah, Ghost Reaper doesn't really beat this deck if you have uh, the continuous spell. Because then you just shuffle them back into... Yo! <laughs> you want a Ghost Reaper me? How about I just shuffle back the banished cards into the deck and full combo through the Ghost Reaper anyways? Nice deck. Uh, we're not done yet, by the way. No, 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 no. We're not- we're never done yet. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, hey, hey, yo, this is not fair. This is not fair. I'm- <laughs> I'm borderline cheating right now. Alright, so what do I summon? I have too many options. Too many options, too much money, I'm too rich. Uh, and then people say that uh, I clickbait, that I cap. Uh, you guys are crazy. Look, 
This is the reason why I say that when a deck is a uh, best deck, you believe me. You take you 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 Bro! Why would I ever lie to you? How many cards do I have in my hand? Okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten cards in my hand, five cards on my field. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Ten cards in my hand, double towers. If they sphere mode me, you think I care? I can still summon freaking another towers on their turn. I still have another towers. And then I still have the trap card to Omni Negate and 11 cards in my hand. Like, the worst part is I said 11 as a joke, like, sarcastically, like, oh, 11, a, a big number. Ex an exaggeration, but I literally have 10 cards in hand. <laughs> this deck is too cool, man. Again, this is the deck list for you guys. I'm going to go to the washroom real quick. Be right back in two seconds. And yes, this deck does lose the shifter. If you shifter me, you're skillful at the game. But if you don't have shifter against me, ah, you're dead. You're dead because nothing else beats me. Nothing else. Alright, sorry for interrupting the cheer stream. I know it was beautiful. Uh, Michael, thank you so much for the for the sub. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, nothing except Retaliating C. That's true. Yeah, the Retaliating C and Shifter, these cards really kill me. Apart from that, not really. And I literally showcase combos where I play through Droll, Nibiru, Valor, Ash, Imperm. Yeah. So it's really Shifter and Retaliating C or bust. That's it. That's all. Alright, gonna, gonna host again. This time, it's open for anyone who wants to play against me. Uh, yeah, I mean, Bestial's act can we fight this guy? Yeah, of course. Come in, come in, though. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna accept the first guy that plays against me, though. Hopefully it's you. Yeah, flying C2, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the C cards. Maxi. <laughs> Thank God it's not a thing in the TCG. I don't think Raid Raptor is going to do well in the OCG because it's a hardcore combo deck. So if you get a hand trap, you're screwed. Uh, this is EDO Pro Ignis. I'll do... Uh, yeah, you see? Project Ignis EDO Pro. So yeah, you just download that. You go on their Discord. It's easy to find. Yes, outplayed! Let's go, boys! Oh! <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Uh, if I get drooled, I still have combos, so we're fine. Isn't Retelling C kind of late into the combo, though? Uh... Nah, it's it's not late. Yeah, like, it, it's, it still hurts, actually. We're we're gonna have to test, but like I don't I don't think the deck really has a good matchup against Retelling C at all. I predict I'm gonna get drilled here. It's fine. I already know okay, yeah. <laughs> if he doesn't have any hand shops, this is still full combo. Yes, no, maybe. I can play through a Nash. I can actually play through an Ash right now, by the way. Just letting you know. Yeah, like two card combos, play through Ash, no problem. Uh, let's see. 
let's see. Book the retaliating. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, retaliating. Yeah. And you, you can also go triple tactic talent, steal the retaliating C, and then use it as a material for four tricks. <laughs> it's not bad, huh? So, yeah. It's not bad at all. Yeah, just be better at the game. I agree. Do not Valor me. Yes! Oh, feels so good! You can ash me now, I don't care. I don't lose to hand traps anymore. You can ash me, it's fine. Ooh, it doesn't even have a ash! Oh my god, okay, yeah. Oh, we're good. I could play through- this hand could play through every single hand trap except uh, Imperm or Valor. This is why I just need to, like, learn more combo lines to, like, navigate through these hand traps, but I, I don't think they can. It's like, Valor and Imperm on the rank 4 is just- it's just game. And it- you can, but, like, it's 3-card combos that play through Valor and Imperm. But, like, through Ash, it's, like, 2-card combos. It's very easy. Uh, I do not play Call by the Grave anymore. Just a Saki one of makes no sense. I'm not a big fan. We can get nibbed here and still full combo. <clears throat> Yo. This deck is nice. And also, I forced the nib very early because Ultimate Falcon is just nuts. All right, link off these two boys. Chain link one, chain link two. He has to nib here, actually. Otherwise, I set the rank of magic and I play through it anyways. All right, summon. And all right, cool. We are officially unaffected by nib. I mean, not yet, but almost. Okay, now I go... Is he gonna nib me here? No, wait. I don't understand, what does he do? Does this do well with a very late nib? Uh, he has to nib early because the ultimate falcon prevents him from using Carter effects until the end of the turn. So I'm pretty sure he has nib right now, but like... Hmm, what do I search? I think the best card to search... Do I have... Uh, we went through Fuzzy. So I have to go for Samorg. Oh, Samorg is an extender now because... Oh yeah, I get the field spell and... Yeah, that's that's broken. Now he summons... This is summon number like 65 billion, but it, it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, hold on a second! Yo! I just realized something! No, the, the route to play around Nib is even better than I thought. Yeah, because now I go Ultimate Falcon Effect. Oh, you! I just discovered something. He has to chain Nib here. And then I chain the Raid Raptor's Force. Yo. Okay, guys, I, I, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna make like a combo after. I'm gonna show you guys what I discovered, but it's even better than I thought. If they hold the nib for too long, I'll show you, I'll show you guys something. Um, because now nib can no longer be used. Ultimate Falcon prevents cards and effects from being activated. Uh, that gets me the uh, what's his face? Yeah, field spell. And then I activate that because I'm gonna search the trap card. And then I go... Oh yeah, well, whatever. I mean, it's it's fine. But yeah, so equip that. I kind of messed up the columns because the the, the, the tower should also uh, should, should always be in um, column uh, 2 and 4. Because they can't get a relinquished animat anyways. But yeah, actually, that's insane. Yo, Nib literally is so useless against this deck.
Alright, so this is gonna be reviving back this. Alright, and then four Strix using these two. Yeah, it's a random Azathoth, I know, so convenient. <laughs> this deck is just too convenient. What do I search? Just a follow-up for next turn. I love saying a follow-up for next turn as if there was gonna be a next turn. You think uh, one of these cards will get banned, guys? Like, w one of the Raid Raptor uh, big boys is gonna get banned? Uh, no, it's unaffected by Geonator Transversor, I believe. It's, st it's still a card effect. It's not like your opponent must give control of it. Creature Swap, though, it does lose to, uh... Creature Swap beats, uh, Towers. Because it, it makes the player, uh, give control of a monster. It's not like Mind Control. I see, this is just like the, 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 the most ridiculous deck ever. <laughs> Man. What is this? Alright. Okay, I still... Dude, I still have Ash and Book of Moon on top of everything that... I, what is this, bruv? I swear. Six cards in hand, full back row almost, five monsters on board. Sphere mode me, please. You think I'm scared of you? You can sphere mode me, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> sphere mode evenly doesn't even beat a one card combo. A one card combo, and it still beats two of the best board breakers in the game. <laughs> Man. I'm dead. Raid Raptor best deck. Like, they need, like, triple Lava Golem to beat me. Like, that ass. This is, like, I don't even know what to say. And then I still have, like, six cards in hand and a guaranteed follow-up. Mmm, you're behind on the stream. Is there a, a lat uh, latency? Raptor this, can I have a rematch? Yeah, sure. Teller Knight Telemis and making the Dark Negation excuse could be good in this deck. Uh, nah, I'm not trying to cut Fuzzy. Fuzzy is like one of the best cards. But yeah, Enzo, in this deck, anything is possible, that's true. If this deck is the best deck, then they would have to ban the Link monster. Probably. Probably. So I, I promised him a rematch. Uh, Simorg Field Spell is an extra normal summon. Ooh, we've got Infinite Depermanence as well as, yet again, full combo. Because this deck does not brick. Guys, we've been streaming for four hours. Have you guys witnessed me bricking one single time? Nope. Zero times. Zero bricks. Uh, Drader Centurion is extremely good when it goes first, but like, I don't know, it has flaws. Yeah, you can probably say goodbye to Y Strix, yeah. The Link 2 is kind of kind of cracked. But yeah, I didn't brick one single time. It's it's actually just ridiculous. Nah, I'm not sure I'm not combining this deck with uh, PK. Yeah, it's dog shit. A am I imperming this by the way, guys? Or am I imperming Bahamut Shark? I don't think this- Oh uh, shit, if he foolishes and then he goes like the monster reborn. I, do I imprim this? Because usually they summon the Bustar Shark. I think he has the monster reborn in hand, so he's trying to go like... Send the Xyz Remora, and then monster reborn back the Xyz Remora. Search Xyz Remora, and then, and then I just lose actually, if he does that. No, this is the shark deck. I think I have to imprim that. If he has an extender, I just lose. Yeah, because I think he has the monster reborn. Otherwise, he would have went for the bus shark, which is the guaranteed one card combo. I don't think there's a quick play to dodge this, unless he has like Book of Moon, but then he loses a body. Oh, it is 
goatee. What? Oh no! If a monster is banished, you can special sensor during the the target one of your goatee traps. Said that. Oh shit! Yeah, so that's Bahamut Shark into Toad. I don't think I'm. I'm I, I don't think I'm beating Bahamut Toad honestly. Yeah, I mean that that's not any better. Why am I so good at this game? I'm just insane at this game. I'm too good. I'm literally like the most talented guy in, on earth. Yeah, so now if we want to play correctly, we go normal summon fuzzy, special, well, normal summon that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, just draw the out. <laughs> just draw the out. It's insane. I'm so good. <laughs> I'm so talented at Yu-Gi-Oh. It's insane. I should be able to play through a hand trap. I mean, a well-timed hand trap is what I mean. I, I mean. I can definitely play, uh, like, through, like, a garbage hand trap. I don't know if I'm playing through two hand traps. Probably. Or probably not, actually. It, 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 again, it depends. If he, like, just throws his hand traps on garbage, then, yeah, probably. Uh, yo, somebody. Th this deck does a lot. <laughs> a lot more than just towers. Don't worry. It actually does interruptions. I destroy every card on my opponent's field. It's 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 just insane. I uh, dude guys, stop mentioning the word shifter in my presence, okay? I hate that card. Yeah, I, I play through uh, a lot, honestly, with this hand. It, it's a great hand for sure. Uh just don't drill me, please. That's all I'm asking for. Badass. When you're good, you're good. I'll go Raiders Knight. Yeah, it's just, yeah. She was playing under shifter. Nah, nah, nah. Maybe better she will the field. What the heck does this do? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, so that's an interruption. Yeah. I went through a draw. I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. Oh, yeah, of course I do. Yeah, just, never mind. Yes, ban shifter. Thank you. I hate that card. So I think this is gonna pop on summon. Uh, banish them. If this card is... Okay, so if I have like any other extender, I'm good. Dude, I, I literally have full combo as if this never happened. <laughs> this changes nothing. That's a nice deck you got there. What can you do with the Link 2 still tier 1? D look, guys, just trust in the crust. Look at what I can do. Alright. What is this gonna do? Banish if this card is synchro summon if this blah 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 blah. I don't care. Okay, cool. Nice deck. Oh, okay. Uh, you can banish one, add this card to your hand. Uh, you can banish two fishmen for special specials this card. You can only use each effect. That's okay, cool. So now he has zero interruptions. Badass. Time to profit. What? <gasps> no! This is only an extender if you control a wind winged beast? Oh, you know, to be fair, that, that's my fault. I, I didn't know that. I thought it was always an extender. In this case, I should have I should have normal summoned um the fuzzy before. Okay, yeah, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Okay, it's it's, it's my fault. Okay, yeah. All right, cool. I know this. Um, hold on a second. Is Simorg a wind? It's a dark. Oh, it's also considered a wind. That's why. All right, yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. So you gotta use your your extra normal summon ASAP. I honestly didn't know that. Yeah, you need to control Simorg. Now, you, you guys should have told me, because, ah. 
Yeah, I was not um, I was not expecting that. But yeah, it's it's a good thing that I learned the hard way because now I'm never going to make this mistake again. Oh, and by the way, I I wanted to do the the combo where you just play around the probably a potential like a really well-timed Nibiru. It should be a two-card combo. If it's well-timed, if it's not well-timed, it's like a one-card combo. Anyways, I wasn't how did he stop you? Uh, it's, um, it's a fish, uh, monster that allows you to quick sync on your opponent's turn. Uh, you could also keep some Morgon Field and use other stuff. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's, it's, I, I don't know what this, uh, f the, the freaking goatee deck does, so. Yeah, I was never, I was never predicting that, but again. So, it's a good thing that I, I learned. 100% my fault. Okay, so I feel like this this deck should have one card combos to play through a nib. That's the thing. Or maybe not, but like it depends. I, f I feel like it has to though. If you sequence everything correctly, even nib should not be doing much. Okay, alright. So, this is summon number 4. Let's just assume that our opponent is smart and knows the perfect timing to nib you. If this if this one card combo plays through nib, I don't see how anything can stop this deck. Okay, so clearly you're not trying to nib here, right? Because I, I showed the combo um, where uh, the nib is used way too early and this is still full combo. Because instead of summoning uh, Ultimate Falcon, you summon four strikes. And then you just keep popping off. So Nibiru should never be used here. Clearly. Now you go Arsenal Falcon. The Nibiru should still not be used. You summon the Noir, you still do not use Nibiru. And then you target. Oh my god, there's like no timing to use Nib. I feel like a one card combo just inherently plays through it. Need to test whether you can do it with other hands. Uh, you know, you mean playing with a uh, Nib? Yeah. I think the one card. I think I think every two card combo should play. It it just doesn't do anything. I I just keep thinking, but like. Look at this. And you take 3,000 damage? If Nib gets uh, is used too early, I still combo because I summon 4 strikes. I'll show the combo later. And then Simorg sends, search the field. And then recycle back. Oh my god. One card combo plays through Nib. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It changes nothing. Yeah. And I still have the rank up so I can summon the other Rising Rebellion on the opponent's turn. Even if the nib is used correctly, I still end on triple towers. And the ability to destroy every single card my opponent controls. It does nothing! One card combo! I didn't use- I started with- uh, um, Red Raptor Tribute Lanius and Strangle Lanius, but I never used that Strangle. I searched the Strangle and I just kept comboing off. That is ridiculous. Buy Red Raptor right now. This deck is even better than I thought. One card, full combo, through a correctly timed nibbed. Every single two card combo plays through nib. Every single one of them. 
Do you guys want me to see even more lines where the nib is used uh, in a different timing? Il sort quand ces monstres? Euh, ça sort à Photo Nightmare qui... Ah, J'ai oublié, je pense que c'est en février. Ouais, c'est en février. Début février. Je pense le 9. Wow, that is... I'm just speechless right now. That's... That's just ridiculous, honestly. It really is. Wow, just just wow. Just just wow. Honestly, just wow. <laughs> Penses-tu que Super Poly peut détruire ton board complètement tenu que les monstres sont dark? Les monstres sont unaffected by card effect, donc tu peux pas Super Poly. Le deck perd à rien. Yeah. Okay, um... So, yeah... Hold on a second. Someone was uh, was wondering what happens when the nib gets used very early. I'll show you the combo. Nah, speaking in French. Dude, I'm I'm a hella cooking raptures, bruv. Did you make another video letting people... Oh, absolutely. Yo, Seti, you already know it. Yo, by the way, Seti, when you go to YCS Richmond, make sure you, uh, uh, you, you, you come to me and you let me know that it's you. Alright, so Raiders Knight. Right now we're unnibirable because this is still summon number four. And then we detach this. Search the rank up. This deck is so clean. I, I only play two rank up magics, and this card's not even a brick. Like I literally don't play a single bad card. This is like the cleanest deck list ever. Okay, so Nibiru now? You guys think that Nibiru now is the best and safest thing that you can do? You can Nibiru now if you want to. Doesn't do jack shit. No, oh, absolutely. Esperons. Inshallah, ça serait cool. That's so people aren't. <laughs> I know. I know, man. I know. I should say that the deck is trash. You know what? Hey, look. I, yeah, I'm gonna make a video very soon, guys. Sorry, I clickbaited you. Raid Raptor is tier 25. Um, yeah, the deck is bad. Nah, the deck is broken. No, I am, I am, I am actually going. Oh, sorry, it's not a one-card combo if it's used uh, here, actually. Yeah, it's a two-card combo, because then you surge the strangle, and then you need, like, another extender. <laughs> it's actually funny how the correct timing is so awkward. Uh, yeah. Nah, the, the nib on the Link Summon, I literally just showed it. But yeah, no, nib here is, um... It's like, it makes it so that one card doesn't actually beat it. But it, it's, it's fine, obviously, but like, obviously you can't play now. Yeah, so you need one extender. It's fine. It's it's not too bad. No, it nah. Exactly, Marco. Exactly. You you need to start if you want to like know how to like play the deck correctly. You need to start playing it right now. It's a good investment in the future. But Yak sign. This deck loses to hand traps. <laughs> Don't kill me. I'm gonna say it with this voice. Yak sign. Uh, don't like playing the Phantom Knight cards because it had huge bricks. Facts. This is why I fixed the problem for you. This is like the best deck list you'll ever find. But I'm still iffy on the field spell. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's correct. Maybe it's not. I don't know. We'll see. Yes. No. Maybe. Ah, uh, no. I got outplayed. I need hand traps now. Ah, uh, we're bad. We're not good. Man, the Samoric Field spell is not... It doesn't feel nice to draw, like, at all. It's so bad. I mean, yeah, going from one card combo to two card is still insane to nib. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It, it depends on when the nib is used. If it's used incorrectly, then... Oh, what the fr... I'm so dead. If the Nibiru is used incorrectly, then it's a one card combo plays through nib. If it's used correctly, I guess it's a two-card combo, but it's it's not the end of the world. I don't really care that much. Nah, singing Linus is ass. It's so bad. It's like the worst kind of extender you could play. 
Is it playable now in TCG or trash without new support? Uh, no, it's trash without new support. Very trash. Yo, what deck is this, by the way? Whitestone of Ancients? Blue Eyes Despia? Keg W. Would you say that Super uh, Sword Soul Super Heavy Samurai works? Probably not. Brandon in red with tragedy. You can summon Guardian Camera. I'm so dead. You bringing tears again to Richmond? Uh, most likely, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's sad to say, but yeah, that's dude. I'm getting tired of this deck. But like, there's nothing else. This format's honestly garbage. Really bad. You can use the Reborn Effect Strangle Anus if you use Xyz Armor Fortress. Yo. No, shit, no, it's not a Raid Raptor. Yeah, I was like, I was gonna say, like, this fixes all my issues, but it doesn't. It really doesn't. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that if I use, like, uh, Fuzzy, and, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, without the support, Raid Raptor is garbage. No, don't even try. This hand is great, but it doesn't play through Mirror Jade and Guardian Chimera. It plays through a lot, though. That was actually really stupid for me to like use the ruse, but like I I don't really care. This format is a pain in the butt. I'm sorry, but we need uh oh yeah no no yeah no we we need to like completely we need like to, to nuke this format and like just soft reset this game. Ghost Ogre on the rank five or the Raiders Knight? You uh, ogre the Raiders Knight, and then they go like neg five. Now nah, they can still recover though. It's a three card combo. It, it's like. Full recovery through, uh, Valor slash Ogre on Raider's Knight. It hurts a lot, though. Really does. The Amazing Digital Circus? I have no idea what that is. Chimera Luna Light deck profile. Bro, I... I have no idea. Chimera Luna Light. <laughs> I don't... I don't really think much of, uh, Luna Light. I think he DC'd. I was gonna lose anyways, though. Realistically... Amateur. Yo, hey, you are an amateur compared to me. Play Foolish instead of the field spell. Foolish is not good. Nah. We're not playing Foolish. Foolish for Fuzzy Lanius doesn't sound great at all. <laughs> I don't know anything about Goatee, so not gonna happen. Bro, zero hand traps again going second. That's rough. Going first, this hand plays through, like, all the interruptions in the world. Oh, I've been hating the Samora cards. I actually think they suck. But if I start playing, like, way too much non-engine... Eh. But yeah, the field spell for Samora is, like, one of the worst cards I've ever seen. So yeah, I'm cutting that. Sure, I'll host private for you. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's looks pretty broken. But yeah, I nobody knows what Ray Rapper cards do. You could win against Branded. Yeah, especially since he DC'd. Foolish is basically second name in combos with basically everything. It does, but then it just like it It's 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 hard to explain, I don't know. I think the only branded card on the TCG list is expulsion. Yeah, it is. Yeah. In the OCG everything is like limited. Branded Fusion, Branded Opening. Yo, people love their freaking Horus deck in uh, Eater Pro. For some reason, I only see pure Horus in Eater Pro. Um, or Horus Runic or random stuff like that. Uh, Yes, it used to be. Yeah. Wind Bear Statue Turbo. But now it's like an actual Raid Raptor card, you know? <laughs> Have you considered playing with a Kashtira engine? It doesn't look good, because then when you link off the Arsenal Falcon, it doesn't actually summon a Raid Raptor from deck. Right, well, from extra deck. It doesn't look too good. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. He mailed my uh, Wreck of Magic. I mean, I have Heal Eagle to recycle it back, but like... Ah, oh, shit. And a Negate. 
I was gonna top deck Book of Moon. This guy, man. <laughs> Fudge. Uh, strange that Expulsion was reprinted in 20, 23 megatons. Yeah. Centurion is uh, a good deck, honestly. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, you can foolish the Raid Raptor that summons from banishing itself. Ah, it should be Lania's the normal summon. Yeah, Mimicry, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Technically, Foolish Burial is a one-card combo, but it's not a one-card full combo because then you have to use your Mimicry to search the Tribute instead of searching the Continuous Spell, and the Continuous Spell gets you the Trap and gets you a draw. To be fair, though, you could... Uh, that's kind of neglectable. You know what? Sure. I'll try Foolish Burial. Sure. Thank you, thank you, because I hate uh, these decks. Uh, yeah. Mario, good luck again with tier. What is the good side against tiers using lab that I made to... Mmm, I see. Well, thank you, and good luck to you as well. Uh, good side against tier using lab. You don't need your grave, so I'd play Gravekeeper's Inscription and uh, Dimension Shifter. Shifter in lab is pretty good. Nah, I mean, I hate saying that because I, I don't want to face Shifter. Every deck that I play always, always loses to Shifter. Always. That's like a... That's like a characteristic uh, of me, you know? Evenly sucks this format because SP Little Knight just protects you from it, so... Just such a weird format. Like, board breakers are bad, hatch ups are not good enough. But Jewel and Shifter are, like, pretty good. I mean, Jewel is bad against Unchained, though. Would Arbonite be good in pure build? I don't think so, but... It, it's just another normal summon, so you're, you're gonna start breaking. Yeah, yeah, non-engine is uh, everywhere now. What is this guy's deck even about? I'm so confused. He just summons a bunch of... Okay, yeah. And still, he only gets like one negate. So far, he only has one negate on board. But then he can make an Appaloosa for four and I actually can't even out it. No, I mean, I can, I can, I can, I can. No, uh, Typhon is looking nice. Fudge. Oh, actually, I can out the YouTube Draco future. <laughs> Fudge, no, he has the field spell so he can protect the Regulus. This is no bueno. Nah, we're screwed, honestly. <laughs> we're so screwed. Yeah, it is a non-engine format. Man, what can I do? I don't feel like I can do anything. Anything to spice up Centurion except Horus? Ah, uh, let me think. Spice up Centurion. I was thinking Runic at first, and I was like, nah, it doesn't work because... Uh, it conflicts with the field spell, you know? So it kind of sucks. A Book of Moon would have been insane here. Literally wild. But no, that's too much to ask, huh? Huh? Bro, this guy has double negate. I have a bunch of extenders, but it's not gonna be enough. It's sad to say, but... It's it's honestly such a good hand, but it's just not gonna be doing much. Like, the Utopic Draco future going negate and steal is so unfair. I'll go normal summon that. And then Simorg effect. Summon that. Yeah, you tried Runic, yeah, it's dog shit, huh? I need to just, like, scare him by using a bunch of garbage effects, and then he just wastes his negates. <laughs> like, he literally has to just waste negates for me to have a chance at winning this game. Hey, this is step number one towards winning! <laughs> See, this is beautiful for me? Okay, so how can we keep playing this game? Uh, step number one, we go fuzzy. Yeah, I think he's probably not. Yeah, no. I 
I could boost the level to make it level 5, but then, yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't change the fact that he just goes negate and I'm screwed. When does this stuff come out? Uh, Phantom Nightmare, February 9th. Yo, let, let's face it, I'm realistically not breaking this board, but uh, I can still uh, I can still <laughs> hope, you know? I can still try something. Oh yeah, this guy freaking milled my Raid Raptors Force, that's true. So he has to negate here. I have to detach the Mimicry. Yeah, so he negates... Now, I already baited two interruptions. Can I keep playing the game? I think I can. So I go effect. This special and red raid rapture monster from her hand. Okay, okay. Yo, I low-key think we can still play the game. I think we can actually play through two interruptions here. Hmm, let's see. Effect and Strangolanius. It's it's gonna be rough though. That's for sure. It's gonna be difficult, but I think it's doable. If you believe in yourself, nothing is impossible. All right. So wise tricks. Please don't have other interruptions. Now we go that. No shit. No, that's not gonna work. Fudge. Uh, let's see. I don't think so, huh? Man, I don't think... I don't think I have it. Really don't think I do. I don't think I do. I'll go heal eagle, recycle back. Let's see, if I shuffle back some cards... I want to see what I draw, actually, with the roost. Come on, we need to make the comeback of the century. Oh, the camera fogged, my bad. This is the worst draw I could have had. This is disrespectful. I feel like we were so close, though. Yeah, well, I mean, we can't summon Bloom anymore. Otherwise, it would have been insane. Oh, you know what? That's my fault, though. I had to mess up somewhere. No, actually, hold on. Fudge. If we had... Oh my god, we are so close to being able to play. Yeah, we're locked into Raid Raptor, so there's no Typhon either. Like, we can only get one extender, but we can't get a double extender. That's the issue. Man, this is so bad. Yep, we're not gonna make it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cut this some more garbage. It's like the worst cards ever. Literally, I have never played worst cards in my life, I think. <laughs> it's so ass. It's so bad, it's so bad. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's it's not enough. If I if I drew an extender, actually, I think I would have had it. Yes, I would have had it. Yeah, yeah. I definitely would have had it. Is then I search triangle lanius. Special summon, special summon. Uh banish, become level five, summon the rank five. I already have the skip force because of the link two, special uh, Arsenal Falcon, Link off, summon Ultimate Falcon, and I just beat him. 
I literally would have had it. I actually would have had game. Yeah, special. Yeah, I didn't use a special summon effect. But I, I couldn't because I need to control like an Xyz with an Xyz underneath. So it's like it, it wouldn't have worked. Uh, I, I Yeah, I, you know, I have to use my negate on the... Actually, no, it's not going to do anything. Yeah, I lose this game. Nah, I mean, Typhon wouldn't have helped me break the board, realistically. Yeah, it's a Zexol as well on my own turn. Eduardo. This is where the third uh, rank of magic would have been nice. Nah. Not really. Cut some more for Thrust and Foolish. Uh, you got it. Yeah, I'm not gonna win. Yeah, because, like, Sim Simorg is, like, just dog shit. This is- the field spell is the worst card ever, so whoever told me to play this card? Nah. No shot. My issue with triple tactic talent is that if I get impermed, I go from l being in a bad position to being in a worse position. So I don't know if it's smart. Rocket Engine, I'd rather die. It conflicts with a uh, fuzzy. So we're cutting at least once a morgue, which means I can maybe incorporate a third talent. Are we doing one talent, one thrust? Or two talent, zero thrust? You guys let me know. I don't think I'm cutting all the Simorgs though. I think I think Simorg, even without the ability to search the field spell, is still decent. I don't want to start drawing hands of like five non-engine, because this is where I just <laughs> this is where my deck just sucks. Alert for consistency. Not gonna lie, I think consistency is not really this deck's problem. I've been streaming for almost five hours. I haven't drawn a single hand that was bad. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 Marco. No, no, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> the rockets conflict with... Get out of here, bruv. Yeah, I considered Raider's Wing. Actually, it's funny because Marco told me to consider Raider's Wing. It's not that bad. Not because of his grave effect, but just because it allows Raider's Knight to not be imperm. And then the rank 5 to not be impermed. But then they still imperm the white streaks and you still lose. That's my issue. Oh, sorry. Yeah, foolish, foolish. Yeah. Are we cutting the second Simorg or the second talent? You guys decide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, j I just forgot about you, but yeah, for sure. Let's see. Really don't know what to do. Raider's Wing is a good mill. Yeah. More or less. How about Seravis? Nah, it's too troll. It's like a worse... It's a worse call by the grave. It's a worse cross out. Nah, cross out is bad. Two thrust, one talent, one foolish. I don't even think... I don't even think thrust is that good. For thrust to be like insane, Europe... Europe one would have to like bestial you or nib you and then you can and even then like you're barely searching any normal spells you're only searching talent or the skip force which is not good reduce hand shops replace them with what that's the issue got some more at thrust or, for foolish or talent i already have foolish and talent i'm not i don't know if cutting two some is correct like obviously cutting the third some more and the third uh, the field spell is fine right now this deck is extremely consistent Look, this deck does not break, all right? Allure of Darkness is not needed. Because the thing is... The issue with Allure is that now if I draw into Ash and Valor, my situation worsens. I don't like it. And also, these cards in this deck are just like... The ratios are so good that like sometimes Allure makes it so that you... You go... Like you... Your hand being... Becomes worse because you have to banish a good card. And then you're, you're just screwed. Nah, Monster Reborn sucks. Thrust is good inside, maybe for non-engine, if you're, uh, or if you are on cash, you can add terraforming. Nah, I don't recommend it, because Kashira doesn't work with Fuzzy Lanius. 
I would have considered Small World if bridgeability was not a problem, but it is. Nah, I don't think Thrust will ever get banned. Soul Shape Force? Nah. Nah, I, I don't know. I don't think you need Soul Shape Force. It's just an extra brick. I want this deck to have, like, a very small amount of bad cards. And it's sad to say, but the Rank of Magics are not good cards to draw. Skip Force being the exception to the rule. And then I'm only playing, like, one brick and, I mean... Two cards that are not good to draw. Every, literally, I'm playing a 40 card deck list. Two cards, I don't like to draw. The other ones, I don't care. Literally, I don't care. Obviously, drawing double Mimicry is ass, but like, it's not even the end of the world. Prosperity. My issue is banishing cards is rough. Because with Prosperity, the one card combo, you go through one white, uh, one white tricks, two to three four tricks, but to be fair, you don't really need the third, it's fine. And then you go through one Raider's Knight, the rank 5, the Arcrib... No, this is for follow-up. The Arsenal, uh, 1 to 2 Ultimate Falcon, and definitely 2 Rising Rebellion. Absolutely, Josh. Revolution Falcon. Ah, oh, no, that card sucks. Laughing Puffin. Nah, I know what that card is. It's not good, though. <laughs> the Windbearer Statue. Yes, that's exactly what I'll be doing. And then I get a game loss. Uh, I think this deck list is fine as it is, honestly. You don't need the... Um, yeah, you don't you don't need anything else. If I get Imperm, it is what it is. Oh, this guy just said meta. I'm playing even better than meta. Oh, I won the dice roll! Time to win! Yet again, I don't want to jinx myself, but I haven't bricked yet. Let's see. How do we do this? Do we go normal summon Mimicry and then summon the Simorg? I think we do. Uh, but yeah, this 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 hand does lose to a to a number of interruptions. I am not gonna lie. It it doesn't lose to Ash, but it loses to Valor and Imperm. So if it happens, it happens. If I get Valor here, I still end on like the trap. So it's like it's not the end of the world. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> time to win. Yeah, the deck is gas city, man. It's hella gas. Air raid is decent. It can pressure. What is air raid? Is it the rank six? I don't think it's too good. No. Only good going second. Mm. Yeah, no, no, no. I think, I think I looked through like, no, no, Wing Requital sucks, man. Yo, stop the cap. That, that card's dog shit. Oof! We are Nibiru proof, boys. Uh, we were already Nibiru proof because I had Fuzzy, but yeah, you get the point. Oh my god. I need to see the tournament results. Bro, you already know I'm going to be winning every single YCS with this deck. I'm nice like that. On opponent's turn to pop a card. Uh, is it the rank six though? I know Hyrule City, man. When you're good at winning dice rolls, you're just you're just talented. What can I say? I'll be going chain link one wise tricks and then chain link two Arsenal Falcon. If that is fine, and then I summon this and that, and then I summon yet again another. Mimic Rylenius. And then this triggers to get the quick play. And... There you go. We are now 100% safe from all kinds of hand traps. Uh, but I might as well just search now. How well is this deck going second though? It's it's not it's not too bad. It's really not that bad. I'm playing a lot of going second cards. I'm playing 13 going second cards. I'm playing a bunch of extenders, a bunch of starters. So yeah, I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling pretty comf uh, confident in this deck's ability to just uh... Oh, camera's not focusing. Got to let me know when that happens because I have no idea. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh so now this guy can no longer use anything, so we're gooch. Time to profit. 
Uh, there's a bunch of things to revive back. Like, the end board is literally the biggest FTK on Earth. Just win the dice roll, honestly. Just just be good, man. Improve in the game. <laughs> Basically. Okay, so we go for this boy right here. And then we search. What's the conflict with rockets? It's uh, Fuzzy Lanius. That is the, the issue. Ah, you want you want a piece of me as well? Sure thing, Golden DJ. No problemo. Uh, so now we gotta go strangle first. We gotta do something so unusual here. This hand is interesting. So we have—I mean, not not hand, but I mean like this uh, sequence. So we target the arsenal, and then we still have an Xyz underneath. We go strangle, revive back the mimic right to have a better follow for next turn. There he goes, so smooth, man. I'm nice like that. I'm so nice. And then what do we do? We go for one of several Force Trixes. And then I'm gonna be searching yet again. So many searches. Doesn't really matter what I get, but a follow-up for next turn. As if there will be one. Fuzzy has beef with good engines. You mean bad engines have beef with Fuzzy. Fuzzy is nice. Fuzzy is my friend. I'll hail Fuzzy. You just want to be running fours? Yeah, but you want to be running like only like, like not bad cards, you know. Alright, Bloom, so I have a better follow for next turn. And then special summon the Fuzzy. I'm going to be getting double searches now. Look at this. And I'll be getting a draw at the end of all of this. Can the Raid Raptor Xyz be sacked uh, with Kurikara? Nope. Because they don't trigger on the opponent's turn. Uh, I mean, the only one that does is the Rising Rebellion when I summon it, but I still end on like two other towers, so it's like... <laughs> nice deck. Uh, what do I... Okay, I grab this. Fuzzy is the go. Thank you for spitting factual faxes. Yo, it's funny because you're searching so much, but Droll doesn't beat you. That's the hilarious part. It's like, you would think that this deck loses to Droll, but it doesn't. Because you can live without all these uh, searches. It's not the end of the world. We don't really need that Force Trick, so we can just shuffle it back. Yeah, we can shuffle it back. Ash. Okay. That's the worst that's the worst draw by far. <laughs> Drawing the third fuzzy. <laughs> Alright. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Pass. Six cards in hand. Come on. How are we losing? Yeah, the, the only way to lose is when you only have the one card combo and you get drooled. That's it. Nothing else beats you. And yo, Zero Loop, really? Raid Raptor was uh, one of your first uh, decks you've ever played? That's insane. Uh, yeah, sure, George. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show the deck uh, under Jewel. Yeah, just, yeah, just draw a callback, exactly. Alright, Chaos Space Pitch, Absol Router. This is like an extremely good opening, and it's still not gonna be enough. Haha! <laughs> Lubelion. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm not scared. Actually, I kind of am, to be honest. Yeah, Bestials will prevent uh, Rising Rebellion from being a relevant uh, thingy. Interruption. Now he, he's gonna go... Well, I mean, to be fair. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna have to bait me so hard, though. I don't think he's gonna successfully be able to do it. That's fine. I don't care about Lubelion. We should still be Gooch. Cut one noir and Simorg for three Raiders Wing. Three Raiders Wing? Are you kidding me? There is no way I'm doing that. Uh, made me start playing in the year. Uh, pick Raid Rapture to play for some reason. 
Yo, Marco, your decision paid off. That's all I can say. The deck is actually good now. Yes, like low-key, actually good. I guess he already has Magnamod because otherwise he would... No, that makes no sense. That makes zero sense. By the way, my combo actually played around the Bistials. I don't know if you guys were aware of that. Ooh, he's misplaying hard. Okay, yeah. He, sh he should have used the Bistial first. And then I chain, and then he goes normal summon. Because now if he uses a Bistial, I chain, and then he just... Yeah, it's not gonna work. Wing is one or two of? Wait, uh, Raider... You're gonna have to explain me... Like, give me more convincing arguments, Marco, because I, I don't know, man. It just doesn't look good enough. It doesn't... It, it doesn't suck, that's for sure, but I don't know. I think shuffling back the four tricks might have had to be fair. No, I don't think it was a misplay. Nah, he's just dead. Now his Lubellion's dead. Uh, sorry, his uh, Druid Worm. Bro, he's so dead. Yeah, he doesn't even have Rocket Tracer now. Rusty sends it. Oh my god, this guy, bruv. By the time you summon Rusty, you're at like summon 26,000. 26, it's not like you can say, Oh, now we're playing through interruptions. <laughs> hey, the, the, the goal is to... In pure, it's just extender slash starter. Yeah, basically. Well, especially starter, well, semi-starter, yeah. That's actually hilarious. He like physically hard drew the boot sector lawn so he can revive back the, the tracer. It doesn't do anything though. I'm not going to negate anything. That's fine. <laughs> he can go into an Underworld Goddess if he wants to. Like, Rocket Tracer is not really a one-card combo. Doesn't do anything, actually. I can let everything resolve. I'm not going to interrupt anything. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Summon Black Dragon Collab Serpent. No stress. I don't care. I have Valor and an Omni Negate. Should I even use them? Nah. Could've negated the Chaos Space with a Barrage. Didn't want to. I don't have to. My deck's too good. Actually, negating anything... Like, w look, with the Barrage, you should never negate engine cards. You only hold it for, like, evenly. Because realistically, this deck does lose to, like, evenly resolving. I mean, not even. Not even, like, but, like... It's the one way you kind of lose just a little bit, but not even. This is, like, the worst Ravine Search in history. It's not going to do anything. He already used Boot Sector and his normal summon. Yeah, this this is not going to do jack shit. Activate Dragon Ravine, discard a card, s foolish a monster, pass. So, like, yeah, you can you can summon like an SP or a Unicorn. That's all you can do with two bodies. And yeah, nice deck. Nice deck. Uh, because it's a Raid Raptor. Yeah, but Simorg is an extender. Raider's Wing is like a semi-extender. Depends. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Depends on the moon, depends on the day. Depends on the weather as well. Evenly pl plus kaiju. Not even because I negate the evenly, so like you need like double evenly plus kaiju. That's like how you beat me. And even then, it's not enough. <laughs> okay, so a PST that can't summon. Nice deck. Oh, Romulus to summon a monster that can't be linked off. That is not how you win. Yeah, this is the most useless Druid Worm in history. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I forgot this small little detail. Yeah, there was no way for me to predict that there was a Lubalion in his hand. I guess he hard uh, he drew it with the Kel Space. My monster is unaffected by card effects, so sure. <laughs> he can Underworld Goddess one of my monsters. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, Shifter hurts this deck. Big time. Magical Midbreaker Field is limited, but you could play it. But I, I'm not a big fan of... It's it's a little gimmicky. His way out is to have 9400 plus attack... Yeah, he's, 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 not gonna, he's not gonna make it. Like, he would have to, like, one-punch man over the Wise Tricks. Something ridiculous like that. Oh, he's so cute, he's gonna try to Boral End me. But I have Barrage. <laughs> I can literally just negate the Boral End. 
So I'm literally just gonna let everything resolve, it's fine. Dude, again, I have Valor, I have Barrage, and I'm not doing anything, I'm just relaxing. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing you can do. Like, let us, let's analyze this. There's nothing he can, he could have done. So even if he had Abyss Tool, it wouldn't have been enough, but does he have Underworld Goddess in his extra deck? So he doesn't have Underworld Goddess, but it wouldn't have changed anything. His one semi-out is summoning a Chaos Angel that's undestructible by battle, and then just surviving for 10 years, but I'm gonna hold my Barrage for that, and I can also recycle back the Barrage with the, uh, with the heal, which, obviously, I'm always gonna access every single turn. Uh, how do you have installed Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro? You go on their, uh, on their Discord server. But yeah, no, there's, um, there's no way I would've lost here. Uh, once Arsenal Falcon hits the grave, you basically win. That is true. So yeah, again, this is the deck list. You guys let me know if there's any improvements, but I think we're just turning in circles. Like, some people were suggesting Raider's Wing, but like, we're you know what, we're, gonna, we're just gonna test hands with Raider's Wing. Because uh, I'm, I'm willing to change my mind on the card, but we have to see. Uh, let's see, I was playing... What else? Um... Raider's Wing instead of the Talent. Oh, they the Foolish Burial. And there's a Raider's Wing instead of the Talent. So what if I draw... So this three-card combo should 100% play through a... Uh... Uh, Valak, yeah. I think this deck will definitely become insane. 100%. One wing is fine. Yeah. But then you can't... By the time... My, my issue is that by the time you access this card, it's just gonna be too late. But yeah, no. For sure, this card must have potential. Look at this. Are you thinking of citing Droplet? Potentially. Yeah. So for now, we're immune to, to the Imperm. But now we go activate here. Yeah, Imperm is just so annoying though. And then this is immune as well. If our opponent has an IQ of 1, he's gonna waste an Imperm on the Noir, but let's just assume he doesn't. Because that's extremely stupid. Uh, Barrage does target, yes. And then we go Wise Tricks. And then Imperm here. And then... Yeah, this is so rough, man. It's so rough. I just don't really know what to do at this point. Ultimate Falcon just doesn't sound right. Four streaks just doesn't sound like it does enough. Yeah, this deck puts a board that nobody has... Look, I've been streaming for over five hours, and every single time I went first, not a single person has been able to beat me. I've only lost one game against Numeron when I went first, because I got Veilard when it mattered, and he had the Numeron network that he just activated because my Ash just doesn't do anything. Yo, Marco, you're the one who suggested the Raider's Wing, so please tell me what do you think is better here. Do I summon four tricks? I've got uh, Noir on the field. Level four. You let me know. The, uh, the Wise Tricks is negated. I don't think there's a solution. I think Raider's Wing doesn't fix your issue with losing to Imperm. Because if they Imperm the Wise Tricks, it's really rough anyways. There isn't there is a way to keep going, but like it's just so convoluted. Like unless Yeah, no. I don't know, man. Can you test with rocket engine instead of fuzzy? Uh it might be better. Nah. It's not better. You play more bricks. Yasin, will uh this deck become tier one? I'll re answered, man. This deck's insane. Yasin, I just face uh, last night, and you, I couldn't deal with multiple towers going second. Exactly! You, you see, Dalton? This deck is insane. You just summon, like, three towers, 
They deal with one of them, but not with the other one. Will uh, Wise trigger here? Unfortunately, it will trigger. That's the issue. If it didn't trigger, if it was not a mandatory effect, you were fine. But it does trigger. That's my issue. The fact that Wise Tricks triggers here just screws you over completely. Because now there is literally no way to, you know, to, to get a, a rank of magic. I mean, there is one way, but, like, it makes no sense. Like, you have to summon Tribulinius and then send the rank of magic? Ah, uh, yeah, no. No, th there's no card cluster list. Uh, I'm not really on there. Yeah, Wise Tricks is completely shut down. This is a one for two. Because the effect to set a rank of magic is mandatory. I don't know, man. I just don't feel like this does anything. There's no way to search a rank of magic. If you're on Kali Yuga, you still make it here. Yeah, but it's piss. I'll just assume that the uh, Fuzzy is not here. It's not going to change Jack, but... Yeah, detach from this. Oh, this is so ass. Literally so ass. Have you tested Necro Vulture? Um... No, oh, it's so garbage. No, 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 no. Forget it. No, it's like you tribute and then recycle back from graveyard to hand. <laughs> it's so bad. Like heal eagle is barely a good card, and it it's 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 still a one of. And it's infinitely better, and it's still ass. So forget it. Nah, I've tried my best, man. I'm I'm really trying to find arguments to play this card, but it's really it's just not good. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you have any questions, just uh, ask away because I'm going to end the stream relatively soon. Maybe we're to play one brick so I have protections from impermanence. You only run one brick with Kali Yuga, which is the rank up. Uh... My issue is not even the bricks that you have to play. My issue is that you have to play a worse extra deck because you have to now play two extra cards in your extra deck. And you no longer play fuzzy. Instead of that, you have to play bad engine cards. Like, like bad other engines. And also, the Kali Yuga build is, like, less good under Nib. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, that that's even worse, yeah. What do you think uh, about playing Boo Boo Game in Lab? Oh, what the hell is this? Doesn't even exist. Booby Chap? Garbage. Um... I dropped Kali for a clogging extra deck. There you go. Yeah. Can you do a combo with uh, Kashtira Engine? It looks like ass, honestly. Obviously, it's full combo, but like... Look. It's Copium, though. I don't know the combo, but I assume that it's... Should be a one-card combo. Many people are on books. Yeah, so going second, books, doesn't do anything against you, but going first, pretty bad. Oops. I'm literally stupid. You need to, a second uh, Fenrir. By the time we get this deck, Fenrir is absolutely going to get limited. Yeah, this, I, I love this stream so much, man. I had so much fun. It's ridiculous. Uh, Boo Boo Game. Is it out? I've never heard of it. Um, the Xyz armor trap does not function correctly with the deck because... Um, sorry, my, my brain doesn't function right now. What's the issue? I'm so stupid. Yeah, because it conflicts with Fuzzy. It's like a non Raider after monster. And the Xyz trap does uh, basically nothing, actually. It doesn't matter if you can Xyz summon on your opponent's turn. It doesn't provide you with anything.
I mean, this is this is definitely this definitely has to be full combo. Yeah, you don't have to be a genius to understand that. Am I stupid? This is that, that one situation where... Do you search the rank of magic or the Raid Rapture Spout Shop? I'm so confused. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, it doesn't matter who cares. Like, it's 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 probably full combo. I, I don't know how to do it because I'm not trying to fucking normal summon Ryzard like a moron. But... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe cry, search, whatever you didn't get, yeah. I mean, the world is your oyster, honestly. Like, you can't go for fuzzy here, which is... A little ass. And you still have a bunch of options, though. About Shade Brigand Dean as an extender? Uh, it conflicts with Imperm, and it doesn't work with Fuzzy. Now, trust me, like, there's literally no non-Raid Raptor extender you can play outside of Simorg. Because that one normal summons itself. No, I'm definitely, I definitely believe that Pure is better. Exactly, Mikey, yeah, this is like, if you're playing Pure, like I am, Fuzzy gives you insane advantage. Typhon's fine. I mean, I play, I play tested with it. It's it's all right. It's not insane, but whatever. This has to be full combo. Uh, um, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. There's no good extender to get if you're playing non-pure. I used up my normal summon. Man, this is dog shit. What does the deck lose to- Yo, by the way, you have to play like freaking three ultimate Arsenal Falcons for this combo? Yo, hell nah, man. Don't play the shitty Kashtiras. Yo, look. These cards are massive copium. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> we were never playing Fenrir. Never. It's so bad, so bad, so bad, so bad. See, see, this is the superior deck list. Yeah, I played against Rescue Ace. I went first, I won the game on the spot. He had like five monsters on board, five back row. He still couldn't out like a single towers. And I had three on board. I was like, yeah, that's a nice deck you got there. Mind if I uh, summon Rising Rebellion on your old turn, destroy all of your ten cards? Nice deck. Yeah, I can definitely make a stream on Centurion. I'm down. Seriously, what the hell is Boo Boo Game? Oh, this card. This is one of the worst cards I've ever read in my life. No. Nah, last tri last tricks is us. We're never playing that card. Normal combo going into four strikes with the first Arsenal Falcon instead of Ultimate Falcon. Um, I've never tried that. The reason why I I, I don't want to do that is because now if you get nibbed, you actually lose everything. Um, I don't think you need the two Ultimate Falcons. Yeah, you're right, actually. No, you you're actually right. Uh the second Ultimate Falcon, I don't even think you can summon. See where you're spitting faxes. The first one, you summon off of the arsenal, but the second one, you just can't. Yo, what the hell? This is, yo, this is why sometimes just having like an extra pair of eyes, more people looking at a deck list, they just make you realize some things that make no sense. Yeah, I'll show the one card combo. 
The third rising rebellion act <laughs> Loki comes up. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? I swear on my life. It shouldn't come up, but it can come up. Uh, so, you want me to show the combo where I have Tribulaneous or Foolish Burial? Because it's not the same combo. Tribulaneous is way better. I'll show, I'll show, I'll show the big one. Yo, look. Yo, Marco. Don't criticize me, okay? Your deck building skills are no better than mine. You're playing Kali Yuga, my man. It's not the way of the Shinobi. <laughs> By the way, I just want you guys to know that uh, the one card combo does lose to Droll. But you can still make an interruption if you get drilled. You still go into Raider's Knight, into, into this, and then you set the uh, trap card from your deck to your field. So it's not, it's not too bad. Like, Droll literally never beats this deck. Never. I know, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this deck left and right in Master Duel. But Maxi is gonna be not much fun. I don't wanna get Maxied. Because then people draw into, like, Triple Imperm. Is Seravis good to stop the Imperm for the Link 2? I also, trust me, I thought about everything. I thought about Seravis, but it's not, it's just not a good card. Like, it's a gimmicky card. Like, you're gonna play it for Valor and Imperm, and it's gonna be dead against everything else. So if your opponent doesn't have Valor Imperm, you're just like, okay, yeah, my, my card does nothing. So my philosophy is you want to focus on consistency so you always have a play for turn one. You, you want to focus on recovery so that you have a way to keep going when things are not going well. And you want to have ways to interrupt your opponent either when things are not going well or when you're going second overall. Because if you get a hand trap to death, you can use hand traps to like just stay in the game, and that's really relevant. So yeah, now you search for this, and Nibiru is no longer a problem. So you just use the effect of well, I mean to be fair, you should be using the effect of Mimicry first, play around bestials. And now use Mimicry, search the continuous spell. Yeah, facts. Yeah, anyways, now you target that. You can't get hit by Bistules now, which is the cool part. And then you recycle back the quick play. What changes would you make if Bloom has wrong text? I'm not gonna lie, if Bloom has wrong text, technically it changes nothing, but this deck starts playing into Nib because Arsenal Falcon would be summon number 6. So... I would still change nothing, it's just that the deck is so much worse. Just because of, just because it loses to Nib, that's it. Yeah, I hope it doesn't happen, man. I really don't want this deck to start losing to Nib for no reason. Really don't want that to happen. Mm, uh, I think this deck, we, we might actually get this at the same time as the OCG, but I'm not 100% sure. I know there's like, for some reason... They're gonna be giving us some cards that, like... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. No, I always said that I don't like cards like Cattle Call and Swallow's Nest. They all have the exact same problems. Just none of these cards are good. Honestly, they're just so bad. Uh, no, I really have to summon the Bloom. So, Bloom might have a worse effect than we think. Right now, the effect is if you control no face-up monsters other than Winged Beast monsters, you can blah 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 blah. So, in other words, at the current moment, you can... You can use Bloom on an empty board. Whereas, apparently, a YGO organization revisited the card text, or rather, the, their translation of it, so that the card now reads... If the only monsters you control are Winged Beast monsters, do this and this and that. And the reason why this is different is because with the... Th with that translation from YG Organization slash Ready for Duel, you can only use Bloom if you control at least one Raid Raptor monster. I hope it's not going to be the case, because that definitely would make the deck infinitely worse. And uh, I'm not down for that. Mosquito, one translation, says you can use it on an empty field 
Others says you need... Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. That, 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 that's exactly what I said. Alright, so for whoever asked for the one card combo, this is it. So one card gets you double towers and then the ability to summon a towers on the opponent's turn. And when that tower is summoned, you get to destroy every single card your opponent controls. So in other words, it's pretty disgusting. And then you also burn for like billions of damage. You also have a follow play. You have a soul charge in your grave pretty much in the form of Bloom Vulture, which is underneath a material. And you also have Skip Force. So you have a crazy follow-up, you have double Monster Reborn, well, triple Monster Reborn. You have a uh, search for anything, which should be the Tribulanius, as well as a draw. And you have a Nomni Negate, by the way. So yeah, this is like two interruptions, but two very good interruptions, and three towers, a lot of resources. Yeah, DD Crew on rank 5 is uh, pretty nasty. But you don't have to do it on standby, you can just do it on the target. When, when you're going like quick play, effect target, and then you just chain. So it doesn't have to be on the, yeah. Yeah, I think we're... Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna test one final combo before we're done. Foolish Burial. So this is also a one-card combo, but it's not a one-card full combo. It's it's worse. Because you have to go Foolish Burial, send Mimic Cry, and then you search the Tribute. Yo, what the flying frick? Yeah, 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 exactly. You have to attach Reader's Knight, yeah, yeah. I think it would be... I think it would still summon. Can you test crew on target, please, right now? Uh... Sure. Yeah. But, it, yeah, but the thing is, it would not uh, summon... It would summon a rank 8 monster. It would summon, like, satellite cannon. Or, like, a rank 9 if you're targeting the, the rank 4. But there's no rank 9, so... there's there. To be fair, there's there's really no reason to test it. Uh, nah, I don't think evenly match really solves any of your issues. Because this deck would lose, like, against trap decks, you would lose to, like, a floodgate, and evenly match doesn't fix that problem. So that's why cards like Lightning Storm and Dust are just much better. Monster Reborn, please test, it's good. No, it's dog shit. Alright, detach this. I will not be at the Toronto Regional. Wait, hold, hold on, what's good? Yo, you actually go there. You live in Toronto. For what is Foolish Burial? It's just another starter, but it's it's not that good. It's not on the same level as uh, physically hard drawing Tribute Lanius. So like, I started in here with Foolish Burial into Mimic Rhyme, but it, it doesn't allow me to do everything I want to because I'm not going to have access to the continuous spell to surge the trap card and get a draw and recycle back cards, which kind of sucks, but it's not really the end of the world. Obviously, you can still live without it. But uh, Foolish Burial plays into Nib. Because if, if you get nibbed while you have Mimic Cry, you, you can't use its effect to search. Oh yeah, Tika Boo is game against this deck. Okay, get this. All right, effect. Strangle. Now we don't we have nothing to be afraid of. Sakitama a good option as an extender. No, because it's a light and you need a dark monster to summon. Oh, I'm stupid, wrong column, but it's fine. You need you need a dark monster. You need two level 4 dark monsters to make Raider's Knight. Simorg is really just your only option. It's sad to say, but it is. So yeah, so far, I mean, this is exactly how I imagined it in my head. It's not, it's not too bad. You know, D-Bear is game. If you get buried, you're fucked. Oh my, I'm so stupid. Oh my god. Forgot to use the Monster Reborn effect. Whatever, I, you end on the exact same board, but you're missing out on three cards. Uh, it's fine. I can imagine in my hand, I, I don't, in my head, I don't even have to playtest. Uh, yeah, the stream will stay on the channel, so you guys can come back to it at any point. If you miss something or... 
if you guys have any just like any question at any point you can just ask like in any of my video i'm just gonna check on the uh on the comments and i'll answer to you guys uh part of everest just doesn't feel really good i don't know if there is anything we can change in this deck list i think it's just as good as it gets Foolish Burial, like, kind of have a point of contention with it, but I, I still think it's a really good card. Because if you don't draw Fuzzy, you still search Fuzzy, and then you still special summon it. And if you draw nothing, then at least you have, like, a semi-one card combo, so. Yeah, I agree with Foolish Burial being there. I like the fact that I cut Allure. Allure was not really great. I like the fact that I cut the Samoric Field spell, because that card sucks ass. Why do you need an empty zone for the new rank of magic? Um, because this card says special summon from your extra deck one raid raptor, and if you do attach those monsters to it as a material, you so you you special summon first. It's not like XC summon on top of a monster you control. It's really whack. Yeah, exactly. You already have uh, avarice in the form of a uh, roost. Valor versus DD Crow. This deck loses to Valor more than it loses to anything else. Valor and Imperm, they shut down this deck for the most part. But there are some combos that play through Valor and Imperm used correctly. There is no way to play through double Imperms played perfectly. If one of the Imperms is, is used incorrectly, you can. Uh, no, no, that, that, no, I actually lied. Sorry, that's not true. You can play through two perfectly used Imperms. But it's it's gonna be pretty pretty difficult, honestly. You have to rely on the, the graveyard effect of Noir Lanius so that you can hard make the uh, brave Strix. Yeah, Vex. I, I think honestly, I just I struggle to just see how honestly a single improvement could be made to this deck list. To me, there's just no way to make it better. But yeah, then you won't get to summon first, and rank five won't get attached. Oh, hold on. No, wait, hold on a second. No, you know what? We're going to test. No, you, you might be right. You might be right. Um. Yeah, we're we're, we're going to test if oh, I mean, this is going to take forever, Jesus. Hold on, special summon. Uh that could, that's a good question. The wording is so awkward that I really have to check. But yeah, thank thank you for uh for telling me this. Nah, Regeki's whack. Why are we playing book? Eh, it's just a good card, honestly. It's just a good card overall. Going first, second, whatever. You need you need ways to like actually play through interruptions, and a card like Book of Moon allows you to just like trade with a negate like Baron de Fleur, uh, which is needed. Same thing with Infinite Impermanence. You can draw it for turn, and it's good. Ash and Valor, it's really just to, like, decrease the power level of your opponent's end board. But you, you're not breaking boards with those cards. Rocket Calibre is uh, dark, also an extender after Imperm on pink to... Never mind, opponent will... What do you mean? Have you tested it yourself? Because I'm trying to test it right now. But I can't believe today I actually managed to figure out like an even better way to play through uh through any beer. It's crazy. By the way, do you guys think that Mimic Cry should be a one of or a two of? I'm open to like any suggestions because this card looks like it could be a one of. What do you think about? Uh, called by in this deck. Um, I used to play it. I cut it. I, I just don't like the card overall. It's like, it's not even in this deck. It's just, I don't like the card. Yeah, the, the, the Raid Raptor Fuzzy Linus locks you under Raid Raptor only. And a lot of the cards lock you under Dark only. Uh, one of, two of... Two, you play Foolish and Tribute. Mm. Yeah, there's there's no uh, general consensus. It's like, it, it's the kind of thing I really have to test. 
Because honestly, I'm not I'm not sure about the ratios. Duster, you're not trying to play Duster, uh, Duster in the main deck. I only use one Mimic Cry, you just recycle it. That is true. I don't know, man. No, stop repeating the same thing, man. These cards suck. Swallow's Nest and Cattle Call are garbage. They don't fix your issues. Unless you're playing against a Bozo. Honestly, one, because you can recycle it, but it sucks to draw. Yeah. Hmm. Now I think I've, I've I've been satisfied with Book of Moon. Book of Moon has been great for me. I right, you summon that, and then uh, this you can send Fuzzy or Heal to Grave with Tribute. Yes, indeed. Uh, because my tribute is never sending a, s sending a mimic cry, anyways. The mimic cry I'm getting it off of the Y Strix. So it's 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 completely irrelevant. All right, so let's test uh, your theory. Yeah, we're not gonna do the standby phase thing. We're gonna do it like if you chain DD Crow to the quick play. Do you still get to uh, summon the rank thirteen? Because the wording is so awkward, I'm literally not sure at all. Hold on, it has to be these, these, and... Uh, I don't know, I think it's this one. Whatever. So, DD Crew, the rank 4, rank 5? I don't even know, what are you targeting? Rank 5? DD Crew, which one? The rank... If you DD Crow the rank 4, then you have to summon a rank 9, but like, there, there's no rank 9. I guess you're just targeting the rank 4. Alright. Let's see if you still summon. You don't. Yeah, so DD Crow and Bestials make them fizzle. Well, it makes this card fizzle. But it's funny because if you... If you DD Crow me or Bestial me on my own turn, it just doesn't do anything. So, yeah. Very interesting, for sure. Very, very interesting. Alright, cool. So it's um, it's nice information to know. But yeah, DD Crow is uh, pretty good against this deck. You don't have to do it on standby. You just do it whenever they target. And you don't sub in. Completely fizzles. All you have to do is just always target the rank 4. Because 5 plus 4 just doesn't work. Yeah, on your turn it does nothing, yeah. It's like you always push through it. The other Raid Raptor options are just so shit. Like, the other Xyz monsters. Like, there's a level 12 that's ass. And then there's a level, like, rank 8. Rank 8 and rank 12. Nothing else. Rank 6, 4, 3. They are all, they are all utter garbage. Anyways, 5 hours and a half. That was a big-ass stream. And yet again, I haven't bricked one single time. This deck is super ultra mega consistent. And almost every single one of my hands was able to play through a hand shop every single time. And if my opponents don't know what they're doing against me, I'm playing through two hand shops, so that's even better. And going second, you know, I, I naturally break boards with like, mm, through like one, maybe two interruptions, it depends. If I, obviously, if I hard draw Book of Moon or uh, Infinite Impermanence, it's even better. And with hand shops, I prevent boards from existing, so that's, uh, that's how you win going second. Yo, Vex, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys uh, for... Uh, for uh, staying tuned uh, in this uh, in this uh, thing, you hold on a second. No, this is. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to fix uh, the way this works, but I have to remove. Uh... Uh, there's a filter. Remove it so it becomes full screen. All right. Yeah. Ah oh, man, thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. I've been streaming for almost six hours, but I I've had so much fun. It's crazy, man. Time Thief Extenders? Nah, man. You just If you want to play Extenders in this deck, it has to be within the scope of only playing Raid Raptor cards or normal summon Extenders like Simorg because it's a dark monster, so you can still go into Raider's Knight. Nothing else works. But yeah. 
unfortunately. If you guys have any more questions or feedback or whatever, uh, write anything in the comments of like any of the videos I upload and I will try answering. And yeah, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in this live stream. I've had so much fun and it's really thanks to you guys. So thank you every single one of you. And also thanks, uh, thank you Marco Gaming for um, for uh, all the suggestions. Really helped me change my mind about a, a, about a bunch of things. Uh, so I'm willing to make more of these live streams in the future if you guys are interested. I'll try to live stream more often, at least on YouTube. On Twitch, it's disgusting. I hate it because on Twitch you have to live stream like nine times a, a week if you wanna if you want it to, to work. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you very very soon. Maybe I'm, I might upload like a video uh, today on top of this live stream.